Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, People in Another World. Reincarnated Dragon, Call Me Godzilla. Chapter 81. After a few days. Then, thank you for your constant care, father and mother. A strong black dragon monster stood in the open space outside the cave, looking at the slightly shorter Leonard and Takana in front of him and said. Wu, Master Baggard, you have to take good care of Shul's. Takana raised her paws to cover her tearful face, with reluctance in her voice. No, I think, he doesn't need my protection at all. The mad dragon Apostle Boggold shook his head slightly, expressing his thoughts. Master Apostle, if Brother Reese offends you, please bear with me, and I will work hard for you on the next trip. Leonard looked up at the golden dragon that was four times his size. The wings of the mad dragon Baggard could completely cover the sky in front of them. With a wingspan and height of 80 meters, it could be said to be full of oppression. Although I really don't want to waste so much time with your mother-in-law and mother-in-law, but since it's Brother Reese's request, you should say goodbye quickly. The most troublesome thing for me is that Brother Reese can't fly yet, but luckily you can't fly now. It's too heavy, I can carry him and fly. The mad dragon Baggard twisted his neck and said with a grin. However, the Brother Reese, which can carry 50,000 tons, flies a long distance. This physical strength, this strength, is definitely beyond the reach of many giant dragons. Waya, uh, Lee-I, although I don't know what to say, but you have to listen to your parents, and remember that there are good things in the old rock dragon's lair, you can go to the old rock dragon's lair and tell me the name should not be beaten. No, actually get beaten harder. At this point, when Migvia and Miglia actually went to the lair of the old rock dragon, they would know what regret is. It's just a pity that teacher Giyu Luo Damon and the others haven't come back so far. I really don't know where they went. If you meet them, please remember to say hello to me. Brother Reese lowered his head and looked at the two younger sisters who were clinging to his tail tightly and couldn't help but feel tired. Hey bro, at this moment, Brother Reese felt his tail was bitten, he lowered his head and found that Migvia was looking straight at him. What's the matter, Via? After the big brother grows up outside, if I choose to build a nest, can I live there? There was infinite expectation in Migvia's eyes, and Reese couldn't bear to say the words of rejection. Quote dot 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 dot. Okay. Brother Reese hesitated for a moment, then nodded. Okay. Migvia looked very happy and kept shaking her brother Reese's tail. What about me, Gong? Dot dot dot. Lily is fine too. Quote. Hearing what Brother Reese said, the other dragon also smiled happily. Then I will leave first, and it will be too late if it is later, the journey is far away, separated by a whole continent. Brother Reese watched the mad dragon Baggard, who kept beating the dragon's claws nonstop, and was a little impatient, so he had to end his long-winded goodbye and walk towards his position. Are you ready? When the mad dragon Baggard said this, he grinned, and his thick giant arms directly hugged his brother Reese and put it on his shoulders. I said, can you change your posture and let me ride on? No, the mad dragon Baggard resolutely refused, it seemed that Reese couldn't do this kind of operation of riding a dragon. Fortunately, Baggard's body was big enough and burly enough, and his gnarled muscles contained explosive power, so he easily lifted himself up. Our children are grown up at last, Leonard. Seeing the figure of her brother Reese leaving, Takana lowered her head and said in a calm tone. It's okay, Takana. Brother Reese's future is limitless. If one day he becomes the Apostle of the Dragon King, then we will be well known, and we will be able to lie flat for the rest of our lives. Quote. Leonard raised his paw and patted Takana lightly, comforting him. Besides, don't we still have Wei Yan Li Ai? We should also teach them all we have learned all our lives. If the gap with Brother Reese is too big in the future, they will also be sad. Quote. Yes. Takana nodded. Fortunately, there are two daughters at home. Ah, blue sky, white cloud, a black dragon rolls on the surging white waves, shuttling between the steep peaks, it opens its arms to experience the feeling of flying. But it's flying backwards. To put it bluntly, it was carried on the shoulders by a super large muscular dragon, and then flew at a height of more than 10,000 meters. Senior Baggard, does Sky Island exist in this world? Brother Reese asked on a whim. Don't you know how to read the inheritance memory yourself? The island of the sky is the territory of the Tiani tribe. The Tiani tribe has always been at odds with our giant dragons. 
If you encounter them, don't hesitate to kill them immediately. Otherwise, you will die. Well, pretend I didn't ask. It seems that the sky is also a dangerous place, the dragon has many enemies. Brother Reese thought to himself. By the way, Senior Boggold, is the dragon the strongest creature? Nonsense. In terms of overall individual quality, giant dragons are of course the strongest race, but don't think that you can do whatever you want. Not every giant dragon is an apostle of the Dragon King, and the guy with as many as six wings among the flugel species is the strongest race. It has the combat power comparable to the apostle of the Dragon King. Normally, three flugel can fight against a giant dragon, and there are many other powerful creatures. In the vast ocean, there are even monsters that are bigger than the dragon. I can swallow you right now in one bite. Mad Dragon Boggold said a little impatiently. So that's the case, then Senior Boggold. You talk a lot. Why didn't I realize that you were so active before? If you have anything else you want to ask, just say it in one breath. Boggold seemed to be reaching the limit of his patience. Brother Reese's heart tightened, fearing that Baggard would throw him down. He quickly put back a lot of questions in his heart and changed his words. It's about your grandson Derbas, why didn't you include him? Bring it here. The little guy's body is really well developed, and he is stronger than the juvenile dragons I have ever seen. But his character and will need to be honed for a few more years. When he is ready, I will naturally let his father bring him to me, it probably won't take long. Bagel's tone was a little more relaxed, and he was very excited when he mentioned his grandson. Yeah, Brother Reese shrugged, it seems that his monster cells are of great help to Dilba's. It is estimated that Dilba's body size in the future will even be bigger than the current Boggold, and it must be at the level of a monster. Of course, as the king of monsters, even if Dilba's becomes stronger, he will always be his boss. I just don't know what happened to Exilufu and the others, were they also chosen by the Dragon King's apostles? Unfortunately, there was no chance to say goodbye. There is also the strongest young dragon called Yisha, she should easily defeat all the challengers. It is estimated that she has gone to the Ice Ice Temple with her relatives of the Dragon King Apostle. It is said that it is the territory of the Ice Dragon in the extreme north, which is a very cold continental area. For some reason, Brother Reese always feels that he has become sentimental. Hey, the dull days are coming to an end. Will there be twists and turns in the future? I hope everything goes smoothly to reach the Golden Kingdom. However, when C thought of this, suddenly, a strong uneasiness surged in my heart. And this kind of uneasiness reached its peak when endless black clouds gathered in the sky, and when darkness enveloped the sky. Backquote, the situation is not right. Just when Brother Reese wanted to look up at the endless sea of dark clouds, surprise happened. From above the pitch black sky, there were several strange dragon roars that made one's scalp tingle. Master Boggold, there are enemies. Among the two flying dragon guards, one of them roared as if facing an enemy. But before they had time to react, Reese was stunned by the horrific and bloody scene in front of him. A black shadow rushed out, and one of the dragon guards was instantly ruthlessly torn off by the middle, turning into terrible blood rains down on the sky minister. Wait, this is dead. The mighty giant dragon was instantly killed just like that. And treat it as your own face. Brother Reese, whose face was splashed with scorching dragon blood, stared blankly at the falling dragon corpse behind him. He raised his head subconsciously, and hurriedly looked into the dark clouds in the collapsed sky. Then, then he heard the incomparably angry roar of the mad dragon Apostle Boggold. Hey, Kingslayer, I'm going to tear you into pieces. However, in the dark sky, lightning flash. From the dark clouds, several huge jet black dragon shadows suddenly appeared, attacking in the direction of the mad dragon Apostle Boggold. Kill them. A cold roar came. Until this moment, Brother Reese suddenly realized that he was in danger. He was humming happily. He was about to go to the Golden Kingdom to receive pre work training, but he was suddenly robbed by the King Killer gang. Boom. A terrifying lightning tore apart the dark sky. The violent thunder and lightning collapsed the sky, created cracks in the dark clouds, and then there was a huge roar resounding through the sky. Woo! In the violent thunder that foreshadows the destruction, a pair of chilling giant fiery pupils light up suddenly, and with the flash of lightning, you can see its huge shadow, as if there is some extremely terrifying monster waiting in the clouds for a long time. Kingslayer, 
Brother Reese didn't understand why he encountered such a terrifying enemy. He remembered that he had heard that there was such a thing that made the dragons panic. But why, why is it here? Could it be that they came here for the mad dragon apostle? It seems that this is the only possibility, otherwise I have no reason to contact such a guy. After all, that is the existence that dared to assassinate the dragon king. Hey, did Kingslayer send you here? Despicable reptiles. However, it seems that things are different from what Brother Reese thought. He only heard the mad dragon Baggard release the monstrous murderous intent, roaring and questioning the dragon assassin. Ask knowingly, Boggled, I admit that you are very strong. Even the few shadow dragons who came to assassinate you were brutally killed by you, but in the dragon clan, the eight of us who were known as extreme dragons but an existence above the apostles. It's a little stronger than garbage. I didn't expect Kingslayer to bring you in, the seventh-ranked extreme dragon, the chaos diffuser, the evil dragon who controls black poison, dark corrosion dragon, Buhe. Quote. With the roar of the mad dragon, the dark clouds were instantly dispersed, revealing a giant beast surrounded by a black aura, which would be infected by poison when touched. However, Baggard deliberately called out the identity of the other party, as if to remind Reese that this is a dangerous guy. The existence in front of me named, Dark Erosion Demon Dragon, is a giant over 75 meters in size. Its body size is not as good as that of the Mad Dragon Apostle Boggold, and the difference in combat power is probably not too big, because even Boggold is in the Dragon King. Among the Apostles, they are also among the top superpowers. If it wasn't for the Golden Dragon King's kindness to Bagold, it is estimated that Bagold might become the new, Extreme Dragon. The Other Side Brother Reese quickly found the description of the Extreme Dragon, Buhe, in the inheritance memory of the Blue Dragon instructor in his mind. Buhe, the race is the Dark Erosion Dragon, to be precise, an evolutionary branch of the Shadow Dragon. It belongs to the high-ranking dragon species and is a kind of natural disaster dragon. Like most Shadow Dragons, the Extreme Dragon, Buhe, has a cautious temperament, and usually does not have direct conflicts with powerful opponents. Buhe has the ability to hide in the dark, and his huge wings are dragged behind him like a cloak in the night. They are stained with black poison, and corpses are strewn everywhere he passes. Based on his habits, when facing strong enemies, Booker prefers to sneak attack and use highly poisonous means. Crazy Dragon Baggard hated such a guy, but now, because of the existence of his brother Reese, he couldn't immediately rush up to fight the opponent. Bagold, your existence is too much of a hindrance. Among the apostles of the dragon king that king killer wants to kill, you are at the top. Booker growled coldly. Then what? Baggard twisted his neck, fixed his eyes on the dark-scaled dragon, and roared arrogantly, can you kill me? The air was suddenly quiet. It may take some time to kill you. Booker's voice suddenly distorted, without the composure he had before. It seemed to see the strength of Baggard, and planned to use indiscriminate methods. As long as it could find a way to hurt Baggard and infect him with the poison, the victory or defeat could basically be declared over. In the next moment, Buhe's huge wings fluttered and came violently. The terrifying speed stagnated the atmosphere, and the giant claws that were enough to destroy the mountains rushed towards Bagel. However, at that moment, Buhe's huge wings froze suddenly, and his pupils froze. Bang! As a terrifying laser hot ray erupted, the surrounding air burned violently, and even Buhe's black erosion aura was broken through, and the restraining effect caused by the huge high temperature heat wave burned all the highly toxic factors nearby. As much as possible, the sky was covered with black snow. Don't worry about me, Baggard, you go and kill him. I'll take the other two guys. Brother Reese roared, and his dorsal fin exuded a high temperature light. What he said shocked Boggold's heart, and then he laughed arrogantly. Ha ha ha, good, boy, if I fail to find you in time, you can go to the Golden Kingdom alone. The Mad Dragon Baggard didn't say much, and directly threw Brother Reese in the direction of one of the Shadow Dragons, and Brother Reese immediately swung out the sharp and terrifying claws, and the moment he hit a Shadow Dragon, directly destroying its dragon scale skin, blood splashed in an instant. Roar, the extremely painful Shadow Dragon roared, and a black shock wave burst out, followed by a dragon's breath that corroded everything in its mouth. Stupid to breathe in my face. Brother Reese roared, and before the shadow dragon breathed out, he punched it in the abdomen, 
causing the ribs to be sunken, and then the shadow dragon's dragon breath was dumbfounded in his mouth, and his blood-filled giant pupils stared fiercely at his brother. Reese. Then two giant dragons fell from the sky, brother Reese grabbed the shadow dragon's neck tightly and refused to let go. The only surviving dragon guard stared at this scene with wide-eyed eyes. Unexpectedly, the baby dragon brought by Boggold was not only so big in size, but also so exaggerated in combat power. It easily beat an adult shadow dragon into this look. Although there was a lot of luck involved in the process, as well as a sudden attack, the real strength was by no means a joke. Do you still have the mood to take care of other dragons? However, just as the other shadow dragon was about to help his teammates, the dragon guard let out a loud roar and blocked its way. Roar, the shadow dragon blocked by the way stared at the dragon guard full of murderous intent, turned around and fought with it. In the upper sky, facing the isolated and helpless, extreme dragon, Buhe, the apostle Boggold showed a terrifying smile unique to the wild dragon clan. Now, no one hinders the battle between us. Are you so confident? Booker looked at Baggard with strong hostility in his eyes, it glanced down, and said coldly, all right, let me show you the power of the, extreme dragon. After you die, go deal with other guys. If it is tough from the front, Buhe is the weakest extreme dragon. And its opponent is the mad dragon apostle who is best at toughness. But after all, Buhe is also an extreme dragon, and the combat effectiveness of the extreme dragon is by no means bragging. It's just that I don't know how terrifying the battle between them will be. At this moment, Ray Reese is falling rapidly. He rode a giant shadow dragon, but he didn't kill it immediately, because in that case he would have to fall from a height of 10,000 meters. Joke, Brother Reese weighs more than 50,000 tons. If he falls like this, the atomic furnace will not explode directly. It is estimated that most of the area will be raised to the ground by then, after all, it is a nuclear explosion. Having said that, Brother Reese didn't want to die. The only reason he let the mad dragon Baggard throw himself out was to help him reduce the enemies and let him concentrate on fighting the extreme dragon. But Baggard seems to have forgotten that he can't fly. Really helpless. Hey, buddy, hurry up and flap your wings, or we'll both fall to our death. Brother Reese kept shaking the shadow dragon's neck choking it tightly with both arms, but he didn't know that the shadow dragon was furious and wanted ACBC to bite him. No, I'm going to kill you first, and then fly. While the shadow dragon was spitting blood, ten extremely cruel words popped out between teeth. Then you really don't want to live. Brother Reese was about to give it another big slap, but unexpectedly, this completely enraged the shadow dragon. Hey, high-ranking shadow magic, dark beam cannon. In the roar of the shadow dragon, a powerful dark energy gathered, as if it wanted to fight to the death, and blast the huge monster on its body. You are really tired of living. Anyway, I gave you a chance anyway, it's you who don't want to live. Seeing that there are still two kilometers left from the ground, the anxious brother Reese no longer left the shadow dragon with a choice, the dorsal fin instantly lit up a dazzling red light, and breathed out, uranium energy hotline. Roar. Brother Reese grabbed the shadow dragon by the neck and shot a deadly beam over its head. The huge laser beam penetrated the shadow dragon's head, causing its head to be scorched instantly, then carbonized into powder, and disappeared in midair. Boom, the headless shadow dragon body fell freely in the sky, and Brother Reese's dorsal fin flashed a strong light, and the moment he was about to hit the ground, he spit out the main hair continuously towards the ground, painting flashing white hot light. Boom boom boom. Several breaths exploded on the ground, and Brother Reese also fell into a vast desert covered with yellow sand under the thrust formed by this buffer. Boom, there was a roar like an earthquake, but Reese, who used his breath as a buffer and stepped on the shadow dragon corpse as a skateboard, did not fall to his death, but survived after smashing a big hole. But even so, Brother Reese was still thrown in a mess, his head shook and he was dizzy, and his limbs felt powerless. Coupled with the excessive use of breath, it is forced to enter a cooling state. Quote dot dot dot, wake up the backup hidden radiant energy. Brother Reese quickly flashed this idea in his mind, then slowly closed his heavy eyes, and began to frantically absorb the radiant energy stored in his daily life to heal his injuries. At a speed visible to the naked eye, Brother Reese's damaged skin began to squirm and regenerate, 
and his body damage completed super regeneration healing in just a few seconds, and then the remaining evolutionary energy poured into the atomic furnace, and then the dorsal fin gradually cooled down afterwards, Brother Reese power has returned to its full glory. He raised his head, and from time to time in the sky there was an air explosion that shook the atmosphere. In the past, Brother Reese couldn't imagine how strong the Dragon King's apostle would be if he went all out, but now he understands that it is simply an insurmountable opening. The next moment, the sky was quickly covered by darkness, and the breath of black poison of death swept across the sky with the power to corrupt everything. Faced with this blow, Baggard uttered the atmosphere-shattering, mad dragon roar, and that sharp and thick voice shook the souls of all living things. In an instant, all living things tens of kilometers around were in a strong dizziness, and the cloud of black poison was completely dispersed in an instant. Rumble, the dark sky collided with the cracked poisonous cloud again, and the dazzling golden light and the darkness of death continued to make harsh and sharp sounds. Just the aftermath of the battle was enough to overwhelm mountains and destroy everything. Dignity, honor, it is for these two points, too. The fighting of the giant dragon caused a chaotic storm, sinking the void, and the space began to shatter like glass. Two figures, one big and one small, collided up and down in the sky. The riotous sky, the distant brother Reese was amazed by it. However, from the corner of his eye, Reese quickly caught the shadow of a black dragon swooping down at an extremely fast speed, and the figure of a giant dragon guard who fell on the verge of death. Has been killed. Brother Reese. Boggold's order. Go to the Golden Kingdom immediately. Quick. At the last moment, the blood spitting giant dragon guard let out a roar that shook the sky, waved his blood wings in the direction of the shadow dragon, swooped down hugged it tightly, and headed towards the ground. Come down. Varied. Brother Reese's pupils trembled, watching another dragon fall in front of him. His heart was extremely calm, and he touched his fist and claw. But soon he let go again, and his eyes became extremely firm. Now there are only Baggard and the dragon in the sky. The other shadow dragon seemed to have perished with the dragon guard, and there was no point in staying here by itself. And he can't fly, even if Bagled wins, he probably won't be able to control himself. But now that Baggard has ordered him to evacuate temporarily, it means that he should have the means to deal with that extreme dragon, right? Anyway, Baggard is also the wild dragon that is best at fighting. Then, according to the instructions of the mad dragon apostle, Brother Reese must go to the Golden Kingdom alone. With the sand flying, the figure of Brother Reese gradually disappeared in the giant sand tunnel and he went to explore this strange desert and continent alone. Boom, 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 boom. On the desert land, there was a sudden terrifying vibration. A terrifying giant beast with a body size of more than 40 meters and knotted muscles left deep footprints while running, and ran forward vigorously, as if chasing something. And the strong and powerful body tells its identity as a giant dragon. Roar, the originally peaceful desert suddenly trembled violently. Then came a strong earthquake that shook the ground. Then there was the sound of thunder, like thunder on dry land, followed by another tremor and rolling thunder, and the weak and small creatures living in the surrounding sand sea were all frightened and dumbfounded, attracted by monsters. The source of the earthquake is the huge mountain-like dorsal fin on the endless desert plain. At this moment, the crustaceans and humanoid creatures gathered around were all running away in fear. They saw a huge monster moving fast in the hot desert bigger than any creature they've ever seen. But it's too late to escape. Because, huge souls, with the appearance of monsters, landed near their lairs. The next moment, charged out of the sandstorm was a huge pitch black body dozens of meters away. Boom, the thick giant legs stepped on the sand, and the shoulders and muscles full of explosive strength showed an incomparably majestic posture. The monster's black scales are like layers of folds and intertwined, and blood-red rays of light radiate from under the cracked skin, like red magma flowing. The ferocious huge dorsal fin bent towards the sky, flashing alternating blue and red light, and then a mouthful of heat was sprayed on the ground, a terrifying heat wave hit, and countless black beetles were burned to death in an instant. Crack, the huge and long dragon tail flicked past, rolled up the roasted beetle on the ground and flung it towards the sky, and then the pitch-black head was raised high, and it swallowed it with its mouth wide open. Along with chewing, a pair of oppressive dragons the giant pupil then emerged. When the existence of destroying the earth, 
a terrifying monster with a huge body like a hill, the black dragon, Brother Reese, appeared. Roar. The huge roaring sound turned into a substantial shock wave impacting in all directions, causing the ground, which was already in a sandstorm, to set off an arrogant sandstorm at this moment. Bah! Unpalatable! Disgusting! The monster's huge tail slammed into the ground, setting off an earthquake, causing sandstorms to surge around it, and then every step the monster took brought a roar that resounded through the earth. King Killing Gang, if it weren't for you, my brother Reese, how could I be reduced to digging up bugs in the desert to eat? Other creatures can't understand what Reese's roar is saying, but they can feel the heroic momentum and strong hostility it exudes. Yes, this cursing black dragon monster is brother Reese. It is now the third day of his survival in the desert, and the daily food is beetle, beetle, or beetle. Brother Reese felt like his stomach was getting full of acid. Hum, it seems like the stomach itself is where the acid is stored. No, Brother Reese's stomach has become a melting pot, so he won't have a stomachache. But his sense of taste is still there. The so-called desert scarab, isn't this the giant dung beetle? Brother Reese hung the corpse of a black beetle on his dragon claw. He looked left and right, but he didn't find any difference between this dung beetle from the previous life. If I insist on finding the difference, there is an inverted triangle symbol on the forehead of the desert scarab, I don't know what it means. If it wasn't for supplementing the energy consumed by exercise, ghosts would be willing to eat this kind of thing. The vast desert is boundless. Even though Reese has a huge size, his movement speed is only a lot more efficient than a certain earth dragon. But even if it is a walking dragon, it will take several months to cross the desert. This desert is not only huge, but also full of dangers and obstacles that keep losing sight. Although Reese dragon horns have sensory abilities, but when the sandstorm rises, the radar is directly invalidated. The sky is full of grains of sand, which makes me feel lonely. However, Brother Reese can probably tell the direction and make sure he is walking in a straight line as much as possible. His next goal is to go to Dragon's Territory, Golden Kingdom. But this place is located in another distant continent, if Brother Reese wants to go there on foot, I don't know how many years later. There are no portals here, let alone vehicles. Even if there were, ordinary flying dragons wouldn't be able to carry a giant like Reese, and he doesn't have wings, so it's even more impossible to fly over. Then, the only way is, find the sea. Unlike on land, the ocean is vast, with plenty of room for Reese to move and survive. Moreover, Brother Reese has already planned the next route, first find a way to cross the desert, and then find the nearby sea area. Because the continent of this world is divided into four large pieces by the ocean, besides that there are many scattered small islands, as long as you can enter the ocean domain then you can move freely without hindrance by virtue of Brother Reese's good swimming skills. Going through the sea route to the continent where the Golden Kingdom is located, this is Tuan Lacy's final route. So, how long is this desert? Brother Reese was a little desperate. He could only vaguely judge that he was heading in the right direction, but the long sand sea made him feel tired. The sky is hot and the ground is hot. Although my heat-resistant skin has evolved perfectly, but I move around day and night, so that my physical strength is exhausted far faster than a volcano. After all, there is strong radiation in the volcano, and there is nothing here, only a bunch of beetles running all over the ground. The size of this kind of desert scarab is about half a meter to two meters, and there are many of them. It is probably the dragon lice in the desert. Dragon lice are parasites on giant dragons, and dragons that don't wash and clean their scales frequently are most likely to have this kind of thing. The reason for this metaphor is that the ecological niche representing the desert scarab is very tenacious, and like cockroaches, it cannot be killed completely. I want to calm down, I can't eat hot tofu in a hurry. Brother Reese looked at this desolate and monotonous scenery, and the freshness of seeing the desert at the beginning was long gone. The sand here is dry and contains no trace of moisture. However, after he stepped into this area, many monsters appeared in the desert. There are many strange birds in the area of sandstone terrain, and there are many giant lizards hidden in the golden sand field, as well as sand-thin scorpions and various cactus monsters. Although the desert scarabs accounted for the majority, there were not a few other creatures at all. Holy Rock Lizard Brother Reese stared at a lizard lurking in the desert, revealing a pair of big gray and yellow eyes carefully looking around. 
It has a huge body size of several meters, fangs and sharp claws. It belongs to the middle and lower layers in the desert ecological niche. It is good at earth elemental magic and digging. But when the terrifying aura of Brother Reese enveloped it, a trace of panic flashed in the monitor lizard's eyes, and it tried to escape. Long way. Immediately, a terrifying oppression spread across the sky, with Brother Reese as the center, all creatures within half a kilometer nearby fell into a stunned state of shock. Following a riot in the desert, he also stepped forward quickly, piercing the monitor lizard's head with his sharp claws, pinching the dead little guy, and swallowing it in one gulp. Is this the first level 2 monster? After Brother Reese swallowed it, he noticed the existence of a magic core. Although the power was very weak, it was indeed swallowed. System, you have devoured the holy rock lizard, and you can make reform marks on the back and sharp claws. It is estimated that you can get skills, mimetic camouflage, sand digging, and so on. It tastes so much better, but the Nyx, forget it. Brother Reese looked down on the rock lizard's skills, but directly turned it into food. In this world, dragons are the top predators. Generally speaking, the level of an ordinary adult dragon is at the 9th level, level. And the dragon guard is 10th level, the dragon mentor is 11th level, and the dragon king's apostle is 12th level and above. The level is just a reference and does not represent the final strength. Because there are many complicated factors between killing and being killed, no one dares to say that he is invincible. But if the grade gap is too big, that's another matter. Normally, Brother Reese's magic breath level is 5th level, but his maximum breath power has reached 12th level, and his physical fitness and defense are around 10th level. So what is the grade of Reese? It seems that grades don't mean much to him and can only be used as a reference. In the same way, other monsters may have similar situations, and they cannot completely refer to the level of life breath to judge the strength of the enemy. Just when Brother Reese was thinking about how to get out of the desert quickly, he came to a piece of sandstone unknowingly, stood on the commanding height overlooking the desert Grand Canyon below, soon he found in his vision that there were many creatures with fairly powerful breaths a few kilometers away. And one of the slightly familiar breaths caught his attention. That is the breath of a dragon, to be precise, it is a dragon. Wing Crystal, running fast on the ground as a ground dragon with a strong sense of territory, which looks like a carnivorous theropod dinosaur. It was chasing a colony of desert scarabs and seemed to feed on the beetles, its huge crest hitting the beetle's nest, easily destroying the nest. Dot 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 dot. Earth Sand Dragon, a dragon-like monster that inhabits the desert. With weak dragon blood, it is a hybrid descendant of a rock dragon and a certain monster in the desert. Brother Reese flipped through the inheritance memories in his mind. With its strong hind legs, the earth sand dragon can run fast, and its hard crown can collide, and few monsters can resist its power. Their unique evolution has adapted well to the harsh environment of the desert. The scales have become light brown that is not easy to absorb solar heat radiation. The front paws have become shovel-shaped to facilitate digging. The hard crown can remove stones and other obstacles for it, and it is also a powerful weapon. Although it bears the word dragon, it is not a real dragon, but a sub-dragon. After being captured by humans, it will be trained as a mount. Since it is a dragon life, it should have some wisdom. You can catch it and ask a way out of the desert. Brother Reese started to move, running downhill from the sandstone. The sound of his footsteps set off thunder and vibrations, and the ground trampled by tens of thousands of tons of bodies roared. With the coercion of the giant dragon carried by the will, Resize made the earth sand dragon that was eating suddenly crawl on the ground in horror. Next moment, due to the arrival of his brother Reese, the earth sand dragon lay on the ground in fear, completely paralyzed. Shaking uncontrollably, earth sand dragon has never seen a real giant dragon. As a hybrid, it is a sub-dragon beast, and the sub-dragon status in the dragon clan is extremely low. Dragons are extremely powerful, ferocious and proud domineering existences. They place great emphasis on pedigree. Even among giant dragons, there are upper and lower ranks, so it can be seen that the half-blooded sub-dragons who are not even considered as giant dragons are really slaves. Among them, the friendly giant dragon is okay, it will only ignore the descendants of the sub-dragons, and will not harm them. But if it is a cruel black dragon, it will not hesitate to eat the sub-dragon as food. 
and in front of him, the guy blocking the way of the earth sand dragon is a huge black dragon. Do you think it can not be afraid? Before the earth sand dragon let out a terrified scream, the pitch black dragon approached, its huge body covering the sun. Then an indifferent voice came from its mind. I am Reese, the black sacred dragon brother, what's your name? Wu. This earth sand dragon was terrified in his heart, because it saw the legendary existence, a giant dragon. Tushalong still remembers when he was a child, when he was just born, his parents proudly told himself, we are proud and powerful sub-dragon beasts, with great dragon blood, we are born strong. As a monster, it is also a sub-dragon beast mixed with dragons. The earth sand dragon's body is very strong, even if it was just three days old, it already possesses speed and strength that ordinary monsters cannot match. It has survived in this area for many years, and it has long been the overlord of this ecological niche. It has strong defensive scales, shovel claws that can destroy sandstone, a hard crown that can destroy beetle nests, and a belt behind it. Spiky thick and powerful giant tail. On this day, Earth Sand Dragon was preparing to enjoy a delicious desert scarab buffet as usual, but suddenly there was a terrifying earth poison roar from the ground. Then it sees, a monster as tall as a mountain. That guy has black scales like steel all over his body, and a huge sharp dorsal fin grows from his back. The four horned crowns like a dragon seem to pierce the sky, and he doesn't know what it is. Anyway, it looks very hideous and terrifying. However, there is a magical power in the blood that makes it exude fear and awe involuntarily, and even crawls down instinctively. The sense of crisis in his mind tells the earth sand dragon that the existence in front of him is the real, giant dragon. True dragons, holy dragons, mutant dragons, brother Reese Mirabeau Reese. Before the bewildered earth sand dragon woke up from the shock and panic and expressed some thoughts, the monster-like black dragon whispered like thunder, and then a voice like the language of the dragon clan appeared in its mind, what is your name? Famous minister. Name. Seeing the terrifying tail of the monster flicking and making loud noises in the sky, the earth sand dragon, its brain was in a mess, and it simply didn't know what to think. Such a thing as a name, you also deserve it. Earth sand dragon never thought that he would have a name, and he didn't know how to answer it. However, it seems that there is such a thing as the inherited memory of the dragon in his mind, but it is a pity that the sub-dragon beast is a mixed blood, and only has an incomplete inherited memory, which cannot be compared with the real dragon at all. The earth sand dragon tried his best to read the inheritance memory, it took a long time to gradually understand something, and then uttered the obscure dragon language. Quote dot dot dot, I, have no name. Dot the dragon, my lord. You said, you don't have a name. Brother Reese pieced together a message from the intermittent language, and then murmured, it seems that the brains of other monsters are not as bright as I imagined. Earth Sand Dragon really didn't know how to answer. It felt that its brain was already the smartest among its kind, but compared with the real giant dragon, it seemed too simple. What is this place? Brother Reese sent another inquiry. Now that the Sand Dragon can understand its own dragon language, it is much easier to communicate. This is the Alt Ross Great Desert. A few minutes passed. Brother Reese finally pieced together a clue from Tushalong. To be complete, he is now in the northwest region of a continent called, Alt Ross, a temperate and tropical desert called, Thundering Sand Sea. Who's the boss here? Brother Reese asked suddenly. What he means is the king of the ecological niche, and Wang Shilong must be able to understand what he means. The king of the Thundering Sand Sea. Beast King Bay, Bay. The earth sand dragon suddenly fell into fear, and seemed afraid to mention the creature's name. Babe, Brother Reese frowned, wondering what kind of monster such a, cute, name could be. Ah, that's right, Bay, Bay. The earth sand dragon seemed to be entangled, and nodded along with Lee. It doesn't dare to refute, what Brother Reese says, that's what it is. But in fact, what Earth Sand Dragon wanted to say was the real name of the Beastmaster, but because the name was too terrifying, he stammered in fear. I want to cross this sea of thundering sand and go to the sea near the mainland, what should I do? Brother Reese stated his purpose, and stared at the Earth Sand Dragon with covetous eyes, making the latter dare not move at all. No, it's impossible, no creature. Dot can cross the sea of thundering sand. The dragon language of the Earth Sand Dragon gradually became proficient, but seeing the glaring look of his brother Reese, he quickly changed his words, but the great dragon can. 
The climate of the Thundering Sand Sea is unpredictable. If you want to pass through the front, you will pass the Desert Beast King. If you go on a detour, you will lose your way in the Desert Canyon, unless you have a Desert Navigator. Desert Navigator, they are a race called the Desert Naga. As far as I know, the Desert Naga believe in another giant dragon, the Dragon of the Earth, one of the most powerful existences in the Thundering Sand Sea. But the Dragon of the Earth has long been it disappeared more than 10 years ago, and there is no news so far. From Tu Shalong's words, Brother Reese got two pieces of information. There are two top kings in the desert, one is the Dragon of the Earth, and their whereabouts are unknown now. The other is, Bei Bei, who is entrenched in the center of the Thundering Sand Sea and seems to be very powerful. Are there any other options? Brother Reese, think about it, if it doesn't work, go to the Grand Canyon of the desert to see the situation, and find a desert naga to be the navigator to take him out of the desert. The face of the dragon clan. The premise is that the dragon of the earth is not an evil dragon, and of course it is unlikely, if it is an evil dragon, it will not be worshipped by the desert naga. Besides it's gone and is now empty. But I hope that I will not cause the hostility of the desert naga, if I am besieged, I can only fight back. Another way, Earth Sand Dragon lowered his head and tried his best to think, then thought of something, raised his head, there is another great sand tunnel that leads directly to the end of the desert. But it is the territory of the desert rat people, and there are a lot of them. Occupying the potholes, they are mortal enemies with the desert naga. Ratmen are very dangerous, they have weapons, and they can cooperate. Beware of the electric dragon wooden man. HMPH, there are only a few mice in the area, am I afraid of them? Brother Reese snorted, and the earth sand dragon put his head on the ground in fright, not daring to make a sound. Okay, it's none of your business. Brother Reese restrained Long Way and let the earth sand dragon leave, and then his eyes wandered around the thundering sand sea desert Grand Canyon in front of him. So, out of three routes in total, which one should you choose? Is it the territory of the beast King Bebe, or the lair of the dragon of the earth and deserta? Or go straight to the giant sand tunnel and enter the kingdom of Ratman? Well, let's investigate and see. Brother Reese walked towards the nearest thundering sand sea center, he knew exactly what kind of monster the so-called Bebe was. If the opponent is weaker than yourself, then knock it down and go over. Dozens of minutes later, looking at the giant beast in the distance, Brother Reese froze in place. Judging from the position of the head, this guy was 50 or 60 meters high. Its tail was as straight as a fir tree, and its muscles were as strong as a stone. The bones are as tough as copper and iron, and the knotted muscles are full of explosive power. The king who occupies the thundering sand sea, behemoth the beastmaster. Race, mythical warcraft, level, tier 11, beastmaster. At the end of the field of vision, Brother Reese saw a huge monster. That thing walked forward slowly with heavy steps in the distance, even if it was far away, you could feel the billowing dust just by walking. As if aware of some intruder, Behemoth raised his ferocious horns, opened his mouth on his head, and his sharp fangs radiated a cold light. With a thick and domineering roar, the entire thunder sand the sea became trembling. Boom, swinging its terrifying long tail, Behemoth, the beast king, ran wildly into the distance, mercilessly tearing apart a guy who accidentally stepped into its territory. The berserk scene shocked all the weak creatures who heard its roar. They all prostrated themselves on the ground in fright, watching this scene in awe. Next moment, Brother Reese woke up from his zombification and stared at the monster in awe. Quote dot dot dot. It turns out that the BB mentioned by Earth Sand Dragon refers to Behemoth, awe. This guy is so big, it feels a bit difficult to mess with, but why does it look like, a monkey? Behemoth, the beastmaster, is an indescribable creature. But in the mind of Brother Reese, such a picture vaguely emerged. That is the fusion of, King Kong giant ape, and, strong lion, with a pair of devilish horns on top of the head, this is Behemoth. Now, let's not provoke it. Brother Reese had a hunch in his heart that he would have to fight this Bekimo sooner or later. But not now, but in the near future. And at that time, he may have completed a new evolution. Now, let's go to the desert palace dominated by the Dragon of the Earth, first to see the situation. Behemoth, in Brother Reese's observation, that huge orangutan-like monster, Bay Bay, is in heat. During this period of time, 
its mental strength reached its peak, and it landed on its hind feet at every turn, roaring and neighing, and its sound shook the minister. Many desert monsters are deterred by it, and they dare not hunt wantonly, thus allowing many weak creatures to escape. In addition, Bekaimos is known as the king of beasts, superior to many monsters, not inferior to giant dragons, and even stronger in physical strength. However, the hare is weak, and Gaoris does not believe that it can resist its own breath. But he is a beastmaster after all, he can use magic, and now is not the time to fight. Brother Rhys decided to go to the desert palace to see the situation first. Rock Dragon Canyon, Southern Desert. At dusk, a set of round sunsets descended along the horizon of the desert, the earth was smoked dark and dark, revealing a deep red, and at the end of the setting sun was yellow sand all over the place. At this time, the strong wind howled and blew up the flying sand all over the sky. Boom! As the ground trembled, the black dragon monster's footsteps stopped here, staring ahead. Sandstorms are frequent in desert areas, and plants are often buried. It is not easy to find the location of the desert palace. But Brother Reese's dragon horn senses are like radar to identify the direction. According to the clues learned from Tu Shalong, Brother Reese walked less than 10 kilometers and saw the traces of the activities of the desert Naga. Naga Temple, so it's here. Brother Reese stopped moving. He stood on a sandstone canyon. From the nearby broken walls and ruins, he could see a desert Naga stronghold shimmering in the vast desert in the distance. The stronghold of the desert Naga is the U-shaped canyon, which is located in the desert of the basin. To his surprise, there are many giant cacti lush olive trees and large tracts of firewood trees growing here, as well as many magical beasts raised by Shalian Naga. Desert Wyvern, Petrified Lizard, Giant Sand Scorpion, Sand Tortoise. Among them, the Desert Wyvern is not so much a dragon, but a rock-skinned pterodactyl, so it should be called a desert pterosaur. It is undeniable that these are quite dangerous desert meat-eating monsters, but since they were born here, they are probably descendants of a certain Yenjimu dragon. Perhaps the offspring of the dragon of the earth. Thinking this way, Brother Reese found a group of desert Na knights riding petrified lizard monsters in the desert ahead. According to the Earth Sand Dragon, this is a canyon created by the dragon of the earth from ancient times. At the same time, the earth dragon soul protects all creatures here, even the behemoth beast king dare not approach easily, fearing the remaining might of the earth dragon. Look ahead. All kinds of tamed monsters move together with the desert Naga, and Reese can see their images clearly even from far away. It was a half-human, half-snake creature that was always on guard against outside creatures near the stronghold of the oasis. Inheritance memory told Brother Reese that Naga is a descendant with traces of dragon blood. Also known as, Snake Man, and, Snake Demon. Generally speaking, Naga is a humanoid creature whose lower body is like a big snake and has scales all over its body. The head of the male Naga is a snake head, covered with snake scales, cruel and cunning. The female Naga is half human, half snake, with a beautiful human upper body. They have a natural charm for humanoid creatures, and like to induce human males to have offspring with them, thereby optimizing their genes. In Na's race, there are all kinds of hair colors and scales, including proud, fat, thin, beautiful and ugly individuals. At this point, Brother Reese fell into deep thought. He was thinking about how to make his debut next. If he rushes over aggressively, Naga will probably think that he is here to find fault and be forced into a fighting state. When Brother Reese was contemplating, he saw a single Naga team out of the corner of his eye. Not long ago, the Sand Dragon told Reese that the Desert Naga has a guard team that will patrol around the stronghold to expel lost monsters and creatures that enter their territory. But now, with the arrival of Brother Reese, the Desert Naga have smelled an unusual and dangerous atmosphere, and they have also entered a state of alert in the past two days. At the same time, another kind of guardian beast domesticated by the Naga tribe appeared in the southern desert, the giant snake in the desert. Guard in the water source area, and ambush in the nearby sand, peeping out the outside invaders. The desert Naga didn't know that the threat they sensed was actually Brother Reese. As Brother Reese peeked, they just instinctively felt a kind of inexplicable huge pressure, restlessly stepped up their guard, and looked for the source of the anxiety. But this also created a chance for Brother Reese to capture the desert Naga guards. He deliberately retreated to the vicinity of a desert cactus bush that could hide his body. 
Garrison's attention. After hiding his figure, Reese buried half of his body in the sand, blended with the environment, and exposed the tip of his tail as a bait. Not long after, Brother Reese's thermal radiation vision told him that there were several humanoid snake monsters walking back and forth, searching around. Be careful, there is a breath of dragons here. The Naga spoke their language and came over. Under close observation, the abdomen of the snake tail of the desert Naga tribe has rough scales, which makes them not afraid of the cold at night, and is also highly resistant to heat. Shua, the pitch black tail suddenly lifted in the sand, and the sun sand waves obscured their vision. There are enemies. The desert Naga warriors watched in horror at the sudden appearance of the giant black tail, and instantly sent a signal to fight. The other Naga who were covered by the sandstorm hurriedly looked left and right. What happened? What is the enemy? Where is it? Sing the magic. In an instant, the desert Naga warriors hurriedly took out their weapons, began to chant and cast spells, and fought desperately. The females of their clan are tall and slender, with fine scales and tentacles, and they are born magicians. As the female Naga chanted the spell, one by one, looking like black corroded light balls, rose in their hands and bombarded towards the behemoth that made the sand waves. In an instant, many dark light balls exploded on Brother Reese's scales, but they didn't cause any damage to him, and even left no traces. The enemy is here. The male Naga seemed to see the shadow of his brother Reese, roared and rushed forward with his sword drawn. Compared with the female, the male's head is like a dragon, with thicker scales and strong hand-to-hand -hand combat, but lower intelligence, and generally serve as frontline fighters. Most of the female Naga are mages and assassins, but in this case, no matter what the profession is, it is futile. No matter how powerful they are, the enemies are not at the same level at all. It's really a group of stupid creatures who can't tell the strength of the enemy. Kneel at my feet, the earthquake wave. Next moment, Brother Reese stomped his foot, and a powerful shock wave erupted from the point where the sole of his foot landed. Many desert Naga warriors were defeated at this moment, and then fell down collectively like a wheat field. Accompanied by the violent vibration, the desert seemed to have set off a huge wave, and the tens of feet of sand instantly overwhelmed the fleeing Naga. After this kick, the battle is over. Then, the incomparable dragon power radiated from Brother Reese, and the Nagas rolled their eyes before getting up from the sand, and passed away dizzy, only a few of them were deliberately kept by Brother Reese. My name, Black Holy Dragon, Brother Reese Mirabeau Riesla. Aha! The desert Naga fell to their knees on the ground with a splitting headache, and they couldn't breathe under the oppression of Longway. At this moment, after hearing Brother Reese's thunderous announcement, they all became embarrassed, and even raised their heads to look at him in horror. Quiet, don't act rashly. Brother Reese stopped him and stared at this group of guys. The race that can tame monsters is definitely a high level intelligent creature. Whether it is a humanoid creature or a monster of a different kind, they must be able to understand what they say. Dragon, giant dragon, why are you attacking us? I heard you are desert navigators. Brother Reese slapped his paw on the ground, and the loud noise made the desert Naga stop their movements. Its power was the most terrifying, and the sharp-eyed Naga could even see that the underground cliffs were cracked. I want to meet your queen, I need someone to take me across the desert. After briefly shocking everyone, Reese said to some of the conscious Naga, go back and tell your queen Naga that I have no malicious intentions. If she is willing to see me, I will return the rest of your clan safely. If she refuses, I'll take them and replace the navigator. Naga is a matriarchal society, usually ruled by the queen. After saying this, Brother Reese raised his paw, indicating that these Naga can leave, but the unconscious ones must stay here. We'll relay it. Several female Naga warriors supported each other and rushed towards the stronghold. They looked at this side in fear, although they didn't know what they were thinking in their hearts, but there is a high probability that they will tell Queen Naga the news here. The next thing is to see how they do it, if there is a war. Brother Reese narrowed his eyes. When the time comes, he will not show mercy. At this moment, it was getting dark. The huge temperature difference between day and night makes the sand gradually turn from hot to cold, and some places have even started to freeze. At noon, the sun's temperature exceeds 40 degrees, and the surface temperature is 70 degrees. At night, the temperature here is as low as minus 10 degrees. Such a harsh environment and climate did not affect Reese, but the cold environment helped his body cool down. 
Dear Your Excellency Dragon, on behalf of my family, I would like to express my greatest respect to you. Not long after, when its tail was in contact with the desert, a huge 30-meter multi-headed snake appeared. With the sound of the earth shaking and mountains shaking, a beautiful female naga standing on the highest point of the snake's head was looking at it with fearful eyes. Staring at Brother Reese. I don't know your excellency dragon, why do you need a king when you come to this desert? The huge five-headed snake flicked its restless tail, spitting out a letter, and looked at Brother Reese with its erected head as if it was facing a formidable enemy. It felt a strong crisis from the giant dragon. If Queen Naga hadn't driven it, it probably would have escaped long ago. Standing on the head among the five snakes is a female Naga. The lower body is a snake with red and fine scales. The upper body is like an exotic human beauty. Her white lotus-like arm holds a magic scimitar. The tail of the snake is originally bright. Its scales are even more dazzling under the moonlight. Roar! In the icy desert, the Queen Naga and the heavily armed Naga army behind them heard a huge roar nearby. They raised their heads in horror, and a terrifying giant dragon came rumbling from the darkness. It's a dragon, under the fearful sight of Naga. In the shadows, Reese's huge black body merged with the surrounding environment, as if darkness itself. Its ridge-like long tail moved slightly, forming a swirl in the sand sea. The sword-like dorsal fin pierced the rock behind him, and there was an earthquake-like roar under his feet, and the 60-meter-long, 40-meter-high body stood upright and what he despises and pays attention to, the creatures named Naga. At this moment, my whole body trembled with intense fear. What do you mean? Bring so many people, and you want me to fight? Swept by her elder brother Risa's gaze, and sensing the faint dragon power, Queen Naga also became frightened, and quickly asked her subordinates to direct their weapons. As their weapons were put down, the coercion on brother Reese also disappeared a lot. Sorry. Your Excellency the Great Dragon, I heard that you are going to cross this desert. Don't you know it? So, can it work? Brother Reese showed a very impatient look and said coldly. Phew, if it's just like this, no problem. Queen Naga breathed a sigh of relief, and then nodded with certainty. Tomorrow morning, I will send a few members of the Naga clan to help you cross the desert, but, as a giant dragon, why don't you just fly? Um, Brother Reese snorted suddenly and Queen Naga suddenly felt the chill from head to toe as if she was facing an ice cave. The sense of crisis told her that if continued to speak, something big might happen. Sorry, I was talking too much. Don't ask what you shouldn't ask, and don't look at what you shouldn't look at. Put away your curious eyes, and if you dare to look at me again, you will be burned to ashes. Brother Reese turned his head away, snorted coldly, showing the unique ferocity and majesty of a black dragon. I'm sorry, but I'll make my subordinates stop approaching you. Queen Naga didn't dare to raise her head anymore, but out of the corner of her eye, she saw that there seemed to be no dragon wings on her brother Reese's back, maybe it was destroyed during the battle with some kind of terrifying existence, but this is not her things that can be explored. I heard that this is the domain of Dragon of the Earth. So, where is it? Like lightening the mood, Brother Reese said, changing the subject. Back to your excellency the dragon, the dragon of the earth is the patron saint of my family, but it left here 19 years ago. Oh, so there is no owner in the dragon's lair here. Brother Reese rolled his eyes, planning to go to the lair of the earth dragon, maybe he could get something good. Yes, Queen Naga didn't know what Brother Reese was thinking, so she answered honestly. Take me. Brother Reese finished speaking, ignoring the existence of Queen Naga, raised the tail and walked towards the lair where the dragon of the earth was. But, ha, huh, wait, your excellency dragon, please slow down. Queen Naga had no choice but to change direction by pulling the five-headed snake, and then rushed towards the direction of the black dragon monster with the Naga guards. The dragon of the earth is the patron saint of our family, so we can't do it like this. Yes, come, having said that, Reese quickly arrived near the rock dragon canyon, and then he stared in awe at a huge dragon statue nearby. It was an old dragon statue with thick rock armor. At the same time, it had thick horns and a huge axe-shaped tail. It looked burly and majestic, and it seemed to be a species called Chen Dulong. The reason why Reese froze was because the statue of the rock dragon was very familiar. Queen, yes, I'm here, quote dot dot dot, may I ask, this dragon, no, your patron saint, the dragon of the earth, what is its name? 
Brother Reese took a deep breath, then asked the queen. Back to your excellency the dragon, the real name of the patron saint of our family, the dragon of the earth, is Tidnik. Queen Naga said proudly and proudly. Brother Reese had such an expression on his face. But in addition to being shocked, I was ecstatic inside. I didn't expect it. I didn't expect it. The lairs of the old rock dragons have actually come here, so I can't be more polite. I'm afraid even the old rock dragon himself didn't expect that during the period when he went to Dragon Island, Jessaland, to teach the young dragons, he was actually stolen twice by the same young dragon. Yes, Tidnik is the true face of the dragon of the earth. It seems that this is its real lair, the one on Dragon Island is just Tidnik's workplace. It turns out that the dragon of the earth is Tidnik. No wonder the statue looked so familiar to Reese. Old rock dragon, it really is you. Thinking about it carefully, it is quite reasonable. As an ancient dragon over 6,000 years old, it is impossible for the old rock dragon to be unknown on the mainland. It is certainly impossible to spend its entire life on Dragon Island. Instead, every once in a while when Dragon Island's breeding season comes, he will go to Jessarland to serve as a dragon mentor for a few years and then he will return to Thunder Sand Sea to live. Because this is its real territory. Therefore, the Desert Naga regard the old rock dragon as their patron saint, and respectfully call it, the Dragon of the Earth. Even, Brother Reese has a guess. That is the Desert Naga race, as well as the Earth Sand Dragon, Desert Flying Dragon and other dragons here, are very likely to be descendants of the old rock dragon to Nick. Maybe the old rock dragon spent more time playing than he imagined when he was young. Certainly no less scourge of young females of other races. But no matter what, Wherever there are old rock dragons, there must be radioactive minerals, because the rock dragons rely on this for food. Your Excellency the Dragon, judging from your appearance, you seem to know our patron saint, the Dragon of the Earth. Queen Naga noticed Reese's silence and the surprise in his tone. Yes, your Dragon of the Earth, if it is really to Nick. It should be my dragon mentor. Brother Reese spoke slowly. Your mentor. Queen Naga's eyes widened in shock and then hurriedly asked, so, in other words, Lord Patronus didn't abandon us. He went somewhere, right? Hasn't it left before? Reese, on the other hand, looked at Queen Naga strangely. It is impossible for the dragon to live in the same place all the time. Dot dot dot. Sorry, the last time the Patronus left was a long time ago, when my grandmother was very young. Quote. Queen Naga breathed a sigh of relief. It seems that the dragon of the earth just left for something. I seem to have forgotten that your lifespan is only 200 years old. Compared with the giant dragon, it is too small. Brother Reese reacted, and then hit Wang En. Since you are the disciple of Lord Patronus, then Brother Reese, Your Excellency the dragon, please treat this place as your home. No problem, I didn't intend to be polite. Reese's words made Queen Naga shut up, and he continued. Hurry up and bring me all the things that the old rock dragon usually eats, I like to eat that. Um, yes, Queen Naga looked at her brother Reese a little strangely, and she hurriedly sent her subordinates to search for some food that the old rock dragon usually ate. Soon, a large pile of desert cacti and fruits from the firewood tree were carried by the sand tortoise. Excuse me, what are these things? Brother Reese looked at Queen Naga and pointed to the fruit. It's cactus fruit and... The old rock dragon usually eats this. How is that possible? You just use this to test the giant dragon. Do I look like a vegetarian? Brother Reese growled and said very dissatisfied. Sorry, the dragon is down. Queen Naga smiled bitterly and said, In the memory of my family, Lord Patronus has always liked to eat these things. Where are the stones? What rocks? Wait, you mean those moan? Queen Naga's face changed slightly, as if she understood what Brother Reese was referring to. That's right, this is it. Brother Reese wagged his tail expectantly, stirred the desert, and made a whistling sound. In the lair of the patron saint, there seems to be a small amount of magic stones, but, the patron saint never seems to put this kind of thing here, it took the magic stone away before it left, it seems to be going to a certain place, as a food reserve. Queen Naga tried her best to recall that the old rock dragon took away all the radioactive ore, and the purpose was to enjoy it as food during the time in Long Island. However, after Queen Naga finished speaking, she saw that Brother Reese's expression became extremely gloomy, and a sense of uneasiness rose in her heart. 
Take them all away. Old Rock Dragon, you are too despicable. Brother Reese secretly thought in his heart, but after another thought, Dragon Island should not have so many radioactive minerals. Then where do radioactive minerals, such as uranium deposits, come from? Seeming to see the anger of Brother Reese, Queen Naga hesitated to speak, and finally couldn't help but said, Well, the magic stones of Lord Patronus are all obtained from the Thundering Sand Sea. Ha, huh, is what you said true? Brother Reese sat up all of a sudden, his head was close to Queen Naga, and his huge dragon pupils stared into her eyes. Yes, but it has not been mined for many years. The patron saint said that those things are dangerous. It does not allow my people to touch them privately, so they all stay away from that place. Where is that place? Brother Reese tapped his tail and asked impatiently. Your Excellency Dragon, unfortunately, the mining area where the magic stone is mined is in the Great Sand Tunnel which was occupied by a group of desert ratmen a long time ago. After the Earth Dragon left, the desert ratmen became more and more unscrupulous. And their reproduction speed is very fast, and they are sworn enemies with our desert Naga clan, and the recent behavior of peeping at the oasis is even more rampant. And the mining area you are looking for is in the Great Sand Tunnel, and there is also a huge cave that can go straight through the desert. Queen Naga said seriously, without hiding anything. In addition, the giant sand tunnel is not formed naturally. In fact, the giant sand tunnel was dug abruptly by the old rock dragon Tadenic, because the old rock dragon is very good at finding radioactive ores, and their rock dragon clan is either on the way to dig stones, or on the way to find food. Therefore, in order to facilitate future life, the old Yanlong spent thousands of years finally coming to Thunder Sand Sea, and after confirming that there are a large number of uranium mines here, he chose to move around. This is also the reason why the old rock dragon carries a large amount of radioactive ore with him, and why he will appear in the young dragon's trial cave. Everything was explained, and Reese understood what the old rock dragon had done in the first half of his life. As expected of the old rock dragon, I must give you a thumbs up. Brother Reese thought to himself. So, as long as you get rid of those desert rats, you can restore the mining area. Brother Reese's voice was emotionless, and his eyes gradually became ferocious, even showing a desire to destroy. That's right, in front of the food. Anyone who dares to block the way is an enemy that must be killed. Not to mention uranium deposits with extremely high radiation concentrations. Not to mention the desert ratman, even if Bekimos is guarding there, Brother Reese dares to fight for his life. Your Excellency the Dragon, do you mean to attack the desert ratman? Queen Naga's expression showed a touch of joy, unexpectedly, Brother Reese was willing to help them and get rid of the group of ratmen who were eyeing the oasis. This is not for you, but what I want happens to be in the territory of the desert ratman. No, the mine of my most respected mentor, the big rock dragon to Nick, was taken away by the hateful rat now. I must fight back, I must let those rats have a long memory, let them know what the consequences of offending the dragon are. I want them to feel the wrath of the dragon. Brother Reese's tone became more and more excited as he spoke, and he couldn't help standing up and roaring. Let's go now, he roared, and then rushed towards the great sand tunnel aggressively. Nagas, leave a part of the territory to guard. The rest, follow your excellency the dragon with me to destroy those cunning desert ratmen. Queen Naga did not expect her brother Reese to act so vigorously, completely disregarding tactics and consequences. However, for the giant dragon, recklessness is right. And brother Reese despises the desert ratmen, doesn't think they can cause any damage to him, and plans to start his rat extermination plan directly. Desert Ratman, your end is here. According to legend, the Desert Ratman are not native creatures of China. They come from a plain called Desolate Frontier. At the end of the reign of the Emperor of Black, countless entrances connecting the cracks of different dimensions were opened in the world, and the ancestors of the Ratman drifted here at that time. The original Ratman didn't have magical talent, and their bodies were also very fragile. They were just a group of hair shedding rodents. However, Due to their huge numbers and fast reproduction speed, they carried viruses on their bodies, which caused some bad things to the humans in this world. Scary Memories The era of plague is the worst period in human history. At that time, a black witch doctor in this world discovered this group of interesting rodents. They were obviously fragile, but they could survive in the cruel environment at that time, compete with the monsters, and even increased in number without decreasing. 
The evil black witch doctor began to experiment on the rats, so the devil rats were born. They tore open their greedy mouths, gnawed all the grain in the barn, dragged down the old and weak, women and children, and crawled all over their bodies. One thousand and two nets to eat. At that time, the black witch doctor didn't know what kind of potion they used to mutate the group of mice. They began to stand on two feet and try to communicate with other mice. Rats roamed the streets, nibbling on human corpses. Even if some brave people come out to resist, they will always be killed by the ratmen. Even if they hide in seemingly indestructible houses, the ratmen will still break and burn, kill and kidnap. For this reason, human beings have also fought a plague war with the rats for a long time, but they can't do anything to these rats at all. Finally, in the short millennium, the population of the ratmen sprung up like mushrooms after a spring rain, and the ratmen gradually evolved into more deadly, cunning, and ambitious creatures. During the same period, the Ratman dynasty also rapidly grow up. Wherever they pass, the land will become barren, and the town will be surrounded by a thick stench. But suddenly one day, the human gods sent down an oracle, and it seemed that the gods could not understand these invaders from other worlds. So a holy church dedicated to rodent control was born. They quickly wiped out most of the Ratman, and eventually a large number of Ratman had to leave the human country, live in the sewers of various cities, or occupy territories in the wilderness, and occupy land as king in abandoned mines. Giant Sand Tunnel, the Ratman Kingdom Polluted by Radiation Nowadays, the desert Ratman are the names of the Ratman from other regions who migrated to the desert. Although their civilization is only a thousand years old, but the desert Ratman here are far bigger than those in other regions. They have a head as big as a human being, and some of them even grow to be three or four meters strong. Except for the head like a mouse, their limbs and muscles are very similar to humans. It has a long tail and festering fur. The reason is that the desert ratmen here have all been affected by radiation, their cells have long been polluted, and aberrant evolution has taken place. It was pitch black, like a mine tunnel in the abyss. The rock wall here glows with a dark cold light, as if cast by darkness, swallowing up all light. Boom, soon, heavy footsteps came from the entrance of the cave, and a dragon-shaped pitch-black monster appeared nearby, resisting the rotten stench in the cave, its pupils lit up like torches in the darkness, and its huge tail easily he smashed all the rocks blocking the way and came to this underground. In the darkness that engulfed everything, there seemed to be red eyes that kept watching this side in the darkness. The atmosphere here is unbearably maddening and suffocating. But the dragon-shaped pitch-black monster was fearless, and even let out a low growl cursing. His grandma, why are there so many mutated mice? Brother Reese looked at the ratmen who were trampled to death at his feet, and raised the soles of his feet. They looked like horrible and strange creatures with their fangs and claws. Looking ahead, a large group of mice with red eyes began to retreat crazily. Each of them was a huge mouse with a size of one or two meters. A deformed creature like a zombie. Roar, the roar of the giant dragon caused the mice to flee in all directions. In this hollowed out cave, there were caves extending in all directions, as well as a large number of corpses of all kinds of foul-smelling monsters. Besides that, ratmen seem to devour their own kind. They have the same body shape as human beings. They walk upright, have sharp mouths and sharp teeth, and cunning eyes. They even wear tattered clothes and hold weapons in their hands. Dragon, get out of our kingdom. A strong individual among the ratmen uttered a piercing screech, otherwise we'll do it. Hands, dirty rats, I'll give you a chance to reorganize your language. Brother Reese growled, however, with the sound of arrows raining, shoo shoo. Attack, the ratmen screamed. They picked up the toxin-stained crossbows one after another, and fired arrows in the direction of Brother Reese. Their actions annoyed Brother Reese. Roar, lightning incandescent. Brother Reese's dorsal fin flashed with strong light, and spit out a huge blue-white lightning beam towards the front, containing a strong explosive breath. The moment it hit the ratmen, it instantly killed a large group of people. More than a hundred ratmen died in an instant. The spreading endless thunder energy also spread along the ground toward ACCC inside, shocking more ratmen to death. However, this did not deal an effective blow to the desert ratmen. There were too many of them. It was estimated that there were at least 10,000 of them in this giant sand tunnel. If you use breath to kill them, you may exhaust yourself before you finish killing them. If only there were more deadly, effective weapons. 
Brother Reese thought of this, and suddenly felt that his plan to eradicate rats was too hasty. However, what he thought was already considered by the humans who fought against the giant plague rats in the past. Whether it was by poisoning the water source, setting fire, destroying the lairs of the rat people, or other methods, it would have no effect. The mutated group of rat people soon. Moreover, their weapons are not only ferocious in appearance and coated with deadly poison, but some even use black magic. That is to say, the ratmen living in the woodland swamp will be controlled by monsters such as goblins and ogres in a certain area. So naturally, it is the desert naga who maintain the number of desert ratmen. Over the years, the desert naga have been working hard to eliminate the desert rat people and maintain ecological balance. If their patron saint, the old rock dragon, is there, there may be a way to kill some rat people. Is there no more powerful means? After killing a large group of ratmen, Brother Reese had to leave the Jusha tunnel temporarily and fell into deep thought. Your Excellency Dragon, what's the situation inside? Queen Naga and other guards came to support. Quiet, let me figure out a way. Brother Reese blocked the door near the Jusha tunnel, then sat on the ground, closed his eyes and began to think about his current skills. Lightning Incandescent Light, Uranium Energy Hotline. The power of the breath is huge, but it is too wasteful, and the damage is too overflowing. After killing some ratmen, it has no effective blow to the follow-up ratmen. Unless there is that kind of power that kills the ratmen in an instant, what would it be? Radiation. To be honest, Reese didn't think the ratmen living in a pit full of radioactive radiation would be easily killed by radiation. This is likely to provide them with nutrients, making their mutations more serious. Of course, if the radiation is powerful enough, it can still destroy their cells and kill them. So is there any other way? There is a skill that Brother Reese isn't sure is useful. That is to use the energy of the biological atomic furnace in the body to emit high-temperature radioactive smoke, ultra-high heat radioactive particles with smoke. This radioactive smoke will quickly fill the mouse's nest, and then ignited by the breath, instantly blasting the entire cave it turned into a terrifying sea of flames with a temperature of several thousand degrees. However, this move consumes a lot of energy, and it will definitely not be so easy to fill the Ratman cave. However, at this time, Brother Reese suddenly had an idea. If you let Naga soldiers block the exits of other rat nests, then if you spit out high-temperature radioactive smoke into it, the hot smoke is enough to burn all living organisms. I just need to be like this, cleaning up one area after another. No matter how many desert ratmen there are, they can't withstand a few waves of extinction. I have an idea, Brother Reese thought of this, and showed a cruel smile to Queen Naga. He quickly expressed his thoughts. After hearing the plan of, roasting rats, Queen Naga's face trembled slightly, as if feeling terrified. The temperature of the high-temperature radioactive soot is extremely high, comparable to lava. If it is ignited in an instant, it can explode with a high temperature of more than 2,000 degrees. What kind of creatures can survive by then? Fire attack! Fire attack! Burn all these rats! Brother Reese roared excitedly, and hurriedly led people to seal the entrance and exit of the rat nest. I, Brother Reese who is Shulongye. On variation. On absorbing radiation. On evolution. In terms of strength and wisdom, Brother Reese has absolute confidence to finish off those rats. Do you think I can't do anything about you by hiding in the pit and surviving? The pitch black monster showed an incomparably ferocious smile, looking terrifying and frightening. It's better to say that you have successfully aroused the cruel desire to destroy in my heart. Since you are hiding in the hole, I will accompany you to finish the game of exterminating rats. There is no monster more brutal than a black dragon. Brother Reese seemed to have inherited the tyrant nature of his ancestor, Black Emperor, showing a terrifying smile that didn't look like a normal creature. He seems to be planning to do something brutal. After asking the Naga soldiers to carry boulders to block the Ratman's tunnel, Brother Reese took a deep breath, and the dorsal fin on his back gradually raised an ominous red light from the tail. The light is not very strong, but presents a dim crimson. Symbolizes death. The unfinished dragon's breath. No, it's, ultra-high heat radioactive particles with smoke. I saw that Brother Reese opened his huge mouth and spit out thick black smoke like vomiting towards the direction of the cave. Those are actually the substances stored in the body of the, lightning heat, uranium energy heat line that has not been burned. 
Brother Reese vomited these intense high-temperature nuclear radiation substances that had not yet been converted into light beams towards the Ratman's lair. And with the crazy influx of high-temperature radioactive smoke, the entire giant sand tunnel began to rumble and vibrate. In the depths of the ground, the rat people seemed to feel some kind of terrible crisis, and they became restless and anxious. Boom boom boom, boom 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 boom. The giant star carried high-temperature black smoke and dust material and spread madly towards the cave in all directions, covering half of the underground in an instant. Covered and engulfed in smoke and dust, the ratman let out a shrill scream and was burned to death in no time. Hiss, squeak, chirp, the ratman screamed inhumanely. If they wanted to survive, they had to escape through other openings. Go out, then in order to survive, you must dig deeper and deeper. However, a huge number of ratmen piled up together, and the safe area has been crowded by rat nobles, rat kings, and some powerful ratmen, causing other low status. Ratmen can't get in at all. At the same time, the frenzied black dragon monster began to spit out jet black radiation smoke with greater force. Due to high temperature and high pressure, the boulder shakes wildly. Superheated radioactive smoke is starting to rise from many of the gaps. All of a sudden, the oxygen in the cave is getting less and less. A large amount of high temperature radiation smoke poured out from the huge tunnel. Thousands, tens of thousands of ratmen were scalded to death, burned to ashes, covered in black smoke. Their corpses piled together. The survivors let out anxious screams. Ratmen are something. Go to hell. Skaven eyes only see what should be scorched. Ratmen's noses smell only of what should be burnt. Ratmen's ears can only hear the screams of things that should be scorched. Ratmen's tongues can only taste blood from clenched teeth. There is nothing but endless fear in the ratman's heart. After the ratman provoked the pitch black monsters, the horrific consequences suddenly turned into an unstoppable black storm of terror and high temperature in their eyes. Burn, burn them all to death. Leave no one behind. Turn them all into ashes. Roar, Brother Reese, who roared loudly, no longer sees the light of reason in his eyes. Its dorsal fin turned dazzling blood red in an instant. Then the terrifying flames engulfed the entire Radman cave at an extremely fast speed. The high pressure generated by the huge high temperature turns into a shock wave and blows away the rocks blocking the cave. Even the Naga soldiers fled in fear. The area behind has turned into a high temperature purgatory. After a few seconds, a thick black mushroom cloud rose slowly, and the sound of a huge explosion ended. The entire cave has been completely turned into a magma purgatory. What rat man, what virus, it has long been charred and carbonized, and turned into powder under the shock wave. Perhaps deepest, there is still a fleeing skaven nobles and kings, but they are no longer a threat. Even if there is a comeback, it will be many years later. Roar. Cool. Brother Reese looked at his masterpiece and let out a roar of excitement. A few kilometers in front of the eyes were turned into a scorching sea of flames. The fire in the cave burns violently. Just getting close can feel a terrifying heat wave. Ah, Queen Naga watched this scene in horror, she looked at Brother Reese who made all this and roared excitedly. God of destruction, the queen's heart could not help but fear raised the thought of, never provoke this evil dragon in this life. This is simply not the work of dragons. That's the dragon. Dragon of fire. Ha, huh, it always feels like someone is talking bad about me. Brother Reese turned his head to look at Queen Naga, who tensed up instantly, with a pale face, shaking her head desperately. Forget it, wait for the next two days. Under the condition of thin oxygen, the ratman will die soon. You block the door to prevent the ratman from escaping after the high temperature dissipates. I'm going to rest for a while, and when I wake up, I'll explore the giant sand tunnel. Brother Reese said this, slowly closed his eyelids, and entered the cooling state. His heart trembled slightly with excitement. There is a huge natural uranium deposit under the ground. Evolution, evolution, I want to evolve. There seemed to be a voice in his heart urging him. When I wake up next time, go dig the underground uranium deposits and complete the baptism of the young dragon. The sun is scorching, and the sky is full of yellow sand. The fine particles blowing towards the face make people blind, and at a glance, there are rolling deserts and sand dunes. Boring, hungry, system, the host is about to usher in the third stage of evolution, please go to an area with abundant radiation. 
Your Excellency Dragon, you have awakened. Queen Naga felt the movement of the Black Dragon around her and asked with concern. How long have I been asleep? Brother Reese said in a deep voice. Three days. You send someone to keep guarding here. I'm going to the giant sand tunnel. Maybe I will continue to sleep. No matter what happens, don't care about it. Obey. Queen Naga replied, and then nervously watched Reese step by step into the giant sand tunnel. It seems that everything is moving towards the normal development of the Ratman Kingdom. But there is an unknown crisis hidden. With the spread of radioactive energy, there does not appear to be any contamination on the surface. Ratman living underground may not feel it, but Reese, a brother who feeds on radiation, can clearly feel a strong force that has spread all over the underground passages. But don't forget, this is Wan Huang who came to shoot. Use comes with a price. In other words, this is not the power that should be used at all. Pollution, transformation, mutation. These radiations have been integrated with the air, floating in every ten corners of the cave city. Radiation slowly invades the body of all life. Most of the mice that suffocated from burning off the oxygen had become abnormal. The body has various degrees of distortion. This is the consequence of mutation and canceration from radiation. These mice are the creatures most prone to noticeable changes. Although the deformity has a great impact on most mice, they have limited mobility and cannot eat. But there are also some distortions that don't seem to be very bad. For example, some mice are bigger, some have longer limbs, or are more stout. Some even grew additional limbs. Brother Reese set his sights on these deformed rat corpses. Radiation will always exist in the world. From the perspective of this kind of distortion, isn't it a kind of adaptive evolution? Although under normal circumstances, the radiation is so intense that it is very likely to cause the extinction of a species. As a mouse, it is already up to the standard to be able to obtain a part of evolution under the premise of mass death. These abnormally evolved mice made Reese think of a race about mice, the Skeven Ratman. It was a race that gradually mutated from ordinary rats into a huge demon rat empire. They have intelligence no less than that of human beings, huge numbers, and powerful combat capabilities. This is very much in line with Brother Reese thinking. Rats in the irradiated field develop aberrations that, over time, can become a benign aberration. That is to say, evolution. Because of the distortion and evolution caused by the influence of radiation, the ratman gradually possessed a strong adaptability, or in other words, can adapt to all polluted physiques. It's a pity that they failed to complete their final evolution. The entire ratman dynasty was destroyed by the existence far beyond fear. Brother Reese moved on. The flames were extinguished, the high temperature of the embers dissipated, and it was no longer possible to tell what was what in the scorched cave. There are traces of melting everywhere, as well as a lot of metal blocks after the solidified metal liquid. Brother Reese quickly found another source of radioactivity by relying on sensory radar. He began to dig down along the target, and soon found the target of Laming Shahai's trip, a sandstone-type uranium deposit, a collection of uranium minerals and uranium-containing substances. Excitement, uncontrollable excitement, pleasure, the cells of the whole body are relaxing. The deadly weapon for most creatures, but for me, it is an indispensable key to evolution. The atomic furnace couldn't help roaring, and began to quickly absorb the energy of this group of underground. Brother Reese doesn't know how much radiation is here, but he knows that he has plenty of time to absorb it slowly. So, welcome a new round here. Brother Reese is close to the uranium deposit. After finding a suitable field, his whole body relaxes and enters a dormant state in evolution. A monster is an ultimate life form that cannot be understood by common sense. The power of the dragon is a kind of conceptual power. As the standard image of a giant dragon, the image of a dragon has the characteristics of fire breathing, flying, double wings, spiny tail, and dragon scales all over its body. Besides, the system also unlocks more evolutionary directions. Core, dorsal fin, spine, nerves, bones, scales, etc. Each branch evolves to the end, and can unlock many powerful abilities. For example, evolved plural eye pupils, a row of more than six pairs of eyes on the top of the head, which can release the magic eyes of laser, darkness, chaos, jenkang and other deadly rays of light. Like an octopus, enchanted tentacles, stretchable tentacles grow on the cracked dorsal fin behind it, and eight extend from the back, 
allowing the luminous part of the dorsal fin to extend into eight wings on the back, and steel spears evolve from the end of the tentacles as sharp as a puncture, it can absorb genetic information into the body fluid while piercing the enemy's body, and then copy the opponent's ability. By infinitely incorporating the results of analyzing the enemy's DNA to improve the ability of its own DNA, the self-developing infinite chromosome has a powerful and terrifying evolutionary ability. The main horn of the dragon can evolve super shockwave through the vibration of the dragon horn on the head. The vibration energy can be emitted like light in an instant, which is better than the roar of the mad dragon. After piercing the enemy's body with the dragon horn, it is even possible to carry out a zero-distance attack, which has enough power to destroy the enemy's internal defense. The horn of the god of destruction considered invincible. The sharp claws of the dragon can evolve into variable cut, which ignores all physical defenses. This skill is Daimo's skill to directly cut Red Lotus Godzilla in the waist. However, ignoring the defense does not mean that one hit will kill it, but if it is used well, it can kill the enemy directly with one knife and two cuts, even if you don't die, you will be seriously injured. The finally liberated Ultimate Jet Dragon Wing can release energy such as plasma flames, and has a jet propeller, forming a light track on the wing-like protrusions on the back that are superimposed like blades. After being accelerated by the jet of dragon air, it can fly at speeds dozens of times Mach. The two protruding shoulders and the luminous part of the torso can evolve more high-frequency master brains to achieve double or even multiple parallel thinking abilities. You can also evolve SG muscle, which is a powerful cell that can still survive even if it is swallowed into a black hole. It has the explosive power, toughness, and amazing super regeneration ability of G cells, covering the whole body. The rest are crystalline bones which are strong bones that transport the energy transmitted from the central core to the whole body, and the ribs can protect the central core crystals that exist in the heart, which are very strong bones. There is also the evolution of the dragon's auxiliary horn, cosmic horn, it has the function of radar, so that the host can locate any position on the planet or other planes, and never get lost. During the battle, the combat field can be launched, and the sensory synchronization with the high-frequency main brain in the body can be carried out. It can perceive all the situations in the field, carry out future evolution, and predict the next move of the enemy. Fission Claw The claw at the end of the limb is full of attacking energy from the central core. Just waving and falling will cause a big explosion, and when it grabs the enemy, it will produce a tearing effect of lightning and lightning, which can destroy all objects. Self-proliferation and unlimited reproduction, no need for reproduction, just use cells to infect other creatures, so that other creatures can evolve into terrifying G-monsters. G-monsters have absolute loyalty to the infected, treat them as brood consciousness. Type 2 Atomic Furnace Thermal Energy Conversion Furnace Plasma Transformation Furnace, an organ that can absorb heat energy generated by flames, lightning, and nuclear fuel and fuse with electrons, ions, and atomic nuclei in the blood to generate and store plasma capabilities. The power generated when all the plasma energy is released during battle will be unpredictable. Type 3 Atomic Furnace Electromagnetic core Electromagnetic radiation conversion furnace Somatic cells can generate ultra-high output electromagnetic fields, strong electromagnetic fields, electromagnetic pulses magic eliminating pulses control internal molecular heat release, charged particle ray flow charged electron particle cannon powerful ability but also has the possibility of manipulating graviton. There are also more exaggerated skills such as Fusion Reaction Antimatter Hotline, Red Flame Spiral Hotline, Flame of the World Tree Red Lotus Form, High Dimensional Bombardment, Different Dimensional Roar. Any of the above is simply an amazing weapon evolved for fighting. The system has detected that the host prefers close combat and breathing fighting methods and lists the following evolution directions for the host to refer to. First, evolve the second atomic furnace, Thermal energy conversion furnace, plasma conversion furnace. Second, strengthen the first main atomic furnace, bioatomic furnace, thermonuclear energy converter organ. Third, it is not recommended to increase the muscle strength of the remaining energy. It is recommended to evolve the tail, the cooling dorsal fin, and try to evolve the jet dragon wing. You who have the plasma converter only need to burn the nuclear fuel in your body to enter the flight state. Quote. Fourth, Strengthen the heat dissipation dorsal fin. It is recommended that the host temporarily abandon physical close combat and transform it into a mage monster. 
The cost of hand-to-hand -hand combat is high, and the loss rate after injury is high. If the biological atomic furnace is used in conjunction with the second core plasma conversion furnace, reasonably, the nuclear waste heat generated by the host's breath can be absorbed in reverse, so that after your breath heat line is exhausted, you can use plasma flame breath to continue fighting. As mentioned above, it seems to be a template for a light mage given by the system. Is this going to be the real sauce root? Brother Reese was shocked, he didn't expect it to be Wang Zha. Then he began to think that if he continued to strengthen his body, he might eventually be able to evolve powerful cosmic horns and variable cutting claws. But that still belongs to the profession of physical warrior. It's not that the fighters are weak, but the fighters' survivability is extremely strong, and their regeneration ability is very good, there is no doubt about this. However, Gao Reese will definitely not be able to evolve wings if he takes the warrior route. Because of the warrior route, it is absolutely impossible to generate a huge amount of energy to support the flight of the body in the early stage. There must be a thermal energy conversion furnace plasma conversion furnace. The plasma conversion furnace can be recharged by absorbing the power of flame, lightning, and high temperature nuclear energy, which can be transformed into a plasma fireball and can also become the power of the jet dragon wing. Because since the plasma converter has been evolved, it would be a pity if the dragon wings were not evolved. Biological atomic furnace, first core plus plasma conversion furnace, second core plus dragon wings, second core derivative equals light mage, melee mage, breathe out when seeing an enemy, use breath to kill him. Never had too much hesitation, Brother Reese gave up the evolution of strengthening melee, cells, etc. Although infinite self-proliferating cells and tentacles that can absorb enemy genes are very tempting, but these are growth skills, and it is impossible to strengthen your own in the short term. Fighting power. And the light mage is a real instant combat power explosion. Let's talk about other things later. Since that's the case, then evolve into a light mage. Ha, huh, mere fighter, it doesn't matter. Regarding the career of melee combat, Brother Reese suddenly sneered. He seems to dislike the fighting style of the physics profession, and thinks this way is stupid. Enemies that can be dealt with by breath, why bother to fight melee? However, he didn't think so just a moment ago. All in all, the evolution of the host. The sound of the system gradually fell silent. Before Reese could say anything more, he felt a surge of exhaustion from the inside out, and was forced to fall into a deep sleep. It looks like evolution is about to start. In the process of sleeping, Brother Reese gradually realized something. Any pain is essentially powerlessness against oneself. In this different world where the strong are respected, there is always only one Fu. Standing alone, others have to kneel. Whether it is the Apostle of the Dragon King, the Extreme Dragon or the Ratman, Chef Reese has a deep understanding of the experience during this period. The fate of the weak is in the hands of the strong. So he needs stronger power strong enough to make people tremble, strong enough to make people frightened, strong enough to not need to think at all, strong enough to become an ultimate creature without excessive power. Thus, the evolution began. What kind of terrifying monster is that? In the depths of the dark underground, as if in a sea of symbionts, there are densely packed hundreds of millions of organisms forming terrifying waves that are constantly rolling. In the south, there are ten wriggling indescribable behemoths. That's an evolving monster. Its body no longer has any complete parts, as if the cells of the whole body have begun to reorganize and began to absorb natural radioactive substances crazily. A large amount of radioactive material is covered with black magma-like life fluid, like layers of black mud, which is creepy and terrifying. Countless black mud rolls and surges on the mineral surface, like an ocean. Cells are mutating, rapidly dividing, proliferating. In the black giant group, there is a bright furnace heart, which flashes and flashes, 657, with the rhythm of the giant's breathing, and keeps repeating. After an unknown amount of time, another faint spot of light appeared in the darkness. It split out from the side of the huge atomic furnace, like another heart, approximately conical, emitting a blue light that is completely opposite to red. Huge red dots, faint blue dots. The two rays of light flickered alternately, sometimes merging into a bewildering deep purple or blue-red light. The second core plasma furnace was born. Its appearance caused the temperature of the underground abyss full of high temperature to drop suddenly. 
It wasn't that the outside world had become colder, but that the plasma converter was crazily absorbing the heat from the outside world, reabsorbing all the energy into the handle of the black behemoth. I do not know how long it has been. I only know that the sun and the moon in the outside world are changing, and the seasons are changing. The Naga guards walked back and forth, changing batch after batch of people. And in this process, located near the first core biological atomic furnace, the size of the second core plasma conversion furnace is getting bigger and bigger, and the blue light gradually grows to a state that is almost the same as the red light. At this point, the plasma converter has finally been completely evolved. At this time, Boom, boom, a huge heart beating sound came from the ground. A large amount of water vapor in the deep underground pit has been evaporated, and a huge amount of radiation has long been absorbed. Then, boom, like a rushing waterfall and river, the huge black monster's heart beats, its blood circulates, and its muscles roar like an engine. Sudden, at the moment when everything was silent, the giant pupils filled with poisonous gas, majesty and destruction suddenly opened with a strong sense of oppression. The embodiment of destruction is waking up. The giant pupils glowing with indifference and animality lit up in the darkness, focusing on the front. Boom, the long tail woven with pitch black intertwined cells lifted up, and a giant black monster, a creature called a dragon, followed the dazzling blue light from its dorsal fin, and slowly opened a huge shadow behind it, sending out a resounding sound. The domineering roar of the underground abyss. Roar. Under that loud roar, the entire ground shook violently. The bottom of the abyss no one can see. A pair of eye-catching huge wings overturned the earth covered with black iron, and the endless rocks were quickly destroyed. Boom, the bottom of the abyss was shaken, and then the dragon's roar tore apart the surrounding things, as if expressing its excitement and excitement. An incomprehensible terrifying force shattered the surrounding land. Finally, when the ground completely collapsed into a huge pit, a huge bright black monster appeared above the pit. Its body length exceeds 120 meters, 60 meters when standing upright, and its wing length reaches a terrifying 90 meters. Its appearance as a giant dragon has become more slender, and it is completely different from the previous bloated and deformed monster body. However, in order to be able to support two atomic furnaces, its huge body is not too big, it looks full of power and has a strong combat effectiveness. Because Brother Reese is still a monster, no matter how you say it. Although the breath has been strengthened, the already strong body will only become stronger after evolution. Thermal energy conversion plasma plasma, the heat energy absorbed by the whole body from flames, lightning, and nuclear fuel fuses with electrons, ions, and atomic nuclei in the blood to generate plasma energy. Plasma energy can be obtained using plasma fireballs, breath breaths, or power jets that explode while flying. Atomic energy conversion furnace nuclear energy when the breath energy is charged through the body, the dorsal fin will ionize the air, and the blue nuclear reaction will flash. The breath burst state will turn red, and then it will cool down. Physical strength increased by 150%. The intensity of the light is increased by 300%. Its body has become stronger, and it still has a sense of oppressive power. From the appearance, most people will think that it is a monster that is good at physical combat, but they ignore the huge body that is almost twice the length tail. Tail, this is the focus of this evolution, even more important than dragon wings. Tail radiation flow concentrate the radiation heat rays into a slender light-like radiation flow, which is released from the end of the tail to turn the target into ashes. The maximum temperature can reach 500,000 degrees, and it can melt and evaporate almost any substance. Plasma cutting the tail can be stretched freely, and the speed of the tip swing is as high as Mach 2. With the ultra-high power plasma generated by the dorsal fin, it can throw a plasma cutting up to 120 meters long and explode everything. The upper limit of plasma cutting temperature is extremely high, but the lower limit is also very low, depending on the host itself. Then there are the wings that have evolved the most in this appearance. Today's brother Reese has a streamlined body covered with dark steel-colored shining scales, powerful limbs, and eye-catching wings. But his wings are completely different from the neat wings of other giant dragons, but formed a unique shape, such as overlapping huge blades, wings and claws. At takeoff, it's more like the mock ring of flames spewing out from the tail of a jet. Because of the structure of its wings, Tall Reese cannot fly by flapping its wings. Instead, 
It uses the openings at the end of its wings to spray out blue or red dragon chi nuclear power energy and uses the reaction force generated by its violent eruption reaction to fly into the sky or obtain explosive flying speed. When moving at high speed, it emits a strong brilliance like a blue-red comet. The tail flame is blue after the air is ionized. And when it accelerates suddenly, it will turn red at high temperature. Under full output, it may turn into purple-red mixed with lightning. Although it is very domineering, the design is full of sense of technology, and it is also very cool, but can fly, but only a little. Under normal circumstances, two minutes is the limit, and if you move forward at full speed for 30 seconds, you have to find a place to land to recover your strength, and the energy in Reese's body will also be exhausted quickly. Because the current brother, Reese, weighs 98,000 tons. With a weight of nearly 100,000 tons, flying at an altitude of 10,000 meters at twice the speed of Mach, is it a bit too far-fetched? Because flying at this speed, the range of damage is ridiculously large, and all the ground below its wings will suffer when it flies. Wherever it flies, geological activities will become active, and the Earth will directly fission. Zero. After all, the size and wingspan are there, and the airflow during flight is very large. The ability to wake up an extinct volcano and cause it to erupt as a breeze when passing through an area. However, is the dragon wing that has finally evolved just a decoration? Of course not. Besides flight, this wing has many important uses. Active dragon wing cooling system, the energy generated by the biological atomic furnace in the heart causes all parts of the body to generate terrifying high temperatures. It must rely on blood circulation and dorsal fin heat dissipation to prevent overheating. However, the existence of jet dragon wings can transform the heat in the dorsal fin into high temperature air and eject it out of the body, which can quickly help the dorsal fin dissipate heat. Jet combat skills There are rich muscle and tendon structures in your wings, allowing you to change the shape of your wings as you like. In the combat state, the nozzles of the gun wings are backwards. At this time, you can use the terrifying power erupted from the wings to burst out with super mobility and deal a fatal blow to the enemy. Or with the help of propulsion, instantly distance yourself from the enemy, and then jump to a safe area. Dragon Chi Bomb. Full firepower, the gun wing deforms, and the nozzle turns to the front. At this time, you are like a mobile turret. Not only can you use breath and tail radiation stream to destroy the enemy, but also the thermonuclear reaction will charge the plasma conversion furnace, thereby generating dragon energy to eject shells from a long distance to consume the enemy. It can also let all the nozzles at the end of the dragon wings burst out powerful dragon energy at a short distance, blasting close enemies like a shotgun. Dorsal fins with wing blades. Comet falling, in melee mode, you can transform the wings into blades, transform the gun wings into sharp blades to penetrate the front, or connect with the dorsal fins to perform a wide-range sweeping attack. Or, when running, dragon energy erupts, rushes into the air, accelerates for a few seconds, and then swoops down to bombard the enemy like a meteorite, showing an extremely shocking appearance. This wing, when fighting, simply invincible. Brother Reese turned his head to look at his own wings, feeling extremely excited. The newly evolved gun wing is like its own arm, becoming flexible and free, but it still takes a while to get used to its operation. The only regret is that the flight time is too short to travel long distances. But the improvement in combat is huge. Another disadvantage is that the long-term burning of the dragon energy will turn the tip of the gun wing red, and the power and maneuverability will be reduced at that time. If it is not cooled, it will be burnt and melted, and it will regenerate after a period of time. All in all, the current self has become very powerful. Even against the dragon mentor, Brother Reese is confident in defeating him. Level. Adolescence. Juvenile. Height. 60.5 meters. Overall length. 122 meters. Wing length. 95 meters. In the non-combat state, it is merged with the dorsal fin, which looks like a huge dorsal fin. When fighting, the dorsal fin is spread out to both sides and turned into a pair of guns. Age. 3 years old. Atomic furnace. Dual core. Breath. Radiant heat. Radiation flow. Plasma. Plasma. Series. Good attributes. Fire. Thunder. Defensive skin and scale armor. Magic resistance. Magic absorption. Large-scale magic elimination field. Physical resistance. Fire absorption. Lightning absorption. 
It turns out that a year has passed. When Brother Reese looked up to the outside of the pit, the outside world was already dark. The moon and stars are rare. Witnessing the passage of time and the changes in the world, Reese now feels lost. Ha, huh, it's time to leave here. Brother Reese started walking outside. Now, the adolescent monsters in full bloom are awakened. And he has taken another step towards becoming the future king of monsters. Boom, at this time, Brother Reese, who had finished his evolution, stood up and crawled towards the outside world above. With its powerful arms and sharp claws, it easily tore through the rock formations, exposing its giant body over a hundred meters to the air. Afterwards, the shape of the wings changed and turned into gun wings, emitting a huge propulsion. Dragon Jet With a slight movement of the mind, the ends of the deformed wings emitted a blazing energy beam from the nozzle. Boom, boom. The rock cracked, and the gaps centered on the point where the dragon energy propulsive energy fell exploded violently, and Brother Reese also rushed out of the deep pit directly under this strong propulsion force, and landed on the outside world. Boom, the heavy feet landed on the ground, producing a huge impact. The black dragon monster with a slender body also raised its head and stared at the dim moon in the distant sky. Ah, what happened? The Naga soldiers guarding the Jusha tunnel were terrified and startled by the loud thunder. What, what's wrong? They rushed out to see what was going on, and they were shocked by the scene in front of them, and took a deep breath. Yes, Lord Dragon, I saw that the original Black Dragon monster had nearly doubled in size, and when its two legs stood upright, it was a full 60 meters high. And when the four limbs are on the ground, counting the length of the tail, it is more than 100 meters. What is this, Dragon King? According to the information of the Desert Naga clan, only the Dragon King can grow so disgusting. In other words, the existence in front of me is very likely to be a extreme dragon. Tell Queen Naga, I'm awake. In the process of rolling the sand sea, Brother Reese crawled hundreds of meters along the desert on all fours. Leaving the giant pit and away from the Naga, Brother Reese returned to an upright position, overlooking the desert in front of him. There are no animals, no birds, no insects, and the dead and silent desert seems to be scared away by the coercion emitted by itself and hides. Compared with the yellow sand all over the sky, Gaurice Dahe's slender body looks extremely huge. The giant beast full of power is walking in the sandstorm at this time, making the surrounding hills look extremely small. But compared with other ferocious monsters, Risa's eyes have a wisdom beyond the world, or the contempt of the powerful. He couldn't wait to test his strength now. So Brother Reese went to the depths of the desert, came to this barren land, looked up at the sky, with a touch of expectation in his heart. Give it a try and see if you can touch the other side of the sky. Boom, boom, the black dragon monster began to run on the desert land, and every time it stepped, the ground shook and the ground cracked. It moved its giant legs supporting a weight of nearly 100,000 tons, and stepped on the ground at a speed of 100 meters per second. The huge shock wave lifted the desert hundreds of meters away, and the dust spread for thousands of meters. The earth fissioned, and the cracks and gaps collapsed to the surroundings with the soles of Reese's feet as the landing point. If there are weak creatures nearby, it is estimated that they will be instantly exploded by the powerful shock wave, the flesh and blood will explode, and they will die instantly. Boom! When the black dragon monster was running faster and faster, its mountain-like dorsal fin shone with a dazzling blue light, and then it slowly spread out to both sides. It turned out that a pair of gun wings folded like blades were opened, and then several jets at the ends of the wings emitted fiery beams like engines, the air was ionized into a dazzling blue, and under the huge blue tail flame, at the roar of thunder. Booming, Brother Reese's running feet suddenly left the ground, and the desert was hit by an unspeakably terrifying shock wave, creating huge waves, and a sandstorm was born. Under the huge propulsion force, mock rings appeared round after round behind Reese's wings. The wings accelerated with all their strength, and the hot plasma that was ejected turned into a shock wave that knocked everything around it away. Boom 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 boom. Immediately afterwards, there was a loud noise like a nuclear explosion, and a plasma halo appeared on the ground. Under the supersonic combustion and ramming of the dragon gas, Brother Reese's electric wing tail spewed out a bright, dazzling, diamond babo. And he also disappeared in the distance in an instant, flying towards the sky of thousands of meters, tens of thousands of meters. Boom, boom, 
Thunder and lightning were produced in the sky, and the high temperature plasma dragged the remaining dragon tail flames when Reese was flying and dispersed in the sky. Immediately afterwards, the blue plasma heated up and turned red, and a comet with a blue and red tail flame appeared. That spectacular and beautiful scene, accompanied by the roar of the comet across the night sky, suddenly aroused the covetousness of countless creatures in the desert and the desert naga. They raised their heads cautiously, looking at the sky as if they were watching a god. This group of tiny beings, full of quarrels, fears and joys, looking up at the endless night sky when comets streak across the sky, is really sad and cute. It seems to be able to hear the call of the desert naga. Omens, comets, monsters, gods, demons, etc., cannot be listed completely, but none of them are exact. The dragon comet that Reese turned into made a fiery light in the sky where it passed, illuminating the world below it. Mortals living in the desert look up at the night sky and can see a corner of a slender body like an electric fire meteor. The Nagas knelt down on their knees and grabbed the ground with their heads, regarding this meteor-like figure as an unshakable auspicious omen. The trace of the comet in the form of a dragon passing across the starry sky will be respectfully engraved on the ordinary rocks by the Nagas on the ground with simple graphics, depicting its somewhat slender body, and using the Nagas, humble eyes watching the dawn of a supernova born. They praise the extraordinary comet and worship it as a god, how devout. The dragon of the comet exuding faint star brilliance, when it passed over the desert, the fiery light emitted illuminated the boundless world below. On this vast but small land, no one can know the true face of the comet, and no one knows the real body under the glorious appearance of the dragon of the comet passing by. Actually, Brother Reese did not deliberately cover up his whereabouts. They did not make any cover, but flitted across the boundless starry sky in an upright and domineering manner. It's a pity that although his scales have the toughness to withstand high-intensity sonic flight, but due to the limited energy source and huge physical exertion, he had to end this short journey to the sky and fall towards a certain place in the desert. The fall went smoothly. Brother Reese kept part of the fuel in his body, ended the jet flight on the way, and restarted it when he was about to land, generating a powerful shock wave, blowing the desert out of a huge crater tens of meters deep, and then the nearly 100,000 tons body crashed down, causing the earth to produce terrifying thunder again. The cactus trees and plants not far away were also turned into powder, uprooted and disappeared under the shock wave, and there were no other creatures around except Brother Reese. Therefore, as the embodiment of destruction, the Monster King just exists there and does nothing, which will cause great destruction to the weak. If he destroys it with all his strength, he will be the most terrifying destroyer of the ecological circle. And if such an existence is determined to be an enemy of the world, then I can hardly believe what kind of disaster will happen. No wonder the extreme dragons are so arrogant. Although I haven't reached that level yet, this power is already terrifyingly strong. Brother Reese muttered in his heart, he didn't think he was worthy of the title of extreme dragon. At least wait until it can fly freely and completely, and then call it extreme dragon. It would be too much for me to say that I am the strongest dragon in my youth. However, maybe when I become an adult, it won't be necessarily the case. Having said that, where did I fly to? After Brother Reese fell, the wings changed shape and turned into sharp blades to attach to the dorsal fin. Now he is like the monster Godzilla, returning to the land form, standing upright, wagging his tail, and staring in all directions in the desert. Immediately afterwards, Brother Reese vaguely heard Toichi's vigorous and domineering roar. Then Long Zhao's biosensing radar suddenly vibrated. It seems to remind Brother Reese that a life form with extremely powerful magic power is rapidly approaching. The earth is roaring, but it is not himself who created all of this, but another existence that can be called a monster. Could it be that, when Brother Reese shrank his pupils and turned his head to look, a gigantic beast that stirred up billowing dust while running approached him? It really is. Behemoth. Brother Reese was startled. He didn't expect to run into Bekimo's territory. It's over, now yourself, etc. Brother Reese looked down at his strong body. Then he looked at the behemoth beastmaster who was slightly smaller than himself. He weighed it up in his heart, and he became more confident. Really, the self who has completed evolution may not lose to the beast king in front of him. What are you talking about? Just do it. Chapter 91 Behemoth Then, Brother Reese saw the figure of the Beastmaster. 
As the Beastmaster was running, the ground shook violently, and the thunder kept ringing. At this moment, a large number of giant sand scorpions and scarabs had already gathered in the desert, and they were all attracted by the terrifying vibrations. But after seeing the black and gnarled figure of the monster, the giant sand scorpions and scarabs scattered in fright, fleeing away from this area, but it was too late. In other words, when the figure of the giant beast king appeared, the disaster had already arrived. Crack, an extremely strong earthquake erupted together with the sound of thunder, and the sand scorpions and scarabs were shattered into powder by the impact of the trample, and the huge figures also rushed out of the sandstorm, showing their terrifying true colors. Then, the king of the thundering sand sea appeared. Dragon, Beastmaster called Reese, as if he were a poor lizard with wings, breathing blue and white flames, looking for some beetles in the desert for food. Get out of my territory. The Beastmaster raised his ferocious head, opened his mouth, his sharp fangs radiated a cold light, and then let out a thick and domineering roar, and the entire thundering sand sea trembled instantly. Incredible, the mighty Beastmaster who tore apart all intruders roared to warn the guys who invaded its territory. This is something that other creatures in the desert dare not even think about. The one who was treated like this by Behemoth before was another king in the desert, the Dragon of Indigo. Dragon, Brother Reese whispered, using such a poor name to command me. Are you sure it's wise enough to be my enemy? Roar, the Bekimo's Beastmaster was furious. Its muscular body stepped on the boulder, and its two feet stood upright, as if it was showing its own strength, and roared with its head raised. At the same time, it beat its own chest muscles with both fists and slammed the ground. In an instant, terrifying dust filled the air, and the earth rolled up terrifying shock waves. Bekimo's momentum made all beasts crawl, showing the majesty of the king. Its gnarled figure is extremely domineering, and its harsh and violent personality makes it even more terrifying like a demon. The next moment, the roar of the beast king seemed to be falling apart, and the sharp teeth exuded murderous aura. The ferocious fusion of a bull and a giant ape and lion displayed terrifying hostility, exuding black magic that distorted the air. The momentum is very good. On Brother Reese's black crown-like head with dragon horns, there is a pair of indifferent pupils scanning the Beast King in front of him. The black magic power distorts the air, which looks full of force and oppression. Although he has no magic power, his dorsal fin but it emitted a dazzling light, and the air above was also burned into a blazing red. Next second, light, condensed out of his mouth. The moment the dorsal fin lights up, energy fluctuations visible to the naked eye gather in the inner core reactor of Brother Reese, and then the muscle contraction triggers a chain reaction. The dorsal fin glows like red lightning, and the terrifying high temperature gathers from the mouth, and the extremely terrifying hotline breaks instantly, go away. Radiating hotline, that is the real atomic breath, its initial temperature is as high as 200,000 degrees, and with the passage of time, the temperature will continue to rise, 250,000 degrees, 300,000 degrees, 35, 0, 0.5. The breath of light instantly changed from blue to red, and then converged into a purple stream in an instant and swept away. Brother Reese did not aim at the behemoth behemoth beastmaster, because he knew that the opponent would definitely avoid it, so Brother Reese used the energy in his body to release the heat from his mouth, sweeping across the front in a straight line, and baptized the earth indiscriminately. In an instant, the neutron particles in the flame-like breath and the radioactive substances in nuclear fission, after touching the target body, will be driven by the above substances to drive their own atomic structure to cross the critical point to form a chain nuclear fission explosion. Simply put, it is, nuclear explosion. Almost in an instant, the diameter of the breath penetrated the ground 500 meters in front of it. After the material touched the breath of nuclear fission, it produced a thermal explosion, causing the earth to rapidly heat up into a frighteningly high temperature like the surface of the sun, swallowing sand scorpions, holy beetles, plant roots, and everything in the desert. Boom, boom, boom. All the land in front of which was blown by the breath exploded in an instant, the turbulent flames turned the night sky into day, Smoke and dust like a mushroom cloud rose gradually, the air screamed, and countless smoke and ashes of radioactive radiation spread in the fire open. However, as expected of the Beastmaster, I forgot that you monsters can use magic. Brother Reese looked at the terrifying black shadow above the sea of flames. The Beastmaster raised his muscular arms, and the black aura on his body kept the flames out. 
it stepped on the void, and it looked like it was running in the air. It escaped the sweeping breath of it, and at this time it was facing Brother Reese from a height, swooped over. Dragon Jet Brother Reese's dorsal fin split, and the shape of a pair of huge wings changed. After firing a dragon energy bomb towards the attacking figure of the Beastmaster, the powerful propulsion force also instantly distanced him from the opponent. Boom! The Beastmaster, who landed amidst the explosion, was hit head-on by two dragon energy blast bombs, his whole body froze, and he fell back, the ground dented by his feet. At this moment, Brother Reese's mountain-like figure rushed towards him in an instant, his claws clenched into fists, and as the dragon wings erupted with powerful propulsion, he punched the beast King Bekaimo's abdomen. With a dull explosion, Bekaimo's body was sent flying hundreds of meters away and fell to the ground. So strong, feeling his own strength, Brother Reese clenched his fists. It seems that his close combat ability is not as weak as imagined, but the power of breathing is stronger. Roar, Bekaimo's let out an angry roar, turned around and climbed up on the ground, stretched his gnarled muscles, and rushed towards his brother Reese again. Comet Dragon Fist Brother Reese didn't retreat, he wanted to test his various skills, and at the same time as the dragon wings opened instantly, a strong propulsion burst out, and he punched forward to produce a mock ring. Boom! The head-on collision between the tough guys erupted an extremely strong shock wave, and the power of nearly one million tons set off raging waves and violent sand in the desert. The clouds and the sky were all shattered. As a result, the Bekaimo's Beast King was blown away, but its body glowed with magical light. The moment it landed, it turned around and got up, continuing to hit. Protection of the Earth When Bekaimo steps on the ground, his magic power will be restored infinitely, even if he is seriously injured, he can regenerate quickly. Brother Reese's demon-destroying eyes lit up, deciphering Behemoth's special skills. It's no wonder this guy is so fierce, it's as if he's fine against his two punches, this kind of talent is too heaven-defying. But since that's the case, I'm ready to use my thousand Lu firepower. Brother Reese didn't intend to continue the hand-to-hand -hand fight with Bekaimos, so he opened up all his firepower and crushed him with his breath. So, radiation hotline. Starting from the tail, Reese's dorsal fin glowed again, and these lights lit up a little bit along the tailbone plate. Seeing this scene, Bekaimos immediately sensed Reese's intentions. Roar! In the next instant, Bekaimos erupted the absolute power in his body, the body of the Beastmaster directly broke through the air barrier, stepped on the ground with his bulging hind legs, and violently rushed towards his brother Reese, carrying the destroyed a claw that can destroy the Earth Strikes. Plutocrat, do you think I can really use breath? Dragon gas bombs, full firepower. The huge gun wings on the back instantly deformed, and the nozzle turned to the front. At this moment, the plasma conversion furnace in Reese's body has also absorbed enough energy from the nuclear thermal energy of the indiscriminate breath that erupted at the beginning, and the blazing blue light began to condense on all the nozzles at the end of the dragon wing. The moment Bekaimos approached, all the plasma fireballs exploded in one go. Like a terrifying shotgun, it blasted away the Beastmaster who was close to him. Boom 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 boom. The plasma energy stored in the body and oxygen are mixed and compressed through the expansion chamber to produce a strong ionization effect, and the condensed energy is converted into a fireball and released from the gun wing, accompanied by strong discharge and luminous phenomena, so that the plasma fireball has the power to burn everything instantly. And when most of the plasma fireballs hit Bekaimos, it suddenly burst out with severe pain, and the terrifying high temperature pierced through its body. Its life is about to take its toll. And the dazzling doomsday light kept rising in front of Reese's eyes, and the plasma in the atmosphere began to turn into rain of fire above Reese and sprinkled on the ground. Endless radioactive smoke fused under his ignition, burning blazingly in the night sky. The canyon not far away has collapsed into lava mixed with gravel, flowing along the original depression in the desert, turning it into a radiant melting pot. The light gradually melted in the turbulent high temperature, and turned into splashes of various colors that ordinary people could not distinguish. Who, who, Brother Reese panted, and continued to press the surrounding nuclear heat into his core, making the dorsal fin brighter and hotter. But the scene in front of me is really amazing, the eye-catching light cascades pouring out, and the extreme heat energy concentration even extends the limit of the spectrum. For this reason, Ba Reese's back trembled slightly with excitement. This is the wound I left in this world. It's a testament to his strength. 
But, when Brother Reese pulled back, he suddenly felt the sprouting of an emotion he had never felt before. For fear, the joy that arises in the heart at the time of destruction. Satisfied in the killing, the inner excitement after gaining power. A lot of emotions sprouted in Reese's heart, but they turned into anxiety and fear. He quickly remembered the words that the mentor of the Big Blue Dragon warned himself, when the power suddenly becomes stronger, the mentality will also change accordingly. I hope you will not use your power to create damage in the future. Strength. Brother Reese murmured and looked at his claws, and the hot stumps rained down nearby. The dragon, killed me. At this time, the low roar of the Beastmaster sounded, Brother Reese was a little surprised, he looked at the dying Bekimos in front of him. The Beast King did not die immediately. But when Brother Reese was about to make up the knife, he remembered the words of the big blue dragon instructor in his mind, and stopped. I, I can let you go. Brother Reese looked at Bekimos in a deep voice, and said, but you have to be the slave of the dragon. Roar, the Beastmaster growled again, but this time Reese kept his mouth shut. You can't enslave me who is the king of beasts. I am, the king of the thundering sand sea. The Beastmaster said weakly and intermittently. Fighting, is my destiny. Mercy, is the consolation of the fool. Here, Bay, Shimos was dying but it obviously could use the magic power of the earth to revive itself, but it refused to do so, it seemed that it wanted to die. Quote dot, back quote your ignorance bores me. In the end, J. Reese made behemoth come true, and sprayed a radiating hotline electric beam of destruction towards its head, which quickly melted the skin after hitting behemoth's head. Followed by muscles, bones. Immediately after five seconds, Bekimo's head completely disappeared, and the tense body of the Beastmaster also relaxed and fell to the ground. And at the moment before the death of Behemoth, the King of Beasts, Brother Reese seemed to hear something vaguely, finally, I, who was in the barrier of pain, was freed. That seemed to be the thought of Bekimo's when he died, it seemed to have been tortured for a long time. But now, it's dead. Crash. The aftermath of the explosion sent heat waves at the feet of Brother Reese, and it also ignored the front, the head of the Beast King was completely burned, and the huge body fell into the flames, gradually burning. Watching this scene, Brother Reese's eyes were neither happy nor sad. I was not born for destruction. It is not me who kills you, but you who gave up the idea of survival. For the enemy, Duan Yi, the necessary destroyer, is a matter of course. And I am. Brother Reese Mirabeau Reese, a dragon who lost his way in the desert. The explosion dissipated, the sky was cleared, and a large group of cokes slowly fell. Like black snow, Brother Reese wanted to just turn around and leave, a wandering lonely soul doesn't need any place to fetter. But after taking two steps, he hurriedly ran back to put out the flames, grabbing something on Bekimos. Dot dot dot, G-U-G-U dressed handsomely, almost forgot, this guy has a magic core. Finally, Fortunately, a dark and glossy magic core was found near the heart of the Beast King's corpse, but fortunately it was not on the head, otherwise it would be arrogant. System. You have obtained the magic core of a mythical monster, Behemoth King Behemoth. Currently available on legs for improved notch, air run. Running in the air, use strong foot power to step on the air, generate strong air force, and can run in the air for a period of time. As the King of Beasts, Bekimos certainly has more than one skill, but Brother Reese considers that he gives priority to his limbs in the places where he is notched, and Bekimos' sharp claws are too rubbish. No, the only thing is muscle explosiveness did Zhao. In terms of muscular ability, running in the air is obviously more suitable. But Brother Reese didn't rush to score, but put away the magic core, this is a good thing, it condenses the vitality of Behemoth's Beast King, even if you eat it directly, it can be used as fuel to explode. Release a powerful breath or store energy stars. After disposing of Behemoth's body, Reese turned to leave. But suddenly, he raised his head and looked towards the direction of the Beast King's lair in the Thundering Sand Sea. Maybe it was an illusion, but he seemed to feel something calling him. Or, calling its parents. Then, not long after, Reese saw the little guy. A young baby Bekimos was tremblingly hiding in the cave lair, looking towards this side in fear. Brother Reese's eyes became complicated, and then he became ruthless. If you don't do anything, you can't stop talking. So, it walked forward, and the huge shadow of the monster covered little Bekimos' body. Brother Reese is very helpless. 
originally defeating Behemoth, the Beast Master of the Thundering Sand Sea, and then ransacking its lair is over. However, a small head suddenly appeared in the nest, making him stop his movements. Your parents were killed by me. Brother Reese pointed to a huge beast king corpse outside, that seemed to be the mother of little Bekimos, as for its father, he didn't know where it went. Woo, for the little guy, it seemed that he was not too sad about the death of his parents, but looked at his brother Reese in fear, groaned twice in fear, and shrank his head back. Brother Reese clawed open the huge hole with his sharp claws and pulled the little one out. The little guy who struggled a few times in the air was placed in its palm, but it couldn't stand up when it writhed around. It was only then that Brother Reese realized that it seemed very weak and couldn't cope at all. Moreover, the little Bekimos in front of him doesn't seem to be a pure Bekimos, but a mixed breed monster. So, what is its father? Brother Reese stared at little Bekimos and thought of this, and soon the identification results appeared in front of his eyes. Name Behemoth Childhood. Race Hybrid Warcraft. Bloodline Behemoth Behemoth Mother Demon King Father. Health Status weak. Seeing this, Brother Reese was surprised. Demon King. It was the first time he had seen the name. It seems to be a creature that only exists in the plane of hell. Inheritance memory tells Brother Reese that the hell demon has seven kings, and their strength is comparable to that of the Dragon King. However, these creatures are quite rare. But what really made Reese feel unbelievable is that the demon actually conceived offspring with Behemoth, the King of Beasts, which is not ordinary. What are you going to do? Brother Reese stared at the little guy in front of him, he could feel whether the other party was hostile to him. If it intends to avenge the dead beast king, then he is not sure whether he will kill him. But that doesn't seem to be necessary anymore. Because there was only fear in the little guy's eyes, seeing this, Chef Reese put it in place. I'll give you a name. Brother Reese stared at the little Bekimos, pondered for a moment and said, From now on, you will be called, Bay Bay, you will inherit your mother's will and become the next Lei Mingxia Beastmaster of the Sea. As his words fell, little Bekimos's eyes seemed to light up with a faint light, it didn't resist, but nodded slightly. System, you have obtained a Warcraft servant, Bay Bay. Is there a naming rule? If so, then drink my blood. Brother Reese looked at his palm, and then his eyes wandered on the little Bekimos body. He cut the palm with his claws, separating out a part of cells containing magic power. Little Bekimos was stunned for a moment, and instinctively accepted the gift from the giant dragon, the group of cells could help it complete its evolution. From now on, even if you evolve into an incomparable and powerful beast king, you are not allowed to destroy it at will, and your master's name is Brother Reese Mirabeau Reese. After doing all this, Brother Reese stood up and turned away towards the distance. He didn't pay any attention to the little Bekimos here. The group of monster cells bestowed on it will also allow it to quickly acquire powerful power, even if it becomes a monster, one day, it will still treat Brother Reese as its master. This can be regarded as compensation for it. After all, no one knows what is going on with that behemoth beastmaster, why does it want to die in pain? Brother Reese remained puzzled. Then, after looting some valuable dark elemental magic crystals, some rare metal ores, and a lot of magic cores in the Beast King's lair, they left here. The Beast King's lair was even poorer than he had imagined. It can't compare to the magnificence and grandeur of the Dragon's lair, but it is barely justified. After all, this is a temperate and tropical desert, a barren area. After solving the desert boss, Behemoth Beastmaster, Rhys returned to the territory of Queen Naga. Great Dragon Lord, no, my lord. When Brother Reese returned to the Naga territory in the desert, the attitude of Queen Naga changed dramatically. There was a hint of awe and fear in her voice. Maybe it was frightened by the body shape and appearance brought about by his evolution, but it doesn't matter anymore. Because I am leaving soon. I have defeated the Beastmaster of the Thundering Sand Sea, and now I can go directly across the desert to the sea. Is there anything I should pay attention to along the way? The huge black dragon monster asked in a deep voice. Its huge body of 100 meters is displayed in front of the desert naga, attracting fearful gazes, and the long tail, just dragging on the ground, caused quite a roar. Brother Reese didn't get too close here, he was afraid that he would accidentally damage the building and let the group of naga say that he was a dragon behind his back. No, there is nothing to pay attention to. 
The Naga queen of the desert shook her head desperately, she really couldn't think of what kind of guy could stop a extreme dragon, yes, in her eyes, the figure of Reese is no different from that of an extreme dragon. But brother Reese gaze made her feel sore, as if it was difficult to fool her without saying anything. Quote dot dot dot, if I insist, there are many giant scorpions in the desert, and they lurk in the sand to attack people passing by. But you don't need to care about them, no matter how vicious they are, they won't dare to attack you of. Queen Naga said this, and then suddenly thought of something, and then said, also, when you walk to the end of the thundering sand sea and reach the edge of the mainland, there is a place called Chaos Demon Sea, the deep blue the sea of magic is extremely deep and vast, and it also contains a terrifying vortex of magic power, which can engulf all living beings and pull them into the depths beyond redemption. The desert Naga queen spoke here, she frowned as if recalling something. Besides, there is a faction named, Sea Clan, in the Demon Sea. They are the most powerful races in the Demon Sea. Among them, apart from the mermaid and mermaid, the most powerful is the Mizunaga. If you meet if you get to them, maybe you can get help. Mizunaga, I'll check it out if I get a chance. Brother Reese nodded, not expecting much. However, the Chaos Demon Sea is a very dangerous place, and there are many huge sea beasts. Of course, for the current self, it should be said to be food. I just don't know if I have the luck to meet High Long, that is a rare group of guys. When everything was over, Brother Reese left the thundering sand sea and set foot on the direction to the Golden Kingdom. After seeing the huge black dragon leave, the desert Naga breathed a sigh of relief. But Brother Reese left a word for them before he left that is, when Old Rock Dragon to Nick comes back next time, tell Old Rock Dragon, I haven't eaten all your magic stones. I don't know how the Old Rock Dragon will react when he hears it, but it should be many years later. Near Thunder Sand Sea, sandstorms are frequent in desert areas, and plants are often buried. The creatures here have been baptized by wind and sand all year round, so that the carapaces have evolved rough and thick. With the fading of night and the arrival of dawn, many daily monsters gradually woke up, and the creatures in the desert started a new day of carnival. The fall of the Beast King Behemoth means the arrival of a new bloody storm. Thunder Sand Sea currently lacks a king who can frighten the beasts. After Brother Reese left like this, and the old rock dragon did not come back, the monsters in Thunder Sand Sea will naturally riot, start fighting each other, hunt wildly, and run for a new king. Beastmaster appears. This is the survival rule of Warcraft, there must be a top leader to ensure the balance of the ecological circle, so that other powerful Warcraft dare not mess around. This also means that the disappearance of the Beastmaster has made Thundering Sand Sea dangerous again. The riot of monsters will not only have a major impact on the ecological circle, but also on the humans living near the desert. There are a lot of gold, rare magic ore materials, and expensive baba, fire thorn fruit trees, sand tortoises and other specialties in the Thundering Sand Sea. The sand tortoise is an important means of transportation, similar to the ancient ox cart. Therefore, the residents of the desert area mainly live on the edge of the Thundering Sand Sea and the coastal areas. As long as they are not close to the deep part of the desert, the danger will be correspondingly reduced a lot, develop rapidly. But as I said before, the death of Behemoth, the Beast King, made the relatively less dangerous edge of the desert even more dangerous. The active high-level monsters are hunting recklessly to reserve energy for evolution. Da 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 da. Dong Russia. Underscore. Amid the rapid gliding and driving sounds, a convoy of several sand elephants was driving fast in the desert. Hurry up, hurry up. If you don't want to die, don't stop. On the leading sand elephant carriage, a middle-aged man is desperately grasping the reins in his hand and sliding in front of the sand elephant. The sand elephant is a kind of creature here. The carriage in the desert is not so much a wheeled cart. It's more like a trailer being pulled along like a skateboard. Hiss woo woo woo. However, in the next second, a horrifying scream came out from the sand dunes behind, making the expression of the middle-aged man pale, and the original anxiety was rapidly changing into panic and fear. Behind the fast-moving sand elephant convoy, a desert giant scorpion was running fast with its eight-legged limbs. Its body length is nearly 14 meters, a pair of pincers evolved from legs looks huge and terrifying, the curved and segmented tail with venomous thorns flashes a deadly cold light, and the four eyes reveal the cruelty of chasing prey. 
For humans, it is a terrifying monster that can immediately sentence them to death. Help, woohoo, sister. In the sand elephant convoy, a human girl cried out for help. She closed her eyes and dared not look at the giant desert scorpion behind, hoping to divert her attention and calm down her beating heart a little. Boss, this guy's sand elephant seems to be dying, what should we do? On another sand elephant cart not far away, a young man with red hair shouted at the middle-aged man. There is no way. The middle-aged man clenched his teeth, a struggling expression appeared on his face, and it was too late to hesitate now. Leave the goods in the sand, no, just cut the rope of the sand elephant trailer. One or two people ride the sand elephant, and we escape together. The leading middle-aged man shouted loudly. But boss, in that case, the employer won't let us go. We can't afford the huge amount of compensation, and the rest of our lives will be worse than death. That's better than dying in. Strong here, only by surviving can we consider the future. The dead do not need compensation. The leading middle-aged man yelled directly, interrupting the young man's hesitation. Understood. Facing the order of his boss, the young man couldn't find any reason to refute. He made up his mind and took out the machete, ready to cut the rope that bound the sand elephant. Wait a minute, boss, look ahead. However, before the young man had time to cut the rope, a dwarf with a beard on another sand elephant convoy pointed forward with his eyes wide open and shouted. What? Before the middle-aged man had time to turn his head, he felt a violent earthquake coming, and the mournful cry of the sand elephant and the desperate cries of others sounded in his ears, followed by. What followed was a sharp pain. Ah, cough. The middle-aged man was thrown from the sand elephant car, and finally hit a huge rock, and fell heavily to the ground. He curled up, coughing and spitting out the sand in his nasal cavity. He opened his eyes vigorously, only then did he realize that the sand elephants were lying motionless on the ground in terror. And what appeared in front of their convoy was the black shadow of a huge monster. Ah, the dwarf and the young man behind the middle-aged man saw the giant desert scorpion that was chasing it suddenly stop, prostrate on the ground, and fled away in horror. Sora darkened, and a huge shadow covered them. Have we broken into the territory of another terrifying monster? The middle-aged man's eyes revealed despair, thinking like this. He raised his head slowly, and what he saw was a pair of thick giant legs and dazzling pitch black scales, and when he raised his head up, what he saw was a body full of power and a terrifying red glow. Muscles, and terrifying claws that mercilessly tear apart everything they touch. Then there are the bright golden giant pupils looking down on everything from above, and the domineering dragon horns formed by overlapping four horns on the head, like a curved shape tearing the sky. It is sharp enough to penetrate everything, as long as you shake your head lightly, it seems to be able to tear apart the surrounding space. The limbs with ferocious and sharp claws can easily penetrate the ground with a single tap, the sharp scales and the huge thorny dorsal fin tail are full of magic energy, spreading. A blue-red flame that distorts the air, emits lightning-like, and dark-like. It has huge blade-like wings that can almost envelop the body. It is like a piece of darkness and a beam of strange light. It is full of an ominous feeling, making people doubt whether it will bring disasters and destroy the world. It was an extremely huge dragon. Judging from its huge body, it might be the legendary, Dragon King. That's the end of my life. The moment he looked at the pitch-black dragon, the middle-aged man closed his eyes, waiting for his end. They all closed their eyes, waiting for the gruesome death to come. But a few seconds later, the black dragon, which means destruction to human beings, or the symbol of destruction, did not kill them, but looked down at them indifferently, motionless. Following the direction of perception, Reese, who was regarded as a magic dragon, lowered his head quietly, looking at the group of several humans who fell at his feet, with inexplicable emotions in his eyes. A minute ago, above the high altitude clouds in the desert, Brother Reese flew briefly in the form of a comet. He looked around the vast desert around him, his eyes were blank. I seem to, lost my way. Brother Reese felt a little embarrassed, he kept confirming the direction. Ryakaku's senses are not wrong, I'm going in the right direction, but. Where is this place, where is the sea as promised? Brother Reese glides intermittently in the sky, his whole body froze in the air. Looking up at the sky, Brother Reese suddenly felt that it was a wrong decision for him not to take the desert navigator. He felt a headache and didn't know what to do for a while. 
Looking down at his huge body, Brother Reese could only bite the bullet and move forward. Next, just around the corner. Ha! Huh. At this moment, Brother Reese turned his gaze slightly and fed back the message of the dragon horn from the ground, which made him aware of something unusual, or in other words, it was a creature he had never met before. Strange, how come there is a smell that I haven't felt before? After confirming the perceived position, the propulsion of Reese wings gradually stopped and entered the cooling down. He looked down at the several humans who were being chased by the giant desert scorpion, with inexplicable emotions in his eyes. People, kind, Brother Reese's bright golden vertical pupils froze slightly, but up to now, he has already admitted in his heart that he is a pure dragon. Whether it is appearance or psychology, the part of him that used to be a human has faded away, and then retained in another way, making his thinking slightly different from other normal dragons. Do you want to go down, or? Brother Reese subconsciously wants to keep a distance from humans. Because you don't know what the other party thinks, not to mention the power and racial inequality between the two parties, it is a very abrupt thing to contact rashly. But looking at the wings that must be cooled to replenish their strength, Brother Reese had to make an impromptu decision. Let's say it's the first time I've seen a human race in this life. Although it's just a human being in this world. But since they all have one head and two legs, if they're just communicating, they shouldn't ask. Thinking of this, Brother Reese's huge body turned into a shining ghostly star and rushed out of the looming clouds and mist. The huge wings sprayed with blue-red lightning airflow swept away the surrounding clouds and mist, and then began to dive down at high speed. This roar instantly attracted the attention below. What's the situation? The sky is exploding. Hiss. At the same time, the desert giant scorpion who was chasing the sand elephant car on the ground felt a chill instantly, and a strong sense of crisis continued to surge from the bottom of Gan Shin. Although it doesn't have the ability to think, the instinct of the beast is warning it that an extremely powerful being is coming. Without any hesitation, the giant desert scorpion hurriedly stopped, turned around and ran away, fleeing into the distance. Boom! With the roar of an earthquake, Although Brother Reese had tried his best to buffer and prevent the shock wave from spreading out, the tremors that could be felt still swept across the desert several kilometers away. The sand elephant car was thrown into the air abruptly, and the middle-aged man was thrown out of the car, and finally hit a huge rock and fell heavily to the ground. He curled up, coughing and spitting out the sand in his nasal cavity. When he tried to open his eyes, he found that the sand elephants were lying motionless on the ground in fear. And what appeared in front of them was a gigantic monster looming in the yellow sand. Dragon, magic dragon. Ah, with the fire of fire and the thunder of the dragon, the appearance of the desert also changed with the arrival of the giant dragon. After the plasma flames on both wings erupted, there were a large number of thunder lights flying in the entire sandstorm. Even the sky showed a strange hue of purple mixed with blue, and the air in the entire desert was slightly reddish. The change in the environment is inseparable from the giant dragon in front of him. While the middle-aged man and his team members were looking at Brother Reese in horror, Brother Reese was also looking down at them indifferently, motionless. Four humans. The leader is a middle-aged man, a young man with red hair, a dwarf man with a beard, and a human girl about 18 or 19 years old. Brother Reese felt hesitant and didn't know what to do. What would other giant dragons do if they encountered this situation? to crush them, to kill them, to eat them, or ignore them. All in all, say hello first. Greetings usually start with self-introduction, but Brother Reese feels that they don't need to know his name, and he doesn't want his name to be spread everywhere. I am, oh hell, Anton, we're dead. This thing is a, extreme dragon. Suddenly there was a terrified and rude voice from the crowd, it was the dwarf with the brown beard. The lifespan of a dwarf is at most about 450 years old. Obviously, this, well-informed, guy recognized the difference in the giant dragon in front of him. It's over, we are dead. The dwarf sat down on the ground in fright, his legs trembling. Even if he has lived for more than 200 years, he will still be in awe and admiration for the ferocious and ferocious appearance of the black dragon in front of him, that is the beauty of pure power. It has four limbs with sharp claws, blade like its huge black, red and blue wings, the sharp black scales, the protruding chin that looks like it is made of steel, the huge bright golden pupils that look down on everything, and the curved and stretched horns of the piercing dragon, all of which illustrate this the uniqueness and strength of the dark dragon. 
If it were any other giant dragon, they would probably have slapped them angrily if they were interrupted by the dwarves. But Brother Reese didn't do this, he was very surprised, he didn't expect that he was mistaken for Extreme Dragon. This is the highest compliment to a dragon. Extreme Dragon is the existence second only to Dragon King. Represents the peak of the Dragon Clan's combat power, the top group of giant dragons. It's like when someone praises you for being as good looking as a certain person, it's not a deliberate compliment, but a subconscious emotion from the heart. Dwarf, well said, keep on bragging. Way, your majesty the great dragon, please don't kill us. I don't know what conditions you want to spare our lives. The middle-aged man said tremblingly. He was really terrified, he was fine and often heard dwarves bragging about it, including stories about dragons. For most humans, their understanding of giant dragons is in storybooks and history books, and there are also legends spoken by bards. Ordinary people's understanding of giant dragons is even more superficial and terrifying. In the eyes of most humans, all giant dragons have almost the same strength. The older you are, the older you are, and the stronger your strength will naturally be. Humans, how far is this place from the Chaos Demon Sea? Brother Reese's noise is deep and strong, and people who are close will feel the eardrum tremor. This is the result of Brother Reese suppressing his own power, and Long Wei didn't let it out, otherwise this group of people would have passed out long ago. Chaos, Demon Sea. The middle-aged man froze for a moment, anxious cold sweat dripping from his forehead. He tried desperately to recall the place name, but he seemed to have never heard of it. Chaos Demonic Sea. Isn't that a place that disappeared hundreds of years ago? The dwarf widened his eyes, then gradually lifted his body lying on the ground, looked at the thigh of the dark dragon in front of him, and shouted with a trembling voice, Master Jilong. I heard from my grandma that the Chaos Demon Sea was born a few years ago. It disappeared a hundred years ago because of a sea god war, and now it is occupied by a group of sea people, and its name is Bloody Sea. Disappeared. There was a look of surprise in Reese's eyes, he didn't expect the Desert Queen's intelligence officer to be out of date for so long. After nearly ten seconds of silence, he bowed his head. Call, the middle-aged man and the dwarves heard a deep breathing sound, which came from the smoke, dust and yellow sand. With a heavy feeling that cannot be described in words, the pitch-black magic dragon lowered its head. He stared at them indifferently, his ferocious expression became even more terrifying after his mood turned sour. Really, then how should I deal with you? Brother Reese said so indifferently, his eyes, sweeping over this group of people. The middle-aged man was pale and desperate. The dwarf looked as if he was about to die. On the other hand, the red-haired young man let out a frightened, oh, as if he was scared to pee. It was the blonde girl who raised her hand tremblingly. She knelt on the ground and pointed her finger at Reese. When meeting the eyes of the black dragon, Ninur seemed to be frightened silly. Suddenly, for the first time, he uttered a threat. I, my elder sister is Merla at the, Golden Scarab, Caravan Post. She has long known that there is an evil black dragon wandering in the desert, attacking nearby caravans. The girl condensed a little rebellion, evil long, let us go, or you will regret it. The threat is weak, I don't know if the girl had a brain twitch, or she panicked out of extreme fear. Brother Reese didn't think he needed to waste his breath trying to let out a sympathetic sneer. Kill them and destroy their corpses. It's impossible for anyone to know that they have been here. But wait, she said evil black dragon. But she has just arrived in this area, how did she know? And the depths of the thundering sand sea is the territory of Behemoth, the king of beasts. He has always been at the other end of the desert, and he has only arrived here today this year. You mean, you have encountered other black dragons? Brother Reese's eyes turned cold, and gradually released a trace of dragon power. Suddenly, the air was shaking violently. The few people who were oppressed by the huge shock and fear suddenly knelt down on the ground, their cheeks pressed heavily on the sand, and it was difficult to breathe, I fell into a huge panic. Yes, I heard that, woohoo. Facing the fear, the girl's rebellious expression instantly collapsed, and she wanted to cry, but her voice was stuck in her throat and couldn't come out. The black, dragon, is it a giant dragon? Brother Reese murmured softly, a thoughtful look appeared in the bright golden vertical pupils. There can be no other dragons in this desert except himself. The old rock dragon is still on Dragon Island at this time, 
even if it is, that old guy is dark brown like a rock, and it is even more unlikely that he will be bored enough to attack a human caravan. Do it. Then there is only one possibility, and that is when I separated from the Mad Dragon Apostle Boggold a year ago, I attacked their, King Killer, group. Could it be the Shadow Dragon? Or, the Extreme Dragon Buhe? Brother Reese tensed up instantly. Body, where did you see that dragon? Brother Reese growled, and his ferocious expression became even more distorted. Speak out, and I will let you leave alive. Wow. Dot yes, my sister Merla said, that black dragon attacked the caravan of the Golden Scarab, and the location seems, it seems to be further north. In the deserted mountain depressions, and there are reports that a dragon was seen flying by as early as a year ago, but it has only started to become active during this time. Fearing and threatening her life, the girl sold her sister decisively. But this news was extremely harsh to the ears of Brother Reese. A year ago, it was when he had just fallen into the desert. Why did he stay here for a year? Is that shadow dragon or extreme dragon just to heal his wounds? This is the only possibility that Reese thinks about. North, desert call, shadow dragon. On the ferocious and high head raised by brother Reese, the eyes flashed with a strong killing intent. It doesn't matter who you are, but this time, you are dead. Boom, boom, in the eyes of everyone in the desert caravan, the pitch black magic dragon began to change direction, walked quickly on the desert land, and then started to run. Every step he took caused a big earthquake. Moo, the lowest cracks. With a weight of nearly 100,000 tons, as the giant legs trampled on the ground, the terrifying shock waves generated lifted hundreds of meters of desert away, and the dust spread for thousands of meters. The magic dragon gradually went away and disappeared in the sandstorm king. I don't know how long it took before they heard a loud noise like thunder from the dry land. They looked up at the sky, and there was another louder thunder, and a comet with a sonic boom cloud above the sky. The stars tore apart the day, causing the sky to quickly dim under the influence of the strong light, as if the night was approaching. Then, the comet went away. Live, did you survive? The middle-aged man and the others sat slumped on the ground, looking into the distance as if relieved from a heavy burden, their eyes dull. Under such circumstances, even if there were monsters nearby, they would have already fled in fear. Fortunately, they were not attacked. After Brother Reese left, the legend about the Dark Dragon was passed down in the desert. Later, according to the testimonies of the caravan who claimed to have witnessed the mysterious dragon, people learned that the monster exuded a terrible blue light, it was as red as boiling magma, and its body was darker than night. The black lightning that is even darker is like the incarnation of the end of the world. Since everyone in the caravan gave different descriptions, from different angles the testimonies people heard were very vague. There are more and more descriptions about its form, but all eyewitnesses say with one voice that the appearance of the dragon is both terrifying and divine. Rumors based on this testimony soon spread among the human worlds. Unknowingly, the word dragon of the end appeared. However, since the testimony of eyewitnesses cannot be confirmed, there is no clear image, only vague rumors and frightening black anxiety are spreading. Later, the description became more and more strange, and the version of the final dragon became more and more evil. Someone even made a prophecy. The earth roars, and the burning mountains will wake up again. The breath is like a storm, and the anger is like thunder. Travel through the long river of time and wield the power of destruction. When it comes, the world will feel the most real power and despair and destruction. It is the dragon of the end, the evil dragon that hunts down gods and demons and destroys the world. Fortunately, these people don't know that Reese is a descendant of the Black Emperor, who ruled the world thousands of years ago, otherwise they don't know what kind of expression they should have. And Brother Reese now also went to hunt down another unidentified black dragon to the king. After a while, Brother Reese came near the shadow dragon's lair in the desert call. The ground under his feet was eroded by huge desert phagocytic worms, and a huge pit collapsed. Just as he was looking down, a worm raised its body hundreds of meters high and opened its pale, viscous mouth towards him. Liquid, tooth-packed mouth. It was a gigantic burrowing creature resembling a worm. These things are huge and move quickly. They can also spit out the sticky saliva dripping from their mouths. The range is 3 kilometers. The saliva will cover a circular area, shooting down enemies in the sky, or attacking enemies on the ground. Prey undergo slime erosion. 
Brother Reese's method is also very simple and rude. He just breathed out the heating wire. When the flame exploded and the mushroom cloud rose, the desert giant worm screamed wildly in the flames, struggling to die. An eighth level monster is easily defeated like this. The lizard men in the desert hid in the shadow of the mountain depression, looking in horror at a 60 meter high, 90 meter long dragon monster that appeared in the distance. Surveillance mission, but I didn't expect to see this terrifying scene as soon as I heard the movement. The mighty desert giant worm, once the king of the call, is so vulnerable. As if the doomsday is coming, all the sounds in the valley are covered by the thunderous footsteps, the wyverns and giant lizards in the desert howled, and the desert lizards screamed endlessly. One after another, crowding each other out of the camp. And Shadow Lair's most important giant dragon servant group, the desert lizardmen, also roared out with weapons in hand. They held sharp pointed and heavy steel spears, which were powerful enough to pierce the flesh and tear the scales of their prey. The Shadow Legion is out. But soon, with the roar of a giant dragon, the desert lizardmen who had just run out saw a huge monster like a hill coming towards them. Compared with the noise of the Shadow Army and the 693 movements made by the quicksand, the sound of the opponent's footsteps was not strong, but it caused a layer of pimples on the desert lizard man's skin, and he couldn't help but his feet went limp, and he almost collapsed to the ground. Quick, go, notify the master. The desert lizard men who came out in full force, after seeing the existence of the enemy, fled in the opposite direction in panic. But soon I heard a terrifying sound coming from my ears. Crackling, is the sound of air ionization. Accompanied by sparks, electric arcs are generated, just like lightning and thunder. The yellow sun fell rapidly towards the earth. However, a burst of indiscriminate attacks came, and the devastating plasma fireball burned everything instantly after falling on the ground. The tens of thousands of degrees of high temperature flames swept away with the shock wave, and most of the desert lizardmen who escaped were turned into ashes and died. Because they were too nervous, they accidentally exposed their positions, and were discovered by the aggressive Brother Reese, and then destroyed. Brother Reese's, Eye of Breaking Demons, is a real eye that can see through all illusions and magic. Ignoring the barriers of the desert and mountain depressions that obstruct the eyesight, it directly locked on the base camp of the Shadow Dragon's lair and walked straight over. Despicable fellows, I'm going to tear your pusses apart. Brother Reese's huge body over 60 meters stood upright, and the sound of the dragon's roar continued. Not long ago, in the shadow lair, a shadow dragon, Telephone Green, who is sleeping with eyes closed does not know what will happen next, and its heart is caught in memory and thinking. During the battle between the Dark Erosion Demon Dragon, Book, and the Crazy Dragon Apostle, Baggard Osti Carl, it was affected, half of its wings were shattered by the crazy dragon's roar, and it had to fall down, and at that time, the stupid dragon guard dared to attack him. Turgrin finally took the initiative in a fight and eliminated the dragon guard. When the opponent was seriously injured, he used the shadow lightning to paralyze him, and then used his claws to pull out its heart. In order to win, he slapped the other dragon wing desperately before falling and survived. After the battle, Telglin finally chose to eat the corpse of the dragon guard. It didn't want to lose its hard-won victory in the following desert survival. The feeling of eating the same kind makes it crazy, but it is so pleasant. It knows that it is already a pure shadow dragon. It has already fallen, and along with Lord Buhe, the Dark Eclipse dragon, has pledged allegiance to King Killer that great terrifying existence. The original plan was. Master Buhe took the lead in killing one of the dragon guards, then confronted the mad dragon apostle, and killed the remaining dragon guards by himself and the other shadow dragon. As a result, the development of the situation was unexpected. What they didn't expect was that the black young dragon carried by the mad dragon apostle would suddenly breathe out the dragon's breath. Under such circumstances, it is estimated that even Mr. Buhe did not realize that the terrifying power of the breath could tear apart its black poisonous aura. As a result, Lord Buhe's movements froze, failing to complete the deadly surprise attack that had been accumulated for a long time. That being the case, combined with the actual situation, heaven and man made a better choice. The mad dragon apostle has been dragged back, and the dragon guard is isolated and helpless. Turglin doesn't worry about the possibility of being attacked from the front or back, so he can cooperate with his companions to quickly kill the dragon guard. But what I never expected was that the black young dragon was actually a young dragon in disguise. 
he showed a destructive power comparable to that of an adult dragon, and in an instant, with the help of the mad dragon apostle, he leapt over and severely injured another shadow dragon. However, another of Telgrim's companions was killed, and it was also forced to fight the remaining dragon guards. Although he won in the end, he was also seriously injured due to the aftermath of the battle between the Mad Dragon Apostle and Lord Buhe, and was forced to recover his physical strength in this desert. After the wings were regenerated, he returned to find the whereabouts of Lord Buhe. It should still be alive, especially Al Green could feel that the bond of slavery Booker had left on him was still valid. During this year, in order to avoid being disturbed by the outside world, the Shadow Dragon Telglin was recuperating in peace. It temporarily looked for a place in the mountain depression that could be used as a lair. So Telglin found the lair of the desert lizardmen. The environment here is also very suitable for it. Then Telgrim brutally killed the leader of the lizardmen, occupied the place, and enslaved them with magic. But not long ago, Telglin learned the news of the death of Behemoth, the thundering sand sea beast king. It was a black dragon that killed him, which made Telgrim vigilant. The head dragon is the guy brought by the mad dragon apostle. If he could find a way to kill the black youth dragon, Master Buhe would be very happy, and maybe he would forgive himself for running away. As soon as Tarj Lin thought of this, he became hard-hearted. It began to move around deliberately, exposing its figure to other creatures. If that guy was still alive, he would definitely find his whereabouts. So Telgrim planned to hunt the young black dragon with tricks and traps. The battlefield is chosen in the desert mountain call, where the terrain is complex and suitable for ambushes, and then summon the subordinates to cast spells on them. Shadow Ruler, Your Majesty. After hearing Telgrin's plan, the new leader of the Lizardmen raised an objection. In the situation where we divide our troops, what should we do if the Black Dragon flies over from the sky to attack? It can kill us with the flames of its breath swallow them all. The question of the Lizardmen typified the doubts of most of the Legion of Shadows. Remember what I said, that black dragon can't fly, its wings are so small, it's impossible to fly. Your tactics are, fast, short, ruthless, in the shortest possible time, I want you to interfere with it, to reduce some of its physical strength. After planning this point, Telglin summoned the leader of the giant worm and said, the great earth eater can break through no matter how hard the ground, stones and mountains are. So I want you to be there a huge pit was drilled under the black dragon's feet, making it unable to get out of it, your movements must be concealed enough so that my soldiers can make a surprise attack at a critical moment, can you do it? It's easy for the Earth Eaters, my master. The leader of the giant worms fell on the ground and said that its size is huge, and there is no area in this world that they cannot conquer. Very well, next, the shadow dragon turned to the wyvern again, I want you to observe the movement of that black dragon in the sky at all times, breathe flames on it and attack its back when necessary. Your Majesty Shadow, I will be loyal to you. The Wyvern leader also nodded. Your ethnic group has a good line of sight, and you can send messages to each other by howling. I hope you will always remind me where the Black Dragon is. The Shadow Dragon Turglin folded his claws on his shoulders and said coldly, If the Black Dragon appears, I will arrive as soon as I get the news. In fact, Telgrin would let his subordinates reduce the opponent's physical strength before attacking. If that black dragon cub dared to show up, I would tear his head off. However one, boom, the time will be up to now, and the shadow lair is blasted through by a radiant heat ray, and the terrifying loud noise is accompanied by high temperature, followed by a huge roar. Despicable and stupid cowardly dragon, I, Brother Reese is here. Get out of your lair and fight me. The sound came from outside the lair, mixed with the substantive dragon's power, sweeping the mountain depression. The shadow dragon didn't seem to be able to react. It seriously underestimated the power that Reese gained after growing up this year, and he couldn't understand what it means to be crushed by an imitation emperor. The Great Earth Eater When the giant desert phagocytic worm appeared, it was cut off in the middle by a wave of heat, and then a huge explosion occurred, and the dead couldn't die anymore. Desert Lizardmen, you'll know what's going on when they come out in droves and flee en masse. When the, blue sun, falls from the sky and the plasma fireball falls to the ground, the ground burns, and there are no monsters that can survive under the high temperature of tens of thousands of degrees. In the end, the wyverns all fell down under the almost substantive terrifying dragon power. The airspace above Reese is already a restricted area, 
no creature dares to fly above his head, not even a wyvern. Can't bear the coercion that comes with real damage. Your efforts are in vain, I will bring you death myself. In the horrified eyes of the shadow dragon, a dragon with dazzling black scales erupted with blazing blue flames and lightning, its terrifying sharp wings covered the sun, and fell nearby like a huge shadow, its breath full of shock, the hurricane caused by the wings and the huge body almost destroyed the rock zero. His body is thick and strong, and every part of his body is full of powerful muscles. He has inverted scales and a huge thorny tail. Sky. Most importantly, his body is creepy, even bigger than Lord Booker, the Dark Eclipse Dragon. In front of him, the Shadow Dragon Telgren was only 35 meters tall, and even after standing upright, it only reached the opponent's waist and thighs. Near the roots, this perspective is difficult to describe, as if Brother Reese is the evil dragon. Black Dragon, Turgren exclaimed, he had never seen such a terrifying existence, and looked forward in shock and horror. Roar. Next, the black magic dragon let out an angry roar. Because for Reese, the guy in front of him is an unforgivable enemy. They are the ones who caused him to be reduced to such a fate. Otherwise, I would have eaten and drank well in the Golden Kingdom, got promoted and raised my salary, and went to see beautiful girls. With Brother Reese's current body shape and strength status, it is very reasonable to marry ten wives in the future. Most importantly, this idiot actually dared to stay here and wait for death. You killed my companion, and then I will tear you apart like an ant. This year, the image of the Dragon Guard's tragic death still haunts Reese. Although Brother Reese also hates those giant Dragon Guards, but after all, they are responsible for protecting the safety of the young dragons on Dragon Island. So Brother Reese has long regarded them as his companions. Then, one of them was instantly killed by the Dark Eclipse Dragon, Buhe, and the other was also sacrificed in the desperate battle with the Shadow Eye in front of him. Their desperate purpose is to allow themselves to escape smoothly. Now knowing that the enemy is right in front of us, how can Brother Reese not be angry? Do you want to forgive it and let it tell Kingslayer not to attack itself again? Since he doesn't want to have anything to do with the King Killer, the best way is to kill the dragon. The Shadow Dragon must never leave the desert alive. Thinking of this, Brother Reese's dragon arm broke through the air with an irresistible power, and grabbed the Shadow Dragon's neck. With his strength and the propulsion force of its wings. At this distance, it is absolutely possible to defeat the enemy with one move. Moreover, Brother Reese wanted to save his life and asked about the whereabouts of the Mad Dragon Apostle and information about killing the king. How is it possible? You, have you grown into an extreme dragon in just one year? Turgrin roared angrily. For any giant dragon, it was impossible to compromise with the enemy at a critical moment. The Shadow Dragon is no exception, so it roared and escaped into the shadows and launched high ranking shadow magic. Brother Reese's attack was directly missed, seeing the figure of Telglin blending into the mountain. In the shadow of O, it disappeared in an instant. You can't escape. Under Brother Reese, eye of breaking demon, he can see the picture of Telgrin moving rapidly in the shadow. This guy seems to have escaped into the two-dimensional field, his body becomes. It has become a magic body like a shadow, as long as there is a shadow, it can move at will. Using the ability of the system, Brother Reese sees through the attributes of the enemy. Fallen Shadow Dragon, Telgrim. Adept at. Shadow Magic, Lightning Magic, Poison. Skills. Shadow Charge, Shadow Thunderbolt, Shadow Escape, Dragon Breath of Destruction, Shadow Control, etc. The flames will consume you. In front of me, your magic is useless and your defenses are useless. Brother Reese roared while observing the movements of the Shadow Dragon. My strength is far stronger than yours. Destroying shadows is as easy as driving away dust. Roar, Brother Reese, who is comparable to the extreme dragon, let out a huge roar and seemed to be brewing some powerful moves. Facing the escape of the shadow dragon, he had to take extreme measures. In the next instant, he finally moved, but what moved was not his body, but his tail, which was faster than his body. When the dorsal fin condensed blue lightning, the tip of the freely retractable tail slammed, swinging out a terrifying slash more than twice the speed of sound. Explode all the darkness, thermal energy conversion, high temperature plasma cutting. The hundreds of meters long plasma slash was thrown from the tail of Brother Reese, and the dark shadow that cut off the entire mountain canyon in an instant also appeared in an instant. 
The shadow dragon Telgrin let out a painful roar, its tail and half of its body were cut open, its scales were scorched black in the flames, and then the plasma exploded when it hit the ground. Exploded, Telephone Green also exploded directly and flew under Brother Reese's feet. Click, there was a crisp sound of bones cracking, and the soul of the pitch black monster stepped on the chest of the shadow dragon Turgrin, causing its ribs to break and sag with terrifying force. Now, answer my question. Who is Kingslayer? The dark erosion dragon Buhe. Where is it? Brother Reese stepped on a giant dragon with dark scales but emerald green light in the gaps. It has a strong body and muscles in every part of its body. There is a sharp horn growing on the nose above the giant mouth, and there is also a dragon on its head. Lots of garbled sharp angles. Since when are shadow dragons and green dragons somewhat related? Brother Reese Aura was full of shock, and he saw the poisonous light on that guy's body, as well as the vicious green dragon pupils, shining with the light of choosing someone to devour. Shadow Dragon is a product derived from Black Dragon. Although learning shadow magic has made them mutate a lot, in many respects, they still cannot escape the category of black dragon species. Cruel and vicious, with a treacherous personality, they like to use their surroundings as a cover to surprise their targets. Roar, the shadow dragon, which was trampled under its feet and seriously injured, let out an angry growl, struggled, and sprayed out waves of dark green blood. Dare to break into my territory, who do you think you are? You are not qualified to know the king's name. This was the first time Reese heard the guy in front of him speak, and his voice was also very deep, hoarse, and irritable. With the low roar of the shadow dragon, one wild monster after another sprang out of the mountain, holding their weapons sparsely, and desert lizardmen emerged densely from some cave entrances that Brother Reese didn't notice. Go away! With Brother Reese low growl, an incomparably terrifying dragon's power suddenly erupted from its body, and the dragon's power of the superior overwhelmingly overwhelmed it. At the same time as the dragon's roar fell, the atmosphere of the entire burning mountain froze instantly and changed in vain. The flames shook violently, as if the sky and the earth changed color, and then a spectacular scene appeared, thousands of wild monsters fell to the ground one after another, all rolled their eyes and passed out at the same time. Next. Brother Reese looked at the shadow dragon that was struggling to support and hadn't fallen, and his gaze became even colder, why did you attack us? Because Kingslayer wants you to die, you have to die. The shadow dragon responded stubbornly. Did you know that dragons seldom abuse their own kind, even if they kill them? 10. Brother Reese said this, showing a dragon smile that makes the shadow dragon shudder, but I am different, I am not a normal dragon. I understand the extreme punishment of humans, and I will pull out your scales little by little, and then throw you to the towns of humans. You will be pierced by soldiers with spears, and the last drop of blood will be shed, and even the bones will become their trophies. The waste dragon is defeated by them, and they will sing the name of the dragon-slaying warrior. Shut up, black dragon, you are too evil. The shadow dragon glared at Reese angrily, it seemed to be terrified. Evil, compared with you. I am much kinder. Brother Reese snorted, he is a giant dragon with abnormal thinking, in terms of evil, he can go more extreme than evil dragons. What's more, the shadow dragon is a traitor, and it is normal to kill it. Baggard Austin Carl. The shadow dragon hesitated for a moment, panting and replied, he has been interfering with the plan of his majesty the, king slayer, and among the apostles of the dragon king that his majesty wanted to kill, he was the first few to bear the brunt. Brother Reese heard the words and probably understood why he was attacked. Who is King Killer? I, I don't know. Ah, it hurts, I really don't know. Your Majesty the Kingslayer is much more terrifying than you can imagine, no dragon knows his true face. Maybe Lord, Buhe, has seen him, but those of us enslaved dragons are not qualified to see his Majesty at all. Stepped on by Brother Reese, the Shadow Dragon replied in pain. Enslaved. Brother Reese reacted, but it was not Kingslayer who enslaved the Shadow Dragon, otherwise it would not be able to betray. Dark Erosion Dragon Buhe, did it enslave you? Where is it? I can't answer this. The Shadow Dragon refused to say it. You are also a dragon, you know, if I betray my master, I will die without your help. I can only tell you, Master Buhe is not dead, and I will look for it after my wounds heal, but if I don't bring any results, I will be killed soon. Then, besides Buhe, does Kingslayer have any other, extreme dragon, companions? 
Brother Reese was silent for a moment, then asked suddenly. The evil dragon that spreads the plague, the sixth extreme dragon, the god of death in the underworld, a mortal corpse dragon. The god who released the black light, the third dark elemental dragon of the extreme dragon, dark sky dragon. Following Reese's questioning, the shadow dragon spat out two names one after another, then shook his head and said, there is another one I don't know the name of, and it is said that, King Killer, is wooing other extreme dragons, even the Dragon King. I really don't know the rest. Besides, we ordinary dragons, how can we have so many rights to know about the great dragons? There are so many extreme dragons, why do they obey the, King Killer? Asked Reese, how could I know this, but Mr. Buhay seems to have said that Kingslayer can give them what they want. Moreover, Kingslayer's strength is far stronger than them. After all, the dragon that was assassinated. But the head of the twelve dragon kings, the dragon king of ancient time and space, ah. That is the existence with the same name as the emperor of black. The oldest dragon species with godlike means. When the trampled shadow dragon came here with a low growl, it had already started to cower, with a terrified expression and trembling all over. It probably feels that this kind of thing is scary, because everyone knows how invincible the Dragon King of Time and Space is. Power to kill enemies in seconds. But the point is that King Killer almost succeeded. It was precisely because of this horrifying move that the entire Dragon Clan was shocked, and the other extreme dragons were moved by it and thus convinced of the power of the King Killer. The Dragon King's apostles were also furious because of this, and collectively mobilized to encircle and suppress the King Killer and even the forces under the King Killer's wings. Yeah, after hearing this information, Brother Reese was shocked and began to meditate. Who do you think is stronger between me and Jilong? asked Reese. Extreme Dragon. The Shadow Dragon replied without thinking. Are you sure? If so, does it need to be said? Of course it is. But before the shadow dragon could refute, Brother Reese began to release his aura with all his strength, the atomic furnace in his body exploded with full power, and the dorsal fin heated up to the extreme in an instant. Boom! In an instant, the sky and the earth changed color. A terrifying momentum erupted, producing thousands of black thunderbolts, which exploded in the nearby sky. The sky that was originally shrouded in black smoke did not know when, under the influence of this huge momentum, black frightening cirrostratus clouds formed. All of a sudden, there was lightning and thunder, and the sky was purple. That's not a metaphor, it's a physical response. Brother Reese exuding terrifying power, his scales also turned red in an instant, and he had the illusion that he was about to enter the red lotus state, but he quickly restrained his strength and quickly cooled his body down. But at this time, the shadow dragon under its feet widened its eyes, staring at the dark and domineering dragon in horror. Its chest cavity was burned and carbonized, and the dragon's blood sizzled and smoked. What a terrifying power! The shadow dragon's eyeballs trembled, and a pair of gradually dimmed eyes gradually lost their vitality. It seemed that because of the impact just now, it, which was about to die, had reached its limit. However, compared to the extreme dragon, they last longer, you can only, rank 8. The dark and domineering figure is reflected in its dim eyes. The life of the shadow dragon also passed away. 8. Brother Reese cooled his dorsal fin, and when he heard the word, long-lasting, from the shadow dragon, his heart tightened, as if he had been poked to the point. It's okay if the dragon doesn't last. However, the shadow dragon seems to be referring to the comprehensive ability. Its destructive power must have reached the level of the extreme dragon, but it is still not perfect in other fields. That is to say, if I defeat the 8th place Jilong, I can enter the ranking. And Jilong generally has its own name, just like the Dragon King. If he becomes a Jilong in the future, what name will he be called? Withdrawing his thoughts, Brother Reese looked into the distance, calculating the time and it was almost time to leave. Although you are very unlucky, but for your honesty, I will give you a decent dragon funeral. Brother Reese took away the dragon demon core of the shadow dragon, and after confirming that there were no treasures worthy of attention in this lair, he spit out a high-temperature plasma fireball, burning the corpse of the shadow dragon and the entire cave meat. Ashes returned to ashes and returned to nature. In the end, Brother Reese discovered that skills such as shadow domination and venomous claw can be obtained from the shadow dragon through Nyx. Shadow dominance is to control the target's shadow through magic means. 
The dominated target will submit to the master, otherwise the shadow will disappear and the host will die. The premise of this ability is that the magic power in the ruler's body is far greater than that of the target. For Brother Reese, the skills are quite useless, and his magic power is not worth mentioning. Toxic Claws is to attach a highly poisonous attribute to the claws, which will poison the enemy when it tears, quickly reduce physical strength, and even die. It seems that the effect is good, but when Reese claws down, the weak will be slapped to death, and the strong will not be afraid of poisoning at all, and can even quickly dissolve the toxin. But there is another skill that has aroused the interest of Reese, that is, Shadow Lock. The effect of this ability is to turn one's own shadow into tentacles to entangle the enemy's shadow, but during this process, one cannot act, nor can the enemy move. Although I don't know what it's useful for, it's more interesting than other skills. As for what skill to choose in the end, I am not in a hurry now. After all, there are really no useful skills on the Shadow Dragon, because these skills consume mana. Two days later, Brother Reese finally walked out of the thundering sand sea and saw the magnificent ocean. Looking around, the drowsy sky merged with the blue sea. On the boundless sea, the strong wind gathers dark clouds. Between the dark clouds and the sea, the bird monsters flew in panic like black lightning. For a while, their wings touched the waves, and for a while they rushed towards the dark clouds like arrows. As the bird monsters rushed out of the haze of the dark sky, a ray of sunlight swayed down and irradiated on the body of a huge pitch black monster. One year, Brother Reese looked at the endless sea. It has been more than a year since he entered the thundering sand sea. During this period of time, he has not drank a sip of water, nor eaten a sip of meat. If those beetles and desert lizards with ridiculously thick scales count as meat. Finally, at last he reached the sea. Although at this moment, it is already evening. Then, before the sun was about to set, Brother Reese also came out of the desert, and he saw the coastline, seeing the dividing line between the magnificent ocean and the land. The sun has gradually turned red, Brother Reese walked forward ecstatically, only the sea in front of him. Little did he know that he had been exposed to human vision. Boom, boom. At this time, the residents of the coastal villages also jumped out of their beds in horror. They saw the sand grains on the ground trembling non-stop, and a strong shock came. What? What's going on? Earthquake? Or tsunami? The fishermen from another world ran out of the house in a panic. Boom! At this time, the huge foot suddenly fell. For a moment, everything was silent, and the coastal residents looked up at a dark mountain passing in front of them, and the houses trembled. They fell silent collectively. Then there was panic, and then they backed up and some even fell to the ground, but no one yelled, and even the children closed their mouths, lest they startled the huge beast. Crash! Countless terrified birds suddenly flew out of the originally still forest, and then the houses began to collapse. Under the afterglow of the golden sunset, a majestic monster 60 meters high was walking forward step by step. Great! Giant! Big what? The residents who just ran out of the house and didn't understand why looked at each other, and then they looked in the direction the fisherman was pointing outside. Under the setting sun, there is a mountain walking against the light. It was actually some kind of unimaginably huge and indescribably terrifying behemoth. In the desert, Fisha raised its huge tail, stood upright, swayed behind its back, and then stepped on the ground with one foot, making a trembling roar. With an inconceivably huge body, Every movement and every breath made the air tremble. In the moment of his appearance, Reese, the monster brother, showed his greatness to the whole world. It seems that every move can easily subvert this small seaside human town. Its pair of indifferent eyes looking at everything is looking at this side. The silence is eerie all around. People looked at this scene blankly, their brains had lost their ability to think, and only deep trembling and fear shrouded their hearts. There is no way not to be afraid. This kind of fear stems from the instinct of life, and it is the awe of the great race. For the giant dragon, people only have deep fear and fear in their hearts. But at the same time, there is an instinctive and irresistible fanatical feeling of worshipping power that permeates from the deepest part of my heart. This feeling of fanaticism can even give birth to faith. It's like the human instinct to worship the sky, the sun and the moon, and the schedule of the stars. 
This kind of worship does not need any explanation, it is just because human beings feel their own insignificance and humbleness when facing the magnificent things that are too incomprehensible, and feel strong fear, which leads to obsession and worship. Suddenly, the invisible fear that everyone felt in their hearts disappeared. As the gaze gathers, the mountain in front was moving slowly, the monsters protruding and sharp back gradually receded, and the sound of footsteps shaking the ground also stopped. Until then, the crowd gradually reacted, the dragon left, and the earthquake disappeared. When the dust flying all over the sky fell, on the other side of the sea, a black monster with an unknown height was stretching its arms wantonly, with a free posture, as if embracing the ocean, and walked straight towards the sea. The earthquake also stopped suddenly at this time. Then came the screams of seething, fear, horror, and horror that erupted from the crowd. Dragon, 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 huge black dragon. Everyone is okay. It scared me to death, I thought I was going to be eaten. Help, why do giant dragons appear in this kind of place? It's really terrifying that such a legendary monster will appear here. Suddenly, the crowd was in an uproar. Even the person lying on the ground pretending to be dead suddenly pretended to be dead, opened his eyes wide in fear, and looked up at the distant sea. Gradually, a stalwart body like the Great Wall of Desperation has disappeared in the snow-white waves, and Yinhai quickly regained its original calm. Although that guy has gone far, the shadow of fear hanging over people still hasn't dissipated for a long time. However, Brother Reese didn't care what they thought. He's finally out of the desert. Bloody seas. In the depths of the vast ocean, the figure of Brother Reese is shuttling through it, as if he has returned to his own territory, leisurely and contented. There was also a sudden feeling in his heart, he seemed to be born to be the king of the sea. And continued to dive. In Brother Reese's senses, the deep sea is quite beautiful, with coral and shellfish monsters all over the surroundings, and there are many arrogant ocean monsters in the deeper sea. Eel monsters, ichthyosaur monsters, swordfish monsters, iron arm magic shrimps, giant pincer crabs, sea dragons. But at this moment, suddenly, a pair of terrifying bright eyes suddenly lit up in the dark sea water, and slowly, silently, they approached Reese Kifang. What creature? Brother Reese senses sent feedback, it seemed that some monster was about to attack him, when he turned his head, a bloody mouth bit him violently. Immediately afterwards, ten super carnivorous monsters with super large size and sharp teeth, Melville Moroccan, who bit Brother Reese's tail. But it obviously found the wrong prey. When Reese's tail erupted with tens of thousands of tons of power, the sharp dorsal fin cut open the mouth of the demon whale, causing a large amount of blood to flow into the sea. Wu Wang. Melville's demon whale roared in pain, and in the chaotic deep water vortex, it spit out a huge high pressure water cannon, and the water element cannon fell on Brother Reese and exploded instantly. However, the Brother Reese, who is extremely resistant to water elements, was not harmed. Even the impact force of the high pressure water cannon was only 10,000 tons, which could not shake his electric body at all. Seeing this scene, the Melville demon whale was terrified. It seemed to realize that the object it was attacking was a terrifying, giant dragon, and the thing it had just regarded as its prey was just the, tail, of this huge monster. But before the Melville Demon Whale, the Eighth Order Ocean's top monster, had time to escape, a deep blue lightning-like breathing beam penetrated its body, and at the moment the sea water boiled, it was ruthlessly melted down, and then its body was covered by a huge sheet. His mouth was bitten, and it was torn into two pieces. Strange, isn't this guy afraid of me? Brother Reese also wondered why the food dared to attack him. Could it be that this is the first time I have appeared in this sea area, and many monsters are not familiar with my breath? But the Melville Demon Whale wouldn't be blind to such an extent, and it might have something to do with his failure to release the dragon might. In fact, of course, it's not what Reese thinks. The Melville Demon Whale is dominant in this sea area, and other ocean monsters will walk around it when they see it. Except for the megalodon demon shark next door, there are almost no natural enemies, and few of them can threaten its status. The Presence As the 8th level monster lord, only the giant dragon dared to hunt down the Melville demon whale. However, although there are many dragons in the ocean, most of them are mixed blood subspecies, and there are very few pure-blooded dragons. After all, sea-dwelling dragons are rare among dragons. And it's here today. But when I saw it, I already regretted it, even if I escaped, it was too late. The other side, 
When Brother Reese bit the roasted meat of the Melville Demon Whale, his eyes lit up with golden light, and the energy in his whole body, including the dragon wings, atomic furnace and dragon horns, shone. His dorsal fin flickered even faster like a heartbeat. It's not that it's entering a battle state, but because it's too emotional. Because the taste of Melville's magic whale meat made Reese feel heaven. He said in his heart, this is the real meat. Looking back on the past, what did you eat? A dung beetle-like desert scarab. Large gecko-like rock monitor lizard. Does that count as food? Compared with the land, the monsters in the sea are different. The plump and thick flesh of the Melville demon whale, after the first bite, Brother Reese's dragon life is satisfied. The reason why he has a bad temper and likes to destroy in the desert during this time is also related to not eating good food. After all, the experience in the desert can be called a nightmare. Scarabs, Ratmen, Beastmasters, Shadow Dragons. The clues provided by Queen Naga and the radioactive mine left by the old rock dragon made Reese feel comfortable. The process of being able to evolve is also very painful, and it is not an enjoyment at all. And on the first day when I came to the sea, I threw myself into my arms and offered delicious food to my mouth, and it was still so delicious. After wolfing down the almost 30 to 40 meter long Melville demon whale, Brother Reese activated the active bio radar, centered on him and began to spread to a distance of 500 kilometers, and the nearest monsters would be the first to feed back to him, in the mind. One second, two seconds passed. In Brother Reese's senses, a large number of strange monsters appeared in the deep sea area. There was a faint giant octopus lurking in the abyss of the seabed, and a large group of various ocean monsters. They were all icebergs in this sea area, corner. However, Reese, who was too weak, took the initiative to skip it. He only roughly estimated the highest level of monsters in this seabed. Among them, there were more than 20 monsters above the 8th level, nearly 5 monsters over the 9th level, and 10th level monsters. Not sure, because when Reese sensed the past, there was a magical force that eliminated his perception. The movement seems to be in a certain deep sea kingdom. Only then did Reese remember a force called, Sea Clan. Sea Clan, I don't know what kind of race it will be. All in all, among the deep sea monsters that Brother Reese perceives, there are only five ninth level ones that can cause a little pressure on him referring to running fast when hunting and the others can basically be ignored. The eighth level is also a bit difficult, because if you don't use breath, you may not be able to catch up, and if you use it, you may burn them. Forget about monsters above the tenth level, Brother Reese didn't sense it, even if there was, there was no need to kill the opponent. First of all, the level is too high. They are usually the kings of an area, and there are a lot of younger brothers below them, who are the leaders of a force or something. If you kill the opponent indiscriminately, it will make the atmosphere of the dragon clan decline, and it may not be long before someone shouts, another evil dragon has appeared. Because Brother Reese disdains to be with the group of evil dragons and evil dragons such as the King Killer and the Dark Eclipse Dragon Bug. After all, he is a member of the Holy Dragon species. Even if he doesn't want to be a positive dragon, he should try not to discredit the dragon family. Otherwise, his reputation will be ruined in the future, and his vision will also become bad. Forget about male dragons, mainly beautiful female dragons. I have to say that Brother Reese is indeed a giant dragon with great foresight and foresight. He thought very far, so he went straight to the territory of a ninth level monster nearby. I said not to be a dragon, but since they are all here, how can I not be worthy of this journey if I don't eat one? By the way, I also announce one thing to this sea area, see, your emperor is back. 5 kilometers, 6 kilometers, 7 kilometers. Brother Reese dived quickly, and soon came to the 8 or 9,000 meters in the sea area. It's hard to imagine what kind of monsters can survive in this environment, won't their bodies be crushed by the pressure? But soon, Brother Reese found himself with a big problem. Because this is a fantasy world, a magical place. Since the deep sea monsters can survive here, they naturally have their unique features. Gululu. As he dived, Brother Reese saw some weird monsters again. Their hoarse, high-pitched calls convey a dark emotion that cannot be expressed by sight. The scene in front of me. It can even make the scalp of people with deep sea phobia instantly numb, because Brother Reese has come to the darkest, deepest, and most suffocating place of darkness. 
he saw an unknown and terrifying deep sea worm monster in the densely packed holes in the sand on the seabed. And in the dark surroundings, there were strange lights flickering from time to time, and when he got close, he could clearly see the demonic monkfish that were densely packed with hideous and terrifying teeth. There are also giant monsters like goblin sharks with several layers of teeth, and huge eel monsters like lampreys, whose dense teeth can chew everything. Those who can survive in the deep sea are all ferocious and ferocious carnivorous monsters. But, the arrival of Brother Reese made these ferocious monsters flee in fear. No way, because, including the tail, which is more than 120 meters long, it can be regarded as a huge deep sea overlord in this sea area, and from time to time, accompanied by the faint blue light of the dorsal fin, it brings a terrifying sense of oppression to other deep sea monsters, so it goes without saying. However, Brother Reese was very disappointed, he didn't see an indescribable thing, or, evil god, that he was looking for. He wanted to see if there were any monsters on the bottom of the sea. The silhouette of an octopus-like head with many tentacles, the body-like jelly covered with scales, and giant claws, full of malice, like the last monster from the dark. A giant monster in the depths. If there is, in fact, Brother Reese doesn't mind tasting the taste, as long as he can play well. Now it seems that there should be no more. But Brother Reese soon suddenly surprised again. In his perception, somewhere at the bottom of the deep sea, a thick tentacle flashed past. It seems that at the bottom of the abyss, there is a dark figure wriggling gradually. It has a huge body of nightmares, twisted and frightening, like an extremely terrifying monster made of darkness. Super large monster. Back quote found you. Brother Reese watched as a giant arm thicker than his legs stretched out. There are extremely sharp barbs and dense suction cups all over it, which looks terrifying and extremely infiltrating. Name. Abyss Giant Squid Chapter. Race. Ocean Warcraft. Level. Ninth Rank. Attributes. Water, Darkness. Skills. 100,000 Ton Strangulation, Mental Blow, Circular Saw Tentacles, Color Changing Camouflage, Fear Attack, Seabed Ruler. In the chasm of the abyss, a monster with seven huge terrifying dark green pupils appeared, staring eerily at the outside world. It quickly found its brother Reese, then backed up, and stretched out a long arm to stir up the surrounding seawater, causing the twisted and bumpy bottom of the sea to boil for a moment. That guy is over 150 meters in size. But don't be surprised, octopus is such a creature, its legs are very long, even if it grows to 200 meters, brother Reese thinks it is normal. Because of this, he can eat better. Roar, Brother Reese didn't intend to communicate with that guy, his tail swung, and his wings exploded with terrifying propulsion in the deep sea, making the giant body glow like a comet under the sea. The light slammed in the direction of the abyss giant squid, and the sharp and huge wing blade cut off the opponent's attacking arm and foot when it touched it. Hiss, the abyss giant squid screamed in pain, and its fearful and angry eyes were fixed on Brother Reese, not understanding why this strange dragon wanted to attack him. The desire to survive made it instinctively counterattack, and the seven huge eyes burst out with emerald green light, a sense of dizziness brought about by the strong mental blow flooded into Shile's mind. And during this process, the tentacles of the abyss giant squid quickly entangled away, intending to use the terrifying strangling skill, but it found that there was an extremely large hole on the back of this monster. The sharp dorsal fin and even the wings are like sharp blades, it has no way to start. During the entanglement, Zhang Abyss Giant Squid quickly found a new target and wrapped his arms and legs towards his brother Reese's neck. But as soon as it stretched out its arms and legs, brother Reese recovered from the mental shock, because he had suffered many shocks from the great red dragon Gu Luodaman in his childhood, and brother Reese will. Very firm and highly resistant to psychic magic. Just in time. Seeing the arms and legs of the abyss giant squid stretched out, Brother Reese grabbed a few of them, then wrapped them around his arms, and dragged them violently. I don't know how many tons of power burst out in an instant, and the abyss giant. The squid was dragged over without any resistance, and then let out a scream, trying to spew black ink that was as hot as magma to burn the seabed. But Brother Reese showed a dragon-like smile, didn't give it that chance, and directly tore the head of the abyss giant squid with one paw pulled out its magic core directly. The magic core of the abyss giant squid was taken away, but the body still tightened an entangled conditioned reflex, and then it screamed before dying, and fell down unwillingly, seven dark green. His evil eye also dimmed. 
If these evil eyes are obtained by human magicians, it will be the birth of an artifact that can control the minds and dreams of many people. But Brother Reese didn't know how to cherish it and threw it out. He just wanted to eat meat. The meat quality of high-level monsters is much better than that of ordinary monsters, especially the excellent food such as giant squid from the abyss. And even the existence of the Dragon King Apostle level can be easily hunted and killed. While Brother Reese was eating, the death of the abyss giant squid soon spread like a storm to the bottom of the bloody sea. All of a sudden, the other ninth level monsters trembled and became restless. At the same time, it attracted the attention of one of the submarine forces. They'll be looking for Brother Reese Pong soon. Let him only want to be a fat house in the deep sea, but he is forced into trouble. Gudong Gudong. Chewing carefully, the taste of this octopus is really good. At this moment, Brother Reese, who is feasting, doesn't know how much trouble killing the abyss giant squid will bring him. But in the process of eating, Chef Reese began to flip through the inherited memory. In the Bloody Sea territory, that is, the Chaos Demon Sea in the past, there are a large number of forces called the Sea Clan. Hezu is a general term, including mermaid, water naga, shrimp, deep sea crocodile, proud dragon. And in Brother Reese's senses, nearby, a figure, wrapped in strong water elemental magic approached here, and the other party watched this scene from a distance. A terrifying huge pitch black dragon-shaped monster with a ridge-like tail and a sword-like dorsal fin is ferociously devouring an abyss giant squid of the same size as the king of the abyss. And the figure, exuding the magic power of water element stopped for a while. He approached here and showed his identity. Hello, mighty dragon king, thank you sea god for your favor, I have the honor to meet you and witness your stalwart body. After approaching, the female figure wrapped in the magic power of the water element spoke. Brother Reese also slowly stopped eating and raised his head. The person who came was not like the vicious murloc he had imagined, with a hideous and rough appearance, dark blue skin and strong muscles. It is a beautiful woman with a snake body, whose race is Mizunaga. Who are you? Brother Reese is curled up near the huge rock at the bottom of the abyss, as if sitting on a bench and eating squid's tendrils. He was expressionless and didn't care about the identity of the other party, directly questioning, who sent you here? My name is Lamia, and I am the Queen's agent. Her Royal Highness is very grateful to you for eradicating the King of Monsters entrenched in the bottom of the abyss. She told me that I hope you can become our distinguished friend and guest, and I specially invite you, the Dragon King, to visit, Haishyandu. Lamia said respectfully. The, Haishyandu, she mentioned as the royal capital of the Sea Clan, and also the underwater palace where they live. HMPH, I don't know you, why do I want to meet your queen? Brother Reese snorted, and his voice was thunderous. Also, how do you know that I must be friendly and not a dragon? Since it is an invitation, then let your heroine come in person. Money. Quote, I'm very sorry, Her Majesty the Queen intends to meet with you, but now there are internal and external troubles in the Bloody Sea area, God's choice is undecided, and Her Majesty is involved in affairs, so I cannot come in person. On behalf of the Queen, I would like to ask for your understanding. 050. Lamia showed a gentle smile and explained. Then go away, don't bother me with the loan. Brother Reese glared at the guy and continued to gnaw on the octopus. It's okay, I'll wait for you. Surprisingly, this guy named Lamia seemed to be patiently staying aside, watching Reese eat. Rather than saying that she is waiting, it is better to say that she is observing and investigating whether the dragon in front of her will threaten the queen. But what is her purpose? It's really confusing. Brother Reese ignored her and ate on his own. After a while. After eating and drinking, Brother Reese yawned. Go away, I'm going to sleep. I can wait for you to wake up. Lamia didn't look anxious at all, but continued to sit on a large rock under the sea, watching her brother Reese. Then you can wait until I wake up and talk about it. Brother Reese ignored Lamia's existence and began to sleep with his eyes closed, digesting the food in his stomach. One day, two days, three days later, Brother Reese slowly opened his eyes and saw a sea woman sitting a hundred meters away. She seemed to have finished her magic power meditation. You are awake, great dragon king. Lamia stood up, showed a smile, and performed an elegant etiquette unique to the Sea Clan. Are you going to see the queen? No, Brother Reese changed his posture, but still didn't stand up, 
and looked at Lamia, a sea girl with outstanding temperament, with his tail wagging. Then, I can sell you. Is your queen so busy? Brother Reese suddenly asked. She's preparing for God's choice. God's chosen. Brother Reese wondered. Yes, according to the rules passed down by the God of the sea, the most powerful creature in the ocean will become the God's chosen one and rule the entire sea clan in the name of the God of the sea. This is also your agenda. Ramia explained. It's interesting, but I'm not a monster in this sea area, I'm a dragon from the outside world. Brother Reese pointed to himself and said, Have you ever seen such a sea monster? The mighty dragon king, when you killed the king of the abyss, you became a new candidate for the chosen one. Your existence spread like a wave via across the bottom of the sea. This point senses your presence. Lamia nodded slightly and said the real purpose. We are very happy to cooperate with you. We hope to use your power to defeat other god chosen, complete the sea god campaign, and rule this area in the name of sea god bloody seas, end this war that has lasted for hundreds of years. I knew there must be a routine, and how did your queen know about my existence? Brother Reese snorted, and his tone became more serious. Not long ago, our family received a message from the Naga Queen of the Desert. It was a group of people we split off from the seabed a long time ago. When this news reached the Queen of the Sea Clan, we learned a great deal. Dragon King, your identity, and your purpose is to cross the sea to the Golden Kingdom, the Dragon King's territory. Lamia pondered for a moment, and then added, if you are willing to help her ladyship complete the Sea God campaign, you can use the teleportation magic circle deep in the seabed to allow you to be directly teleported to the other end of the ocean, thus saving everyone's time. You must complete the Sea God campaign before you can use the transfer magic circle. Brother Reese frowned and asked, the scales on his forehead were also slightly folded. No, but transferring a magic circle requires a lot of magic power, especially for a powerful dragon king like you, which requires more spellcasters at the same time. The number of magic spellcasters currently mastered by the queen is far from enough to support your huge body, but it would be easier if other races were added. Lamia gave a very reasonable explanation, the larger the target size, the harder it is to release the transfer magic. And transfer magic is different from teleportation. During the transfer, the external time is still passing. And for a big guy like Reese, it takes at least a minute to transfer him to another part of the sea. Sea God's Chosen Brother Reese pondered for a moment, then sighed, it seemed that he had to check the situation. With his current strength, it shouldn't be a big problem to defeat those so-called, God's Chosen Ones. The point is that he can eat their meat and satisfy his stomach. It seems to be a beautiful job that kills two birds with one stone. Okay, I'll go with you to see the queen. Great. With the help of the mighty Dragon King, Her Royal Highness Queen Eurydice will definitely become the Seagod's agent. Lamia seemed very happy and breathed a sigh of relief, her task was finally completed. The huge black dragon in front of him seemed to be much easier to communicate with than imagined, and even Lamia was ready to be killed at the beginning of the day. Although she looks calm on the surface, she is actually very scared in her heart. After Brother Reese made a decision, he slowly stood up from the abyss and stretched his body, as if eating the giant squid from the abyss. During the two days of sleeping, his size became a little bigger, and his height when he reached 62 meters, his weight increased by several thousand tons. It seems that the flesh and blood of the ninth level monster brought enough nutrition, because the flesh and blood of the monster contained strong magic power. After being swallowed into the furnace of the stomach, the magic power of the flesh and blood would be converted into a radiant energy platform for the body to absorb. Next, let's go to Haishiandu to meet the queen of the sea clan. After brother Reese stood up completely, he glanced at the tiny Lamia, stretched out his palm and said, come here. Lamia moved her body, then paused for a moment, and she hesitated. After a moment of hesitation, she swam over hesitantly and came to brother Reese, then knelt and sat obediently on his dragon's palm, putting her hand next to the huge scales on the black dragon's body. As expected of the great dragon king, your scales are invincible. Lamia praised the black dragon's scales lightly. Chef Reese didn't explain anything about her praise. As an existence whose body size is comparable to that of an extremely dragon, it is normal to be misunderstood as a dragon king. For a fragile and small race like you, I just want to kill one easily with a little force. 
On the bottom of the sea, the black dragon monster breathed out a hot snort. Brother Reese turned his head sideways and looked at Lamia maliciously. If you dare to lie to me, I will eat up all the races on the bottom of the sea and turn the bloody sea into a world of blood. Into a real sea of blood. Lamia's silver pupils trembled slightly. Ha ha. Seeing her timid appearance, Brother Reese let out a series of triumphant laughter. Don't worry, I'm just talking casually. But, as he said that, the black dragon, which was so huge that it was beyond imagination, slowly stood up and said to Lamia, You are much cuter now than when I first saw you, and your fear will make you more like a living body of flesh and blood, not a face of life and death. Lamia smiled bitterly. It turned out that her forced calm expression was completely seen through by the black dragon in front of her. Afterwards, Brother Reese wings exploded with powerful propulsion and left the abyss. Haishiandu is the capital of all deep sea races. It is in a hostile relationship with Loyan City, another sea clan force that advocates killing. It is located on the bottom of the deep sea, like the foothills of a continuous undersea mountain range. Far from the filthy ground, the peaceful sea is like a natural barrier, and there is no direct way to Haishian. Except for the mermaids of the sea race and the domesticated mount whales, there are very few people who can visit here. The members of Haishiandu are mainly mermaid, water naga, murloc, etc. They advocate peaceful coexistence and ecological balance. The members of Luiu City are mainly Aelong tribe, Urin tribe, crocodilian tribe, etc. They advocate the supremacy of force and the strong prey on the weak. There is no distinction between the two big sea clans, who are right and who is wrong. They all represent a part of the sea. The sea is both gentle and cruel, beautiful and ferocious. However, due to the disagreement of ideas and the fact that there has been no sea gods chosen to appear so far, this chaotic sea of demons has lost its master all year round. There must be an extremely powerful existence to break all these balances, so that the bloody sea that has lasted for hundreds of years the sea area of war has returned to its original balance and prosperity. So, Brother Reese came. That's how he was tricked into coming here, in order to become the god's choice of some shit sea god. All in all, Brother Reese, in order to use the large-scale transfer magic circle to instantly reach the sea area close to the Golden Kingdom, must rely on many warlocks to cast spells at the same time, so it is still necessary to help become the sea gods, gods chosen, to unify the chaos sea area. Soon, Brother Reese saw a city covered in azure blue and protected by an enchantment of water elemental spirits. It was as beautiful and charming as the crystal palace of the Dragon King. Female, your lady queen. A flustered mermaid swam over. Stop, what's the matter? Near the queen's palace, two tall murloc soldiers stood, asking what happened. The dragon that killed the king of the abyss, it. It's coming. The mermaid yelled emotionally, and then the murloc soldiers near the palace also widened their eyes in shock. Next moment, the impact that shook the sea resounded through the sky, and looking up, the result of Haishiandu was shattered. Other than that, it is indescribable, even in the sea, it can be seen that the sky cracked and opened, and the barrier shattered like a huge glass, and then it seemed to be mixed with various fragments and fell into the sea. And the master who destroyed the enchantment also landed on the seabed. My lord, pet, the dragon is coming. Immediately afterwards, there was a rush of movement in the coral-like queen's palace. Where's Lamia, the queen, who looked shocked, asked the mermaid maid beside her. She came with the dragon. It seems that she succeeded in persuading that dragon. Ha, huh, I thought she was about to fail. The queen said this, and then walked outside. But as soon as they left the palace, they heard a loud roar, and the terrifying shadow of the dragon covered the palace. The arrival of the black dragon monster scared a group of murloc soldiers into panic. It was a huge black dragon, it had ferocious and sharp claws and limbs, a tail like a ridge, a sword-like dorsal fin exuding terrifying heat, a chin made of steel, and giant golden pupils that disdain everything. There is also the curved and stretched Tianlong horn, like the embodiment of killing and the symbol of destruction. The existence in front of me is reminiscent of a pitch-black dragon, and he said with an evil smile. Hello, queen, I am the great black holy dragon, you can call me Brother Reese Mirabeau Reese. While the other party was looking at him, Chef Reese was also beating the other party stiffly. Dot 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 dot. My name is Eurydice, the queen of the Shandu Sea clan, and a candidate for the god of the sea. Quote. 
Eurydice's appearance is no different from that of a mermaid, but she has a lot of water magic power in her body, and she has the charm to attract everyone. On the appearance, he has long blue hair like waves, light silver eyes, and a light and crystal face. The snow white body is decorated with soft and gorgeous silk, which transforms into dazzling silver scales from the thighs down. She is naturally charming, with a beautiful face in the prosperous age, icy muscles and bones, and extraordinary manners. Mermaids are originally a race loved by the heavens, with extremely high appearance. Among the mermaids, Eurydice's charm is far superior to that of other mermaids, and she seems to have been favored since she was a child. At the moment when the black dragon monster comparable to the extreme dragon approached, an explosion-like piercing sound rang in the ear, and for the first time, Brother Rhys increased his speed so fast that the sea water behind him boiled, leaving a crimson flame tail was stretched long, like a meteor trailing the tail of a comet. As the distance approached rapidly, a thunderous growl gradually came out from Brother Rhys' dragon throat. The ferocious and terrifying huge monster soon arrived. It tore open the barrier, fell from the sky, and reached Haishiandu. It landed on the ground with an unprecedented explosion that the mermaids had heard, and the rocks on the seabed were smashed and splashed. In the scalding and evaporating sea water, those bright golden vertical eyes were shining brightly, and the shock wave that followed like a shadow spread in the next second, sweeping in all directions, and the mermaid guards and soldiers of the sea clan who approached were all oppressed and unable to straighten their backs. The ground cracked underfoot, and flames burned through the water. The violent shock wave knocked away the members of the queen's guard, and Eurydice and her guards were already waiting here. They used a spell shield to resist the violent shock wave, and raised their heads to look at the sudden and terrifying beast vigilantly, to the largest black dragon monster. Hello, great king of eyes. Eurydice smiled and said to it, Welcome to Haishiandu, we will give the warmest hospitality to powerful friends. Don't wait for the female, Wong to say the following lines. Roar, Brother Reese lowered his huge and ferocious head, and with a distance between the two sides, he showed an evil smile and said, How dare you be sure that I am a friend? I am the great black holy dragon, Brother Reese Mirabeau Reesla. While speaking, the black dragon monster unabashedly wrote out its coercion that is so powerful that it does not belong to a dimension. However, as a mermaid queen who follows an elegant demeanor, Eurydice has no dissatisfaction with the black dragon monster's abruptness. She panted slightly, and glanced at the nearby fallen mermaids, murlocs, and naga guards. Her army is worthless against the dragon. But it also proves the powerful power of this dragon, and she also needs to maintain a stronger magic shield to offset the impact of coercion. The powerful king of dragons, my name is Eurydice, and I am a member of the Shandu Sea clan. Queen, candidate for the god of the ocean. Her words were interrupted again. I saw that brother Reese opened his arms slightly, and the dorsal fin condensed a strong light, and the seawater rolled up. He raised his head and took a breath, and then exhaled. Boom, Kai, P.Y. The radiant and terrifying atomic breath penetrated the bottom of the sea, tearing apart the sea like a galaxy flowing backwards into the sun and the moon. The powerful breath pierced through the clouds and cracked rocks, broke through the sea surface, and sank into the atmosphere. It was like a doomsday catastrophe. Sea blue hair. The mermaid queen and her followers changed their colors in fear, only Eurydice remained calm. She blushed slightly, her eyes flickered, she opened her mouth slightly, and was about to say something, but she hesitated. The black dragon heated the high-temperature plasma and then compressed it to breathe out. In an instant, the flash broke through the sea surface, shining light in the dusk sky, and the loud sound that was delayed for a few seconds shocked the atmosphere. With its power, the cracked sky was dyed blood red, the raised dust even reached the stratosphere, and the doctor spread to the horizon. The sky and the earth split apart, the oceans dried up and became lifeless. Countless ashes were scattered and flew around, the remains of fish and bird monsters. The giant dragon bursting out with its incomparable strength exudes an ominous red aura of destruction. It wasn't just to show off and show off his status, he also wanted to see what Eurydice looked like now. My strength is as you can see. Brother Reese pressed his head down, and the fangs gleamed in the dragon's mouth. Cheat me, all sea celestial beings will be destroyed because of your ignorance. Dot dot dot. What kind of power is this? The merfolk guards, who had recovered from the shock, were terrified, but not only them, but even Eurydice could not answer. Only the legendary sea god can smash the sea, 
destroy the sky, and even smash the stars. Just the scene caused by this blow, the top of the head is the scene of the end of the world. After a long time, Eurydice still managed to force a smile, and said, I understand, please rest assured. Very good. Brother Reese showed a satisfied smile. Also, I heard that there are very rich minerals in the seabed, right? Near the seabed mountains, there is a mine of aquamarine crystals. In addition, there is a silver-white metal mine in the deepest part that is very similar to the magic stone you were looking for in the Sea of Thundering Sand. Eurydice replied earnestly. As the leader of the mermaid, she is relatively clear about the situation at the bottom of the sea. And it was also mentioned in the information that Chef Reese likes to eat that kind of dangerous magic stone. Silver-white metal, uranium ore, you haven't touched it, have you? Brother Reese asked curiously. There are far more radioactive ores on the seabed than on land. Judging from the current situation, the history of the sea clan must have exceeded thousands of years, and those veins are still there. No, our sea has no need for minerals. Eurydice said that most of the time, sea dwellers would only pick up some shiny shell pearls, corals, and beautiful crystals to decorate. What they liked most was aquamarine, a gem mine, rather than hard and heavy metals. That's the nature of beautiful sea creatures, so it really is. But this also reveals another message, those radioactive uranium mines are also dangerous things for the sea people, they will not get involved easily because there are no, loving dragons, on the bottom of the sea. Thinking of this, Brother Reese smiled even more. Even in the dragon camp, like most dragons, he could not resist the endless greed for wealth. But unlike other dragons who love gold and glitter, what Reese loves most is the dangerous radioactive magic mine. Marvelous, Brother Reese said with joy in his heart. After a while, I will go to that seabed mountain range and mine minerals myself as my reward. Subconsciously, Reese has made the seamounts his own. But Eurydice refused him. Sorry, you can't do that. Don't worry, I will not do anything to the creatures of Haishyandu, and I will try not to leak radiation to harm the species on the seabed, so as to avoid damaging the ecological environment there. No, unexpectedly, Vice Reese's request was rejected by Eurydice for the second time. Quote question mark quote. Brother Reese narrowed his eyes, feeling that his majesty was being challenged, so he swayed his body and bent down, lowered his huge head, and looked down at Eurydice. According to the idea of the black dragon monster, things should not have developed to such an extent. It has already demonstrated its own strength. Logically speaking, the mermaid queen Eurydice should be afraid of him, and thus obey it. Isn't this guy afraid of running away? However, there was no timidity in Eurydice's eyes, and her silvery pupils were full of firm gaze, bravely looking directly at the powerful and ferocious black dragon monster. Brother Reese seems to have misjudged, that is, although his strength is strong, he has ignored the bottom line of the mermaid queen Eurydice. He really looked down on the other party a bit, ignoring that the other party was also a queen. But he is a powerful dragon, Brother Reese will never give in, if Eurydice blocks him forcibly, he would rather destroy it. Rules are never meant to restrain monsters. You are rejecting my terms. Brother Reese's dragon power was released again, covering the sky and covering the earth, circling the bottom of the sea, do you really think you can stop me? In an instant, the sea monsters living in Haishyandu all froze. The beautiful mermaid on the top of the coral tree, the sandworm living in the ground, or the four-armed naga guarding the king's capital all felt their hearts tremble. They all raised their heads and looked in the direction of Haishyandu Palace. But soon, the breath that made them tremble suddenly disappeared, and they became calm, as if the moodiness of the sea had just set off a huge wave, and then suddenly calmed down, and everything stabilized. But the mermaid still looked at the black dragon anxiously, staring at its meeting with the queen. Brother Reese stared into Eurydice's eyes for a while, then slowly stood upright, without making a sound or having strong emotional fluctuations. The mermaid queen just told him a piece of news, which made him fall silent. The seabed mountain range is the territory of the sea clan in Loyan City, and there is a powerful dragon-like monster in Luyu City, with a level of 11th level, it is the strongest underwater monster master in the Bloody Sea area. It is the patron saint of the Aelong tribe. It is said that they are twin brothers and sisters with Behemoth, the king of beasts in the Thundering Sand Sea. Its name is, Leviathan, with a cruel and ruthless personality, violent and murderous. 
It looks for prey in the ocean, which makes the surrounding creatures change their colors. At the same time, it is also one of the many descendants of the giant dragon, Whale Sea Dragon King, who wanders in the deep sea and can shake the rock. The Whale Sea Dragon King ranks 10th among the Dragon Kings. It is responsible for guarding the distorted interdimensional rift in the abyss of the seabed, but its dragon kingdom is not nearby, but the even larger, giant sea. According to legend, there are ancient ocean monsters that have not yet been extinct, far away from any continents and lands, located at the bottom of the world the end. After learning the news, Brother Reese stepped out of the palace, spread his wings, swung his giant tail, and left Haishiandu. Eurydice watched her brother Reese leave with complicated eyes, ending this not-so-pleasant conversation, but her face was expressionless and calm, and she didn't have any emotional fluctuations. But the guards who are familiar with the Mermaid Queen know that Her Royal Highness Yuli pays attention to etiquette and self-cultivation, she is calm and composed, and will never show a gaffe at any time. The expressionless face and the ups and downs of her chest are enough to show that she is not at peace. Because the huge black dragon just said a very casual and silent sentence, I will kill its corpse. However, just as Brother Reese swam out of the Haishiandu, he sensed the figures of Eurydice and Lamia following behind him from the corner of his vision. Your Majesty the Dragon King, you are moving too fast. The Mermaid Queen soon came to the side of the huge black dragon and swam with it. Eurydice, I hunt Leviathan has nothing to do with you, and you don't want the whole Haishiandu to be involved in the disaster. Brother Reese glanced at Eurydice and said casually. What are you talking about? I followed because I was afraid that you would affect the management area of other sea people. Eurydice replied with a slight sigh. Even if they are gods chosen, the so-called competitive relationship still exists, and the relationship between every gods chosen is not very good. Eurydice looked at her brother Reese slightly worried. Dragons are powerful, but also dangerous. Especially for a powerful, dragon king, like Reese, Eurydice couldn't stop such a powerful and ambitious dragon from destroying it. According to what the servant next to you said before, after killing the big octopus, I am also the chosen one, so we should be competitors. Besides, when fighting with monsters, aren't you afraid of being killed? In theory yes, Eurydice's pale silver beautiful eyes fluctuated for a while, and she responded. But the chosen one doesn't have to kill other competitors, as long as they make them submit, that's okay. But since there are no monsters with overwhelming power in the bloody sea, even the sea monster Leviathan can't ignore it. The powerful armed forces of Haishiandu, 857. Are you still armed? Brother Reese asked in surprise, why didn't he feel it? Your enchantment will be broken at the first touch, even if I reach the bottom of the sea, I didn't see a few decent-sized troops. I, Eurydice blushed, raised her hands to her chest, suppressed all her words, took a deep breath and said, I didn't expect you to come so quickly and violently, accompanied by such a powerful coercion, let me all the troops in the army passed out before they had time to move out. Although Leviathan, the king of sea monsters, is also very powerful, he does not have the might of a dragon. At this point, even the silent Lamia held her forehead, blaming her for failing to stop the messy brother Reese. That's not my fault, it's because the overall quality of your soldiers is too weak. Brother Reese said casually, he seemed to have no concept of his own strength. Well, you're right, Eurydice's chest heaved for a while, Black Dragon Brother Reese was too deceitful, he didn't even give her a chance to explain, it was really helpless. Then what sea god, how does he know who is the god's chosen? Also, is the comparison fair? Brother Reese looked at Eurydice who was blushing and panting at every turn, wondering if she was angry or could not bear the high temperature around her dorsal fin and gun wings. Please pay respect to the god of the sea. Of course he knows who is chosen by god. Brother Reese, you should feel it. When you eat the king of the abyss, you have the mark of the god of the sea on your body. The reader can perceive the existence of the other party through this imprint. Eurydice said calmly, Poseidon Mark, Brother Reese slowly closed his eyes, sensing the situation inside his body. Sea god's breath due to the movement of the earth, unevenness is born in the flat, and the unfathomable depression is the sea. Poseidon is also a child of the innate primitive god, earth goddess, not so much the sea god, but rather the god's chosen one of the earth goddess. There are five gods chosen by the sea god, the friendliness of the sea, the macroscopic view of the sea, the wrath of the sea, the danger of the sea, and the power of the sea. 
The five gods are located in various parts of the world's oceans, and each is responsible for managing a piece of sea area. On top of the five gods, there is also an original gods who has become a true sea goddess. She is the goddess of the sea. Thalassa is seen as a painting of the ocean, salt water. At present, Bloody Sea lacks a god chosen representative of the power of the sea. The goddess of the sea, Thalassa, will act as the sole agent of the Mother Earth to conduct the god chosen trial. It has been 350 years since the trial began. The god's chosen one, recognized by the goddess of the sea, appeared. Is this year's god of choice so good? Brother Reese murmured inwardly and said, if you say this, what can you do even if you have one more dragon? Just like this, can the result be changed? No, this is different. Dragons, or dragon kings, are the top combat power of giant dragons. According to the thoughts of the goddess of the sea, she very much hopes that a dragon king can become the god's chosen. By the way, you one family's whale sea dragon king has become the god's chosen one of the macro of the sea in the past. Quote, Besides, I think there is no doubt about it, because the Dragon King participates in the God's choice, then the situation is completely different. Brother Reese, you should know the Whale Sea Dragon King, why haven't you heard of it? Eurydice stared at her brother Reese with very serious eyes, and that kind of firm tone, is it worthy of being called a mermaid queen? No, I'm actually not very familiar with the Whale and Sea Dragon King. Brother Reese shook his head helplessly. He also looked for the inheritance memory of the dragon clan and the memory provided by the great blue dragon master. Inheriting memory does say that there is such a thing as God's choice, not only see God's God's choice, but also other God's choices, but most of them are initiated by innate gods, and mortals also have the opportunity to use this method become the plenipotentiary of these gods, the chosen ones, and even gods. However, the memory did not describe in detail how the selection of the sea god was carried out, only mentioning that there was such a thing. After all, most dragons are not marine creatures. Even the mentor of the big blue dragon has never experienced God's choice. The details in it are definitely not as detailed as the mermaid heroine. And dragons, creatures like power aggregates, usually have no chance to participate in God's choice, because the God's choice trial is a rare encounter in thousands of years. But once you participate, the result will be very different. It's just that I don't know if there are such things as the god of slaughter, the god of evil god, etc., which makes a certain chaotic four gods in Goli. Could it be that there are existences similar to the four gods of chaos in this world? After a while, in the southwest of the Sea Mountain Range, in the area under the management of the Sea Tribe in Loyan City, near an inaccessible submarine volcano, there is a vast submarine canyon. The canyon presents the scene of a cliff, and deep in the bottom of the cliff, a red light is revealed. If you narrow the distance, you will find that the red light is the slowly flowing magma. Brother Reese swung his tail slowly in front and swam. The dragon wings were stacked behind his back to fit the dorsal fin. He no longer needed wings in the sea. He was already used to swimming, and the sea was like his home. On the side of the huge black dragon, there are two beautiful but relatively small mermaids and snake girls accompanying them, and the fluctuations in their magical power should not be underestimated. Um, aren't you going to hide anymore? I thought you were going to keep following me. Brother Reese gradually stopped, looked at the new figure in the deep sea, and asked. After all, your perception is too sharp. Since you can't hide, it's a waste of time to continue hiding. A sneak attack from a place where the location is known as tantamount to suicide. It's not as effective as a frontal attack. Appearing in front of Brother Reese was a male of the sea tribe who looked about 30 years old, with a gloomy gaze in his eyes, holding a shark-toothed shark gun in his hand, and looking towards this side cautiously. Although it has been known for a long time that, Eurydice, may seek a powerful helper as a backer, it is very strange that he can meet a dragon king today. He kept looking at his brother Reese, his eyes seemed to be looking at some incredible existence. However, why does His Majesty the Mighty Dragon King interfere with the affairs of our sea clan? Judging by his appearance, it should not be the first time he has seen a giant dragon, but it is the first time he has seen such a huge dragon. It should not be said that he was shocked that he could see the existence of the legendary Dragon King. I am not the Dragon King. Brother Reese corrected. That's the dragon. The male of the High Clan was stunned for a moment, then blurted out. 
Extreme Dragon. Hearing this, Eurydice's eyes lit up, and the way she looked at Chef Reese again had changed. Extreme Dragon, as different from the Dragon King, they usually have no fixed territory and no fixed forces. Compared with the Dragon King, its strength is not weak at all. Although there is still a little gap, the top three extremely dragons can completely kill the weakest echelon Dragon King 10. However, if it is a dragon war, it is different. When the Dragon King is dispatched, he is usually accompanied by several Dragon King apostles, hundreds of Dragon King guards, thousands of Dragon Legion, or even hundreds of thousands or more the scale of the Dominion army armed to the teeth. Its scale is enough to instantly destroy any human empire on the mainland, and a direct confrontation with the Dragon King Legion is completely courting death. And the only ones who can kill the Dragon King head-on are other stronger Dragon Kings. Of course, not all Dragon Kings have such a large-scale army. Some Dragon Kings belong to the Guardian faction. They usually only occupy a special place and never launch expansion and aggression. Moreover, the relationship between the Dragon Kings is not as close as imagined, and there are even hostile positions. Secondly, not all Jilong have not developed their own army. For example, King Killer, it is the strongest extreme dragon in the world today, its armed force is comparable to or even surpassed some Dragon Kings, and there are countless evil dragons and demon dragons following it, it is completely like the savior of evil dragons. The object of worship of the King Killer is the Emperor of Black, and its purpose seems to be to work hard to become the Dragon Emperor. Even extreme dragons can be divided into good dragons and evil dragons. So, which type are you? On the other side, after mistakenly thinking that the other party was Jilong, the man from the Sea Tribe took a deep breath and looked at his brother Reese cautiously. Neither, brother Reese said in a natural tone, with a low voice, because I am not Jilong. That is, the old dragon. After hearing what brother Reese said, the man from the Sea Tribe said subconsciously. It's a bit too pretentious to say that it's a baby dragon, but as you can see, as long as you use magic power to perceive my life characteristics, you can find that I am actually underage. What? Suddenly, the male of the Sea Tribe opened his eyes wide in shock, looking at the calm-faced Brother Reese's voice was full of disbelief. You mean, you are neither the Dragon King nor the Extreme Dragon, but a juvenile giant dragon? Any questions? Brother Reese asked nonchalantly. Compared with the shocked Sea Clan male, Eurydice showed an increasingly excited expression on her face. The reason she didn't realize it before was that few people dared to use magic power perception on this level of existence, because that would be regarded as a provocation by the other party, so they dare not probe Reese. But now that Brother Reese allowed it, Eurydice and Lamia learned that his life form was extremely young, even too young. God, isn't this really a joke? I know what you want to say, isn't this very interesting? Being selected by God and means that you must also be very strong, so, do you want to fight me? Brother Reese showed a ferocious smile. A dragon cannot judge a person by appearance. Age is based on physical development, not birth time. I think, I need to introduce myself. I am the patriarch of the Aelong clan, Catal. It is an honor to meet you, Your Excellency the Great Dragon. I do not intend to offend, but I want to know your purpose. When the sea man introduced himself, Brother Reese also looked at him. The Aelong tribe is not a dragon subhuman, but a demon subhuman. They themselves have nothing to do with dragons, they just look alike. The biggest feature of the Aelong tribe is that they have scales, horns, and long tails, and the most prominent species with these characteristics are dragons, so they are called Aelong tribe preconceivedly. In fact, their blood is more similar to demons. Because their patron saint, Leviathan, is a descendant of demons and dragons, and his father is, Whale and Sea Dragon King, and his mother is a great demon representing, King of Jealousy, from Hell. The Plane of F. As for how the two fell in love, it is unknown. But Brother Reese didn't give the other party any face because of this. There are many heirs of the Dragon Prince, and it's not a problem at all if one or two die. Listen, my goal is the Seamounts. If you don't want to hurt the innocent, get your patron saint out immediately. I'm here to fight, no, kill it. Brother Reese roared a declaration of war. He always remembers what his purpose is. He didn't come to negotiate with these guys, but to use force to seize the domination of the Seamounts. Let your Patronus come out. 
Brother Reese stared at the patriarch of the Aelong clan, exuding a strong sense of oppression. I'm sorry, Your Excellency Dragon, this involves the order of the patron saint I believe in, so I'm sorry I can't tell you. The male of the Aelong tribe also replied with a tough attitude. Cartel, do you really want to let the river be stained with blood here? Eurydice shouted angrily, it is extremely irrational to offend an existence whose power is comparable to that of a dragon, and she hopes to avoid such a situation as much as possible. Let me handle it. Just as Brother Reese was about to make a move, a dense group of black shadows appeared in the seabed mountains ahead. Aelong, Crocodile, and Mermaid armies appeared in the vicinity of the seabed rift. Following the order of Aelong Patriarch Cartel, the sound of the conch horn sounded, and many weak marine creatures fled in fear. Even Brother Reese is the first time to see so many sea tribe troops, and he has a strong intention to oppose them. That's it, a sea clan warrior in Loyan City. Eurydice was startled, she didn't expect Aelong Cartel to be ready for a decisive battle. I originally planned to attack the Haishiandu, during this time, I guess you should be prepared, Eurydice. Aelong Patriarch Cartel's expression became complicated, but his eyes were still gloomy. Let the blood baptize us holy. God's chosen ones, the war has begun. Let the sea clan that survives to the end rule the bloody sea area that follows. The fight between the monsters called Sea Clan is actually a battle for power. It is the war between Haishiandu and Loyan City that has lasted for hundreds of years. Brother Rhys Sama, you don't need to take action, just let me take over this war. Eurydice is not a delicate mermaid queen either, after she released the magic letter towards the bottom of the sea. In the sea a few kilometers away behind him, the mermaids, murlocs, and naga also began to send out a large-scale army, numbering more than 10,000 people, forming a dense formation and appearing in the sea. There are also domesticated thorny seahorses and snakes neck dragon, magic whale and other mounts. The army of Haishiandu appeared in a mighty manner near the seabed mountain range. With such a huge number and such mobilizing forces, it is obvious that they have only one purpose. That is the seabed rift ahead, the site of Loyan City. Look, it's the Queen's signal. The Queen's attack order, the warriors of Haishiandu, charge. When Brother Reese was in a daze, there were already many sea clan troops behind him, and he also became a key role in an undersea war for no reason. To be honest, it's a bit too casual to just divide myself into Haishiandu's camp like this. Brother Reese glanced at the army on the side of the Snail Annihilation City, the number is also huge, and all of them are carnivorous fish, giant tooth sharks, deep sea giant crocodiles, and powerful merman warriors, shark finger sharks. A bloodthirsty sea berserker. In terms of the deterrence and overall strength of the lineup, it is obvious that Loyan City is better. However, there is Brother Reese on the side of Haishiandu, which can be regarded as making up for the gap in high end combat power, but Brother Reese ignores that Eurydice is also a ninth level powerhouse. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The horn of battle sounded, and the seawater began to shake. Soldiers of Loyan City, let those weak fellows see what the real ruler of the deep sea is. Woo. Groups of ferocious carnivorous fish monsters and warriors began to form an army, and soon formed an army of tens of thousands of scales, and began to come out in full force. Protect the queen. The mermaid and naga army rushed over. Many of them were tall and burly warriors. They wielded sharp curved blades with four horny arms. They were good at meat grinder tactics and could easily divide and slaughter the enemy. Roar, the megalodon troop of Loyan City also collided with the magic whale, and the deep sea giant crocodile also fought with the plesiosaur. These giant beasts over 30 meters in size collided with each other. It looked like a duel of prehistoric creatures. The scene was extremely spectacular. Watching this scene, Brother Reese was a little confused, not knowing what to do next. He looked down at the seabed mountain range, and watched Luoyu Cheng and Hai Xian fighting together. Should he intervene or ignore them? Master Reese, this kind of war is nothing to you at all. You are a great dragon, and I ask you to deal with the patron saint of Loyan City, the sea monster Leviathan. Seeing Reese, who was a bit tangled, Eurydice hurriedly reminded her. She doesn't want her brother Reese to participate in the War of the Sea Clan, because if the two sides just fight, the casualties caused are not as large as imagined. If a terrifying dragon like Brother Reese makes a move, the ending will be overwhelmingly single side was destroyed. 
Anyway, she is also a part of the sea clan, and she just wants to unify the group, not exterminate the carnivorous fish species. This is true even for the Aelong clan patriarch of the opponent. If the mermaids and murlocs in Haishiandu are killed, the balance of the sea will be completely destroyed in the future. Just want to deal with Leviathan. When Brother Reese said this, his eyes flashed with high fighting spirit. The creatures that grow in the sea are all ferocious and warlike monsters. Survival of the fittest is the supreme law. Even if it is born in a warm lair, it has to face the cold abyss. It is born as a strong family in the sea. When it comes to fighting, Reese is a born king. He no longer hesitated, and rushed straight to the direction of the seabed fisher. Eurydice mentioned that Leviathan is a huge sea monster king. When it swims freely in the sea, the waves are also against the current. It sprays high-pressure water from its mouth, demonic energy emerges from its nose, it has sharp teeth, and its body is as strong as if it is wrapped in armor. It has a cruel and ruthless personality, violent and easy to kill. It looks for prey in the ocean, which makes the surrounding creatures change color. It looks like a dragon with a slender body like a snake without wings, symbolizing primitive chaos. Its shape is a mixture of huge marine reptiles. It lives in the abyss of the submarine mountain range and occupies the entire mountain range. Reese, of course, can't tolerate other monsters occupying the radioactive uranium mine, so he and Leviathan must have a battle, not to mention that the other party is a competitor of God's choice. There will only be one king of monsters in the deep sea. But Leviathan is still far behind him, and he is also a lot behind. This dragon prince, Air, does not understand what a power king who destroys everything is at all. Roar, Brother Reese's huge roar was the beginning of the declaration of war, and the entire seabed was instantly silent. Just as the soldiers of the Naga and Crocodile army were fighting violently, they suddenly felt the sound of the ground moving violently. Boom, the souls of the monster smashed the sandstone on the seabed, causing the earth to scream, and then the seawater made a sharp electric sound like boiling, and the incredibly huge and ferocious dragon came to the mountain range, and its dorsal fin condensed a dazzling blue light. The surrounding seawater evaporates completely. King of the monsters, those bright golden indifferent pupils looking at everything were looking at the direction of the crack, Leviathan didn't come out, it seemed to be waiting for something. Looks like you've made your choice. Leviathan chose to evade, but she Reese chose to take the initiative. With both arms clenched into fists, Brother Reese's body began to charge, and its dorsal fin had already begun to ionize the sea water, flashing a blue nuclear reaction. The light is getting brighter and brighter. That is brilliance, that is the sun, that is an elegy for Sheng Fen. Sizzling. The sea water boiled crazily, and the entire bottom of the sea was lit up with a dazzling blue light, which was the performance of being ionized by gamma radiation. The naked eye could see that plasma-like lightning particles condensed in Brother Reese's mouth, and then, a loud sound the roar spread throughout the dark seabed. W.H. Boom 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 boom. The intense light condensed in the monster's mouth turned into a torrent of blazing blue light that penetrated the dark seabed. At that moment, the sun seemed to rise from the seabed. Then, all things perished. The devastating atomic breath penetrated everything at a speed of Mach 100, pierced through thousands of meters of thick mountains, and spread to the distance in an instant. When the huge monster twisted its head, it spit out the breath beam of his breath cuts away from left to right like a line, destroying everything in its way. The next moment, a terrifying sea of high temperature sea of fire spread from the bottom of the sea, stretching a straight line dozens of kilometers away, and the bottom of the sea was evaporated. The powerful high heat breath was originally only a linear radiating heat line with a diameter of 5 or 6 meters, but when it hit the seabed mountain range, an explosion of thermal expansion and contraction occurred, and a mountain visible to the naked eye was cut off in the middle. When the breath gradually ended, when the lightning that turned into a thin line disappeared, the destructive force had already caused irreversible damage, leaving behind a high heat destruction track tens of meters wide and tens of kilometers long. The breath not only cut off the mountain range, blasted through the entrance of the crack, but also completely exposed the hidden things in it. There was no other sound at this moment, even the roar of the sea boiling and the battle between the Naga and the crocodile army was covered by the huge roar of the monster. Boom! After exhaling, the seabed in front of it was instantly evaporated. Amidst the roar and shock, a huge flame hotter than the shining sun rose up, 
and the pierced seabed mountain range began to collapse to the ground. The Aelong king and his troops saw this scene, their scalps went numb, and they were instantly terrified. They dare not imagine what it will be like when this breath hits their soldiers, maybe the army will be wiped out in an instant. This trick, the power called High Temperature Plasma Hotline, exploded completely. If Brother Reese evolved the electromagnetic core, then the name of this trick should be called Charged Particle Cannon. You have no retreat, fight, or submit, if you are really worthy of the heir of the Whale and Sea Dragon King. The aftermath of the explosion sent a heat wave in front of Brother Reese at this moment, but he ignored the front, the heat killed some murloc soldiers, and also killed some merman and owl dragon warriors. Some of the other creatures that approached were also swept in and died of destruction. Watching this scene, Brother Reese's eyes were neither happy nor sad. A thought arose in its mind. Everything is for the test, this is the challenge of the power of the sea. If it is to become God's chosen, the necessary destroyer Duan Yi is a matter of course. Everything is for the bottom of the sea order, and my will represents the will of the sea goddess. The explosion dissipated, and in the thick black smoke, a group of coke slowly fell down. Hey, arrogant dragon, you think you can kill me? In the chaotic darkness, there was another huge roar suddenly. It roared and rushed out of the high temperature sea of flames. When the king of marine crawling monsters with heads like crocodiles and sea dragons appeared, he had a certain body shape. With a length of more than 100 meters, it is completely worthy of the title of Beast King. Have to admit, it is very strong, under the blessing of the magic storm of the sea tornado, its scales are like blades, covering the upper body deeply. It is enough to turn into a sharp blade to tear everything apart. However, he is stronger. The huge ridge-like tail began to swing left and right, and Reese's huge body rushed towards Leviathan. If you surrender now, I will not kill you, Tian Reese said. He is far stronger than Leviathan, and even among the many dragons who would shudder at the sound of his name, Reese is far stronger than the others of his kind, and his strength is the highest among them. He can't touch porcelain at all with Warcraft. And Leviathan dominates the sea, but its breath is completely different from that of Brother Reese. You are so arrogant, Leviathan attacked with a berserk sea tornado, and rushed in front of Brother Reese in an instant. It opened its mouth and spit out countless highly poisonous purple poisonous mist. These poisonous mist, carrying a strong paralyzing effect, it can paralyze any organic life form, even the cells of Brother Reese will be affected. I'm not stupid enough to compete with you in magic power. When you kill the giant squid from the bottom of the abyss, I already knew how to deal with you. Brother Reese thought that Leviathan was avoiding the battle, but in fact he was looking for an opportunity to get close to him. When he blasted the mountain with his breath, consuming a lot of energy, Leviathan knew his chance had come. It's a pity, although Leviathan's poisonous fog swallowed Reese's vision and made him unable to see the enemy clearly, it did not affect his normal actions. Because Leviathan's poisonous mist is strong, but Brother Reese's cells are almost immune to the poison, even the paralysis effect is greatly weakened, the purple-black poisonous mist is at most closed Brother Reese's naked eyesight, but can't affect his sensory abilities. It's thermal radiation vision. Brother Reese does not need to use his eyes to observe the prey at all. In the deep sea, his eyes are almost for decoration. In addition to distinguishing colors, Brother Reese usually relies on the dorsal fin to perceive the sea. The flow of water and the vibration of dragon horns are used to capture the enemy's every move, sound, roar, swimming direction and so on. But it seems that Leviathan also knows that the poisonous fog cannot defeat Reese, but this does not prevent it from having other ultimate moves. Enclosed in the deep sea where even time is meaningless, in the past, Leviathan's arrogant life was full of cold colors, its cruelty is unbelievable, and its life is eternal. Never die, whoosh. In the sea, Leviathan's speed is extremely fast, and the sharp scales on its whole body are like blade wheels, turning into a storm of blades. Its body wrapped around Reese's front body like a snake, bypassed the dorsal fin, and then opened its mouth and bit Reese's neck. In fact, its bite force was extremely strong. In its horror, the teeth tore through Brother Reese's thick scales. But it only broke the surface a little bit, Brother Reese's Red Lotus geothermal armor is not as unbearable as imagined, even if Leviathan strangles with all his strength, he can only do so. Kind of degree. It is not bad for an 11th level Warcraft King, 
but its opponent's destructive power is at the 12th level, and its defense is even better. You are a strong opponent, I admit, I underestimated you at the beginning. Brother Reese knows that Leviathan in the sea is like Behemoth on land, because Leviathan's other name is Leviathan. As a legendary monster of the sea, Leviathan's strength is not weak. Just by contracting muscles and blade wheels, he can cut Brother Reese's scales like Sawtooth. But the difference in body mass is too big, if it is really the same weight, it is really difficult for Brother Reese to break free. But monsters are monsters, and monsters are still within common sense, but monsters are different. But, with your weak strength, do you think you can turn defeat into victory? When Leviathan thought that his brother Reese was also injured because of this, suddenly a thick arm full of muscles clamped Leviathan's slender neck tightly, like a sea. The monsters in the shape of snakes and dragons twisted and struggled violently at this time. Leviathan bypassed the dorsal fin and chose to wrap around Reese's front body, but ignored the power contained in the opponent's arm. When the opponent pinched the head, Leviathan's body. It was like a giant snake struggling constantly, but before it could find a way to break free, its body was stepped on by Brother Reese's foot, crushing the rocks on the seabed. Boom, Leviathan's body was ruthlessly trampled under his feet by Brother Reese. No matter how he twisted his body, he couldn't break free. The severe pain in his head and the tightly closed teeth made him unable to make a sound. You go Reese's giant pupils look down at it. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.